Sorry it took so long, everybody. I lost my chapstick, or I misplaced it. I found it, though. And, uh, now we can do more of these stupid Elder Scrolls quests. I was not gonna do more of these. But we started putting the project together, Editor Isaac and myself, and I realized, hmm, we only have four of these. The whole entire project is not gonna feel as fleshed out. Let's, ju let's just ram in a few more quick, really stupid ideas, see how they play out. We have one. We're starting with the stupidest one. I, I, we'll talk about it in a second. <laughs> I'll let, I'll let chat come say hi. I'll leave timestamps down below. The first one is really, really stupid. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm literally genuinely, I mean this a hundred percent. I am not Thank looking forward time, to this sir. first one. Joff. Joff, who's Joff? Who is that? I, I apologize. I have to get a few more things pulled up on my end. Red Scald, thank you for tier one. Oh, you, you said Juve. But the text to speech just goes Joff. That's not right. That's not right. I'm going to have to talk. I look small. What do you mean? I, look? I don't. Yeah, you're saying I've lost weight. You're saying I've lost some weight. OK, I appreciate it. I see. I, I'm picking up what you're putting down. We're going to get into it pretty quick today uh, because there is a lot of shit to talk about. Actually, not a lot of shit to talk about. We just have a lot of shit to do. We have four quests. Four that we're going to try and cover all in this one ridiculously stupid stream. I know it, it, I love the Fallout 3 with Skyrim music. It makes no sense. When the iconic Dragon's Thank Dogma you, streamer sure. switches to Bethesda games for views. Hey, I gotta do what I gotta do. Oblivion today? Yes, we'll be doing some Oblivion. We'll be doing some Morrowind. We'll be doing some Skyrim. And we'll be doing some fan fiction writing with everybody's favorite plagiarism machine, ChatGPT. So I, I don't know if I can make myself much bigger. Because if I do... Well, I guess, hold on, hold on, let's see, let's see. Let's see what happens if I make myself a little bit bigger. How about... It's kind of hard to tell, because I'm on my other monitor. Does the illusion... Thank you, kind I think sir. the illusion still kind of works. Uh, Refuge, thank you for gifting a sub. Not sure what goes here. Thank you for three months. I'm not sure what's going on on this stream either. Make yourself extremely small. Thank you, kind sir. Five months. The stream baby is almost here. I'm thinking of naming her Dr. Nakoma Von Turkey Stick. What's going on, Gabers? Uh, Jabbo here with another <laughs> challenge. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just playing. I love you, Jabbo. I love you, I love you. Don't show him that. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. <clears throat> so, I'm guessing you managed to survive the update. I'm trying to unfuck my game. Sorry to hear that honky tonk. Uh, I had updates on PC. I had updates. Uh, completely disabled, so I still haven't updated uh, my Skyrim on PC. I did check it out on console, and I'm gonna be honest, the actual mod menu and whatnot, because I started a Skyrim time, save sir. last night just casually on the console. Best entertainment while I prep tax projections for work. I paid my taxes yesterday. Yeah, I got ahead of paying my taxes. Look at me go. Um, I checked out the uh, update on my Xbox Series S yesterday, and I gotta be honest, at first, I was like, uh-oh, search functionality still sucks. It still stinks. But then, I tried it a little bit more, and it actually works a lot better. It works uh, surprisingly well. If you have, like, any knowledge about the mods you want to get on console, much easier. That's a completely different... 
discussion than like paid mods or you know mods breaking that kind of stuff i i don't know i saw a lot of people talking about their mods on xbox breaking i'm not really sure how many would have broken on console because most of the mods that break when skyrim does an update I'm a god. is how can you kill a god what a skse I'm mods but we can't god. have SKSE mods on console, so I'm not 100% sure everything that goes on there. But I started it from scratch, and I did notice the, the experience of modding my game on console was significantly more enjoyable. Anyway, feeling ill today, but hoping this stream helps. River, I hope you feel well soon. UI mods are totally broke till they're updated. Um, again, I only did this on Xbox. I found a UI mod. Forgot which one it was. I just was throwing, I was trying to throw as many of the Skyrim 2 mods that I've used on Xbox. Not all of them are available, but I was able, I started from scratch and I was able to get everything set up in like an hour, maybe pretty quickly. And it worked much better than before. Um, but anyway. Okay, we're doing more. We're going to try and do four Elder Scroll quests today. The first one isn't even a quest. Anything on this first quest referring to in-game stuff, we are skipping. I am going to get this one out of the way because I think it is going to be incredibly not enjoyable. I am not looking forward to it. Also, blue, 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 butt. Thank you very much for gifting five subs to the community again. You are fucking special. Thank you. Uh, Keely Stone. Thank you for six months. Best entertainment while I prep tax projections for work. I did mention that earlier, but I got my taxes done. Well, for the most part, and they're not done, but I paid, uh, I paid Uncle Sam. I, pa I paid him off. Get him off my back for a little bit. Space Lemons, thank you for five months. The stream baby is almost here. I'm thinking of naming her Dr. Nakuma Von Turkey Stick. That's a lot of, that's a lot of baggage to give that child as they go into their life. There's going to be a lot of expectation. It's like naming our stream baby LeBron James Jr. Or, you know, some, or, or, you know, like something with a lot of expectation. That's just a lot of pressure. I don't even have the full chat. I've been looking at just like the stream manager for reading chat today. Uh, Refuge, thank you for gifting a sub to the channel. I think we're all caught up on alerts. Appreciate everybody. Thank you for stopping in again. Uh, this is going to be terrible. At least this first one. This first quest is going to be awful. I'm not even. I'm not. I'm not even going to front. I'm not looking forward to it. This is going to suck. I'm just being straight with you all, but let's talk about it. The first quest uh, today, time, not again. Glad to be catching the stream early for once. Lumpy Pumpkin, good to see you. Why torture yourself? Hey, I enjoy it for the most part. I like to tell Thank a good story. <laughs> I like to try and tell a good story. So, uh, Lumpy Pumpkin, thank you for the tier one. Thank you for five months. River Revivified, thank you for gifting a sub. Okay, so... This quest is going to stink. I know I've said that a million times. This isn't even a quest, okay? It's not a quest. But uh, I came up with another stupid title, The Lusty Cinematic Universe. The person who wrote this and who suggested this was Forcibly Squished. Forcibly Squished, I would say thank you, but this is an awful idea. This is a terrible idea. Jabba just reacted to your little scheme. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jabbo. I, I I love you. I love you. Just playing around. Just, I was leaning into the memes. Okay. Now, originally, this was supposed to be an all-encompassing quest where we were going to dive into all three 3D test games. No. Okay, we are not doing that. We are getting this one out of the way as quickly as possible because it's stupid and it should not exist. Now, the original lore, Tragedy Strikes. The original writer of the Lusty Argonian Maid has sadly passed away, with the final chapters unreleased. As things stand, there is no one to carry on his legacy and finish the books, except for you. 
the Dragonborn, the Hero of Kavach, and the Nereverine work together across time to collect all volumes of the Lusty Argonian Maid. And when done, the Dragonborn must take up charcoal and parchment and pen the final chapter, staying true to the story and giving it a fitting end. So we're not going into the games. We're not collecting all these books. I did come up with rules for this, but we're going to skip all this nonsense, all right? The rules that I originally wrote, though, were to, in reverse order, Skyrim, Oblivion, then Morrowind, obtain a copy of Volume 1 and 2 of The Lusty Argonian Maid. And then, in Morrowind, we were going to kill the original author, Crassius Curio, because he's a creep. Now, we're going to skip that, okay, because we have a lot to do today. Uh, and just, we're just going to go into this next part. And once all the books are collected and analyzed, write a lore consistent third chapter that's believable so the saga can reach an exciting and satisfying climax you, Colin, that feels really good to this finish. This is my last resub. Jabo! No, wait, no, Jabo! <laughs> don't, don't, don't! I didn't mean it, it was a joke! I was just playing, I love you. Thank you, Colin, sir. So, okay. We're going we're gonna to skip the in-game stuff and just go right to writing this third chapter so we can get this nonsense out of the way. We're going to use Twitch chat and, like I said earlier, everyone's favorite online plagiarism tool, ChatGPT, to write a wonderful, satisfying climax and finish this stupid book. Or we're just going to see. This is, this is, this is not going to be that fun. I, I have a feeling that this is going to suck. I'm not looking forward to it. But we'll see. I don't know if you all, I don't know which view would work best for this. Probably this here. I already have the prompt written. I, I already have the prompt written about what we're going to put in here for chat GPT. All right, I have, I have not done this. I have no clue what it's going to spit out. I'm also not sure how to make this the most readable for you all, but I'm going to try my best. Uh, okay, so the original prompt that I put in here includes all of the text from both volumes of The Lusty Argonian Made. And then in order to get the AI sort of churning just a little bit, uh, Evelia, er, Evelia, thank you for the tier one, thank you for three months, and Jabo also, thank you again for 16 months. Apologies for the joke. It was low-hanging fruit. That wasn't cool. Three months until a Twitch baby. You are going to be a great father. I know it. No, I won't. I'm abandoning it. I'm just letting you know now. GPT doesn't like erotic stuff. I don't know if it's going to throw a fit over it. So the prompt that I gave it was the famous book series. The Lusty Argonian Maid needs a climactic third act. I need your help to write it. It is an erotic series about a lizard mistress, Argonian is her race, named Lifts Her Tail, and her human counterpart, Crantius Colto. The series details their conversations using sexual innuendos, typically with references to different fantasy elements. Help me write the third act by detailing a conversation between the two in the same style as below, with roughly as many lines as each of the below acts has. I got no idea how it's going to react. Thank can you, can you have it include a very special cameo from Dr. Jacques? We can see. We, 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 we can see. We just have to see what it does for the first actual output. No clue if this is going to be good. Again, it's probably going to be terrible. Ain't no way Chad GPT will write this. We'll, we'll see. Let's see if it does. If it doesn't, quest failed, we can immediately move on. I'm nervous. Oh, it actually already worked. It started writing. And it's using the right characters. Okay, okay. Let me zoom this in so you guys can see a little bit better. Thank you, kind sir. I need I need to move this. Can I can I minimize this little culinary enchantment? Okay, hold on. Ah, oh, see, this is this is not gonna it's not gonna work. But we'll see. I'll try. I'm going to take this seriously. I'm going to deliver the story. Okay, the, the fabled. This is just draft one of act three of the Lusty Argonian Maid. 
You should probably use novel. A we can try novel AI if this one sucks. <clears throat> it's not. Yeah, it's definitely not going to be easier to read over here. It's going to be easier to read this way. Oh, there we go. Now we're full screen. Lifts her tail says. Oh, wait, hold on. We have to go through the first two chapters, clearly. I mean, we got to catch everybody up on the series. So act one of the lusty Argonian maid lifts her tail. Certainly not, kind sir. I'm here but to clean your chambers. Crantius Colto says. Is that all you have come here for, little one? My chambers? I have no idea what it is you imply, master. I am but a poor Argonian maid. So you are, my dumpling, and a good one at that. Such strong legs and shapely tail. Stop laughing. Okay, this is a serious story. You embarrass me, sir. My Argonian voice actually isn't too bad. Fear not. You are safe Thank here you, with friend, me. Sir. You're interrupting the story. Skibbity. You're No, no, no. Skibbity. You're interrupting me. I must finish my cleaning, sir. The mist. Wait, well done. Is this in the right one? Okay, okay, we're good. I must finish my cleaning, sir. The mistress will have my head if I do not. Cleaning, eh? I have something for you. Here. Polish my spear. But it is huge. It could take me all night. Plenty of time, my sweet. Plenty of time. So I'm going with the Oblivion Argonian voice for Lips Her Tail, and Krantius Culto, I'm trying to mimic the Imperial voice in Morrowind. I'm trying my best here. What a riveting act one. That was so fucking hot. Act two. Wait, hold on. I don't I don't even understand the story implications of the first one. They just talked a little bit. Um, she shows up to his chambers to clean his chambers. And then he asks her to polish his spear, which I assume is an innuendo for his cock. Can I move? OK, get off my screen. Act two. Lifts her tail, says. My goodness, that's quite a loaf. But however shall I fit it in my oven? <laughs> this loaf isn't ready for baking, my sweet. It has yet to rise. Lifts her tail, says. If only we could hurry that along. How could I accomplish such a task? Oh, my foolish little Argonian maid. You must use your hands. Oh, this is brutal. This actually sucks. <laughs> I hate this. You wish me to knead the loaf? Here? Of course. But what if the mistress catches me? Your loaf was meant to satisfy her appetite. Don't fret, my delicate flower. I'll satisfy the mistress's cravings later. Very well. But I'm afraid my oven Thank isn't hot enough. Sir. It could take hours. Plenty of time, my sweet. Plenty of time. Okay, riveting. Once again, we notice that each act ends with Krantius Colto saying that there is plenty of time for them to do this, whatever it is. And now, according to our robotic plagiarism device, remember ChatGPT is a plagiarism monster. ChatGPT mostly sucks, okay? Everyone remember that all these details are probably stolen from somewhere off the internet. So let's, let's, uh, I'm a god. Dim, damn it, we're- How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Zerabar. Hey, Blue, thank you for gifting 10 to the channel. I appreciate that. Thank you. That was very kind of you. Or technically 11? Or was that 10, but then it was separated? I think it's just 10, but thank you, but Blue. I've been watching your stuff for the last month and you've carried me through the last few weeks of school. You are, you truly are entertaining and I love all your videos and VODs. It's a bit surreal being here. But Blue, you've showed up at the worst possible time. I am very sorry. This is awful. I don't like this. I hate this. All right, chapter three, act three. Let's see how things develop. The first chapter was about cleaning quarters and it turned into polishing spears. The second act was about a loaf going into Lifts Her Tail's oven. And uh, chapter three. Lifts Her Tail says, Oh, kind sir, 
I find myself in a predicament. The mist also, there has been this mistress character that we aren't sure about. I think the mistress is Krantius Kolto's wife, and lifts her tail is avoiding confrontation with her. Oh, kind sir, I find myself in a predicament. The mistress insists on a grand feast tonight, and I fear my skills may not be up to par. Krantius Kolto writes, Worry not, my scaly enchantress. Ooh, that's not bad. I have just the remedy to spice up our culinary escapade. But sir, the mistress is quite discerning. What could possibly entice her palate? Behold, my exotic ingredients. I've acquired a rare elixir from the distant lands of Morrowind, and a sprinkle of fairy dust from the enchanted groves of Valenwood. That wasn't horny at all. I told you all this would suck, and we shouldn't have done this. Fairy dust, sir. How unknown will that enhance the flavor? Ah, my curious Argonian. It's not about the flavor, but the magical allure it adds. A touch of mystique to elevate the feast. This sucks. This isn't horny at all. I see, sir. Your wisdom is unmatched. But what of the main course? The mistress demands something truly extraordinary. Fear not, my luscious companion. I have procured the grandest worm steak from the treacherous heights of the throat of the world. <laughs> Seasoned with the tears of a fr This sucks! This sucks! There's no- There's no spice! There's no love here! Oh, sir. Such daring feats for a culinary masterpiece. <laughs> How shall we prepare it without drawing suspicion? Aha! My clever Argonian. <laughs> we shall stage a grand cooking spectacle, complete with theatrical flames and dramatic enchantments. The mistress will be captivated. I don't understand. But sir, what if she sees through our charade? What if the feast falls flat? I'm doing my dark elf voice now. I've just morphed her into jib. Worry not, my sultry companion. I have a backup plan. A dessert so divine it will erase any doubts. A confection crafted with Thank the sweet nectar sir. of the legendary Twitch has been telling me to say his for the past and, and these essence of a I'm I'm reading Twitch has been telling me to say this for the past week. Spur Dark Souls, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you for six months. I appreciate you. But I don't I don't get what it's doing here. It's not there's no innuendo here. I told it to I mean fill it with innuendo. Does this really think Legendary Nernroot is hot? Also, Legendary Nernroot, why would that be sweet? This just sounds like a terrible... Uh, uh, a recipe. This doesn't work for me. It's not giving me any... I don't know, I don't feel... I don't feel anything from this. The story evokes no emotion. A phoenix hex, sir. Are you certain? Although if he ends this with time will tell. Absolutely. My delectable Argonian, trust me, it will be a culinary symphony that will leave the mistress utterly enchanted. Okay, we're running in circles now. Your confidence is reassuring, sir. I shall assist you in creating this culinary masterpiece, and together we shall conquer the mistress's appetite. Indeed, my enchanting companion. That's all he knows how to say. Who wrote this? Well, I know ChatGPT wrote this, but ChatGPT, who did you plagiarize this from? Indeed, my enchanting companion. Let the feast begin, and may our flavors dance in harmony, just like our clandestine encounters. Plenty of time, my sweet. Plenty of time. Okay, so I mean, it changed Krantia saying plenty of time at the end of the act to lifts her tail saying it, which I do appreciate it doing, but this is a disaster. It is an utter travesty. There's no, it's, there's no sexy, there's no spice, uh, there, there's hardly any innuendo. It's long, it's droning. I mean, look how short the other two. It's as long as Acts 1 and 2 combined. <clears throat> it doesn't even tell a joke. That chapter sucked. It's too long and not sexy enough. Fix it. Okay, now we just need to see, like, he, okay, the, the only innuendo it does in its writing is it likes to use the word exotic. It likes to always describe the ingredients as exotic. 
it, it likes to, Krantius always has to refer to the Argonian as some sort of enchantress, seductress, my fine lady. But again, even just overlooking this, there's nothing, there's nothing here. There's no polish my spear. There's no clean my goblet. There's no enchant my dragon, right? You know, there's no yomp on my winkle. Nothing here. It sucks. I told you that it would suck. I think ChatGPT is limited in its horny content it can make, except the canon that Krantius has started enjoying cookie as a hobby. <laughs> okay, you know what? Maybe that's the canon. Maybe. We've seen series do this all the time, where the finale just falls off a cliff. Maybe sometimes it's terrible, and the fans were reading Act 3 of the Lusty Argonian Maid going, what? What happened here? Where is... I feel nothing inside. This is just, it's just a recipe. That's all. Maybe Act 3 of the Lusty Argonian Maid, canonically, is just Krantius Culto agreeing, you know what? I'll just flirt with the Argonian a little bit, but at the end of the day, we just want to cook something. The Lusty Argonian Maid. Yeah, it jumped the shark. Look, we know where we have to go. Who exactly is the mistress and how is she involved? You're right. How is she involved in the story? Rewrite. Wait, hold on. Chat, that makes sense. The mistress has been reference, referenced in Act 1 and Act 2. So if the mistress doesn't play a role in Act 3, that just makes her Chekhov's gun. And it's disappointing not to see her involved in the story at all. So let's ask, rewrite the chapter. Make it even hotter and sexier with more innuendo but the mistress needs to play a role she must that's it that's got to be the third chapter the third chapter of the lusty argonian made it makes sense thematically for the mistress to catch them in the act and then to join them does it not I think it makes sense that either the mistress kills Thank Krantius. You, kind, Resident old man checking in. Hope this holiday season treats you, Papa and Mama Juve well. Keep up the good work. 40 year old nerd and thank you very much for the prime. Maybe it does get mad if you say horny. I think there are two possible ways that the lusty Argonian maid saga finishes. I think that the mistress catches them in the act joins in and it becomes this horny Elder Scrolls threesome or the mistress kills Krantius, the lusty Argonian maid and the mistress run off together. That's the only way that this story can go. And honestly, I think it's more fitting because Krantius Culto is a self insert for Crassius Curio, who's a creepy. He's just a creep. So I think it makes a more satisfying ending both for fans outside of the Elder Scrolls universe and in-universe if Krantius Culto is killed off. Rewrite the chapter, make it even hotter and sexier with more innuendo, but the mistress needs to play a role. She must interrupt. Krantius and the maid killing Krantius and falling in love with the maid. Make sure to keep the third act under 15 lines. Let's see how it does here. Thank you, Colin. Don't make it that explicit. For content for the VOD channel, lots of love from Germany, Blackheart. Ellen Van Thom, thank you very much for three months. I asked ChatGPT4 and it was actually pretty good. Is this because I'm using a worse version of ChatGPT? Here we go. We're getting somewhere now. We're getting somewhere now. 
the writer wouldn't have killed himself. You're right. The writer wouldn't have killed himself. But what if Crassius Curio was so confident in his own work, he decided to franchise it? What if he sold it to, like, the Elder Scrolls version of Disney and had them make the sequel? I don't know. You never know. But hold on. I, I think we're on to something with this third chapter. Oh, sir. I'm in a tangled web of desire. The mistress craves a feast tonight, and my culinary skills are yearning for your touch. We're getting somewhere. Okay, but again, Crantius Colto goes into his same, Fear not, my scaly siren. I've procured ingredients that'll make her taste buds sing. But first, let's indulge in a different kind of appetizer. We're getting somewhere. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. This is hot. Woo! Woo! I'm, I'm sweating. Sir, you tempt me so. But what if the mistress interrupts our delicious escapade? Oh my god. Ah. Uh, Woo! I can't ha- I can't handle this. Let her witness the feast of passion unfolding. We'll add a dash of danger to our secret affair. Oh, this is so good. It's actually turning out. I can't believe it. Woo! Woo! Uh, <clears throat> but sir, what if she catches on to our culinary seduction? What if she's not pleased? Ah, my darling Argonian, let her taste the forbidden fruits of our love. She'll be the main course in our symphony of pleasure. The mistress enters, catching them in the act. The mistress finally comes into the story after two acts of teasing her appearance. Crentius, you naughty morsel, how dare you indulge without me? The mistress, instead of being angry, joins in, and the scene takes an unexpected turn. Wait, no, she's supposed to kill Crantius. Lifts her tail. My spicy Argonian. Why do they keep calling her spicy? I've been blind to the true feast before me. Crantius, you've been keeping her all to yourself. The mistress and lifts her tail share a sizzling glance as Crantius looks shocked. Crantius, consider our arrangement over. Lifts her tail, you're now my delectable treat. I don't really like that, because that just means that lifts her tail continues to be the property of somebody else. I don't like that. The story ends with lifts her tail, once again returning to the iconic line, plenty of time, my sweet, plenty of time. That wasn't Thank bad. You time, sir. That wasn't bad. It's getting better. It's getting a little bit better. <laughs> Mick Hardwood, thank, thank you for the prime. Sir. 17 is the atomic number of chlorine. Is it really? I did not know that. It was bad though. Very, very bad. Not close to good. I I think it was significantly better than the last one. Chat, relax, relax. I know that that was incredibly hot. Whew. I don't know how to contain myself there. I don't know, can we even improve? How does the how can the third chapter improve? We well Crantius needs to be killed. Better than zero doesn't mean it's good. That doesn't mean it's terrible. It's fanfic. A majority of it is badly written, cringe, and oddly appealing. Well, I told you all that this would be terrible, did I not? I forewarned you. That's why if you're on the VOD channel, I will leave timestamps down below so you can skip this travesty. So I think we can do maybe one more rewrite. But we're pretty damn close. Okay. Rewrite the chapter. Or rewrite that act. Keep most of it the same. It was just sexy enough. So stay that way. However, the mistress needs to kill Crantius. <clears throat> this is important. The mistress needs to actually kill Crantius and free lifts her tail. Their relationship 
afterwards needs to be consensual. Okay? I think that that works. Fanfic is usually so bad, it's good. This is not an invitation for you all to start writing fanfiction. Okay, we move on. We are moving on from this arc after this nonsense. One more try. Okay, I think most of this is the same, which is good. Oh, sir, I'm ensnared in a web of desire. The mistress hungers for a feast tonight, and my culinary skills yearn for your touch. Sorry, sorry, I gotta get back <clears throat> in character. Fear not, my scaly siren. I feel cure. I'm, I'm reading. How goes the Skyrim's? Terrible. This is not Skyrim. This is really bad fan fiction, and I'm doing my best to get through it. I need to do what? What did? What did? Fandal and Sven console Krantius. No, 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 no. We can't add them into the story. That's too many characters. Fear not, my scaly siren. I've pure procured ingredients that'll make her taste buds sing. But first, let's indulge in a different kind of appetizer. So good. That's just so fucking good. That is Krantius Colto's writing to a T. Crassius Curio's writing. Sir, you tempt me so, but what if the mistress interrupts our delicious escapade? Krantius Colto. Let her witness the feast of passion unfolding. We'll add a dash of danger to our secret affair. What a just banger line. But sir, how? Oh, um, <clears throat> but sir, what if she catches on to our culinary seduction? What if she's not pleased? This is all the same as before. This is all going to be different than last time. The mistress enters, catching them in the act. Krantius, you naughty morsel. How dare you indulge without me? The mistress, instead of being angry, reveals her true intentions. Krantius, your time has come. Lips her tail, you are free from his shackles. Tonight, we celebrate liberation. The mistress, using her powers, swiftly ends Krantius' life. Oh, that's kind of lame. Mistress, what have you done? He was poison in our lives, my sweet Argonian. Now let us embark on a journey of ecstasy together. Oh. Lips her tail, now free, and the mistress so. share a sizzling glance. And then the mistress says... The key line, plenty of time, my sweet, plenty of time for a new chapter in our story. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, but, but this, um, this sucked. This, uh, yeah. Thank you, kind sir. Three months, six more to go. Thank you for the great content, Juve. Matrix Reborn, thank you very much for three months. Yeah, the last chapter was better. The only thing I don't like about the last act is that it implies that Lifts Her Tail is still under some sort of indentured servitude. But outside of that, it does fit with the themes. It feels fairly lore accurate, and it has a nice little twist at the end of the story. So you know what? I'm going to give myself a victory on this quest. I'm calling it a win. I'm calling it a win. This quest is complete. There you go. This is terrible. If this somehow ends up in the YouTube video, I am telling you right now, just it sucks. It fucking sucks. <laughs> just don't. No, no, no. Is this all we're doing today? No. No, we are moving on. We are moving on to actual Elder Scrolls content after that nonsense, but I just needed to get something. Weakest dub I've ever seen. Just leaving me alone. I knew it was going to be bad. I went into the stream going, you know what? We're just going to do it. We're going to rip the bandaid off. It's going to suck. I know it. But I know a lot of people wanted to have that third chapter of Lusty Argonian made written. It's not very good. No, it's not good. And with that, the Lusty Cinematic Universe ends. Now to an actual challenge slash quest. This is Drug Trip. It takes place in Oblivion. The writer of this quest is Vogon Poet 1938. If you're actually born in 1938, you may be the oldest person watching the channel.
The original prompt for this quest. Trenis Doronius is an Imperial City resident with a very particular schedule. On the 19th of every month, he packs his bags for a two-night skooma-fueled bender in Breville. You have been hired to escort the hapless Imperial to his party destination at the Breville Skooma Den. This should be pretty easy. Protect Trenis at all costs. They said no leaving the road. I don't know if we'll even have to leave the road to... Did I say Brazil? I'm in Breville. Sorry, sorry. Once again, I have confused Breville with Brazil. Apologies. This is the client, Trentus Doronius. Take a good long look at him. Take a good long look. This is our friend who we're going to have to escort. There's two escort quests today. Two escort quests today. This is the first one. Lock him in your mind. Red shirt. Balding. Looks really sad. The rules. It's a simple escort mission. We need to scout the target, locate the target, find them on the 19th of the month, and protect them at all costs. If I die, or the client dies, the mission fails. So this hopefully isn't too bad. Should be fairly easy. That's why we did this stream today. So that we could do a couple of easier quests, things that would be a little bit faster, you know, add some variety to the video when we do it, because the four quests that we've already done are much more in depth and took, you know, between two and a half to three hours, sometimes even longer. Thank you, Colin. So we're going to start with Oblivion today. Four months. No sub baby here. Don't worry about child support. How do we? OK, no, no, no child support. I actually have never paid sub baby child support one time. We need to have him give us a review of our new book. Who's writing a book? Don't tell me you guys are actually writing chapter three of the Lusty Argonian Maid. We don't have to do that. We can just move on from it. Let's just, let's just move on. Forget that that ever happened. Okay, give me two seconds here because I have to load up Oblivion and actually get the audio working properly. Because Oblivion is weird with actually streaming it. Thank you, kind sir. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Wait, why are people mad? What happened? Thank you, kind sir. Are people sir. upset at how badly our oh. fan fiction went? Are there any mods that can change the, you know, the game that we're playing to Oblivion? Is that possible? Worth every septum. One copy of the Lusty Argonian 3, please. No, 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 we are not selling it. This thing is going to remain in a vault, untouched. No, we're not actually going to make a new character. We're going to take our previous Oblivion character that we used in the previous Oblivion quest, and we're just going to use them here. Uh, Bay Blue, thank you for a thousand bits. Very kind of you. Mero Biba, thank you for three months. Jelly Bulldog, thank you for two months. I appreciate you all. Thank you. You sadly have a follower who saw this episode and who loves weird fanfic, calligraphy, and bookbinding. Oh no. Oh no. Please make a new one. So, the reason why I want to use the same character is because for the actual video, I think I want to do the characters out of order. I think thematically there's an interesting little mystery there to be like, how did we end up with this character here? What are their origins? I thought about this the other day, and I was like, oh, that sounds fairly interesting. 
So we're actually going to be starting this one with Chester the Cheetah. But I also need to check one more stupid thing. Because I am a bad streamer. I'm not good at this job. Hope I didn't miss any alerts in there. Let me check real quick. Uh, Quinny of the Green. I missed this one a little bit ago. Thank you for five months. Lauren Gore. Thank you for five months as well. Koopaling. Thank you for 17 months. Now we're all caught up. Now we're moving. You may be watching this thinking to yourself, hey, these challenges today seem much more low effort than the ones we did earlier. Uh, you would be correct. You would be correct. Although they should still be fairly entertaining. Remember, they're more experiment than they are challenge. Okay, we're in. It just takes time. What day of the month is it? Oh god, it's the 16th. We only have three days until Trentius... Trentius? Trentius Dorenius? Is that his name? We only have three days until he goes. So... Oh, honestly, it's closer to two days once the clock passes midnight. So we need to figure out where he is in the Imperial City Market? I'm actually not sure where he's gonna be while in town. Also, I have a feeling I have a bounty. But the guards didn't come after me. Maybe I don't. Speak. They don't look too happy with me. Maybe I don't have one? It's 3 a.m. It's the 17th. I have no clue what district of the city this guy is in. So we're going to have to locate him fairly quickly. Morning. Morning, how are you? So that was stupid. Now I only have one Stop day. Right okay, there. no, that, that was a bad idea. Hope you rot. I just wanted to up the stakes and the pressure. How long will I be in jail though? Alright, hey, it's only the 18th. He doesn't leave for his drug trip until tomorrow. I have 24 hours to find our target. This should not be bad. Also, I am 100% not playing this on the hardest difficulty. That was only for the intro of this challenge. Part of me wants to know where he's at. But another part of me also says, eh. Maybe I just try to stumble across him. He's wearing a red coat. It can't be that hard to find him. Trentius Durenius. For some reason, to me, that just screams Elven Gardens District. Right? It's gotta be Elven Gardens. Greetings, Kachi. Greetings. How are you? No, he won't be here. There's not a lot of civilian life. He's either going to be Temple, Elven Gardens, or Arboretum. If I fast travel, I have a weird feeling that the time is going to... skip quite a lot. Ooh, and Talos Plaza. Ooh, he could be here. Is that him? That's a red shirt. Hi there. Not the target. Not the client. Red shirt, red shirt, no red shirt. Uh, where is he? We'll find him. It's a matter of time. He's going to stick out like a sore thumb. Not a red shirt. Is it, citizen? I wish I could ask the guards. Um, oh. Speak. Wait, really? I'm out of the city? How do I get to where I need to go? Speak. We need... Elden Gardens. It's to the left. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. That's a red jacket. Yes, I 
got snacking to eat. No, it's another Chester the Cheetah type character. Let's try this door. I bet he's in here. One big problem we have, though, is we need to scout out where he's at. I can't wait throughout the night and then miss when he leaves. <gasps> is that him? There's two red jackets over here. Go ahead. I'm listening. Red coat. Who are you? I heard there was some Marinus Catiotis. Vontan Sintav. Why does everybody have the same outfit? Good day. I'd rather take have care. someone else just repair. It's you. I didn't I. have to take the time. The Fighters Guild is recruiting again. No. no. Ooh, who is that? Red Jacket. This has got to be him. God, no. Tertius Favonius. They all have these same names. Tertius Favonius. Ramana and me have set up housekeeping. <laughs> She's a real doll, isn't she? No, you are not the drug addict I need. Take care. I'd punch him in the face, but I only have one day to find our target. Trentius Doronius. Lusty Argonian writing session when? Oh, oh no, we're done. We're well past that. Now we're just, oh, we're back in the market district. Is it possible he's at the Arboretum? Wait, what time is it? It's 1 p.m. Okay, if it's 1 p.m., that means he might have been at one of the bars. It's right around lunchtime in the Imperial City. Look at all these red jackets. It's like they all decided to wear the same outfit on the same day just to confuse me. Ida of Lenormen. Let's check the tavern. Red jacket. Greetings. No. Marinus. Oh, hello. Tertius. Every character in the Imperial City is kind of named like all the characters in Eke Raumani. It was the Latin book that I had to What's learn from when I was in high school. They say syndicates of wizards have Cornelius. Flavia. Marcus. Thank you, kind sir. Are we going to yump on Fall Guys today? Why would we play Fall Guys? He's at the Fighters Guild. Is that what you mean when you say Fuckers Guild? Temple District? Oh, I really doubt he's in the Temple District. Did I already check Talos Plaza? I don't think he'd be in the waterfront. He dresses too nicely for the waterfront. He's got that nice red jacket. Let's check the Tiber Septum Hotel. Afternoon. Greetings. No. Who just left? Not him. Where is this guy? I'm gonna run out of time here soon. What is it, citizen? Stop talking to me, okay? I'm looking for someone important. You wouldn't understand. That's gonna take me out of the city. Okay, I'm just gonna fast travel to the Arboretum. I have no clue how to get there on my own. No, he's not the Dark Elf. He's a Breton? Maybe an Imperial. No, the Arboretum is just a place that people walk through. Nobody stays here all day long. It's 2.30 p.m., I've heard others say the same. Tertullian? Hotel. Well met. Well met, how are you? Nice to meet you, sir. Have you seen... T I don't remember his name. Does anybody remember his name? Bye. I already forgot the target's name. He lives in the Temple District, according to Google. Okay, now it's time to cheat. Temple District. Let's check this out. Maybe we can find his house. It might be easier if we break into his house. Trennis. Oh, wait, I have not been here. Okay, hopefully we can find him walking around. I think if I just look through every single house, 
I should be able to find him eventually. What about you? Everybody needs a copy of the Black Horse Courier. Around Ryan's house. No. Sorius Afranius. Algot. Master on he's gotta be around here. Trenus Deronius. Okay, this is his house. We found his house. If I stake out the place, we can probably find him. Or I could break in. Maybe I'll wait until nighttime, break into his house. We'll have him located. He's going to leave tomorrow. As long as we're ready for when he leaves town, we should be okay. This is perfectly fine. He hired us anyway. All right, 1 a.m. Just need to make sure that there's no witnesses. Oh, wait, hold on. I have my magical ability. Is it illegal to cast? It's not. I just need that guard to lose track of us and then we can go in. How do they see me? I don't understand how they see me. Also, time out. I just need to make sure that... Okay, the game is recording audio. I had to double check. You never know. Sometimes it freaks me out when we have to play a bunch of different games at once. Uh, USB device. Thank you for 10 months. L88 packs. Thank you for three months. I appreciate you. Maybe I can just go in. Walk away. I'm getting real fed up of all these witnesses. Move on. Oh, crap. It's only getting worse. At least the door stayed locked. <clears throat> okay, I'm just... I'm just gonna go in. He's already left? No, no, there's no way he already left. The 19th just happened. It's private quarters. I swear to God, if I turn around... Or if a guard jump scares the shit out of me. Where is he? Maybe he's just sleeping in here. This is okay. This should be legal. I was hired. <gasps> he's not in bed. <gasps> Did he actually leave? <gasps> My client! No, <laughs> he's already left town? What time does he leave? Does he leave at like midnight? Oh, no way. I'm never going to find this guy. I am never, I'm never finding him. Get your black horse courier here. So he definitely leaves before midnight. It's not the 19th yet, so he probably hasn't left. He's in the market. Okay, we'll check the market. No, 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 that does not count as quest failed. Hello, ma'am. Nice to meet you. How are you? You. You! I think we got him. I think we got him. This guy looks just as measly and pathetic enough to be our target. Whoa, oh, you, you scared me. I was off in my happy place and you just popped in and wrecked the whole thing. Boom, got him. You, my friend, are a drug addict. You too. You too. Now our day of stalking has begun. Where, oh where, 
Will the balding men go? His life is sad. He wishes he had a fro. Mm, not bad, but not great. Man, look at that shiner. That is just a brutal... I mean, it looks like somebody pranked him when they shaved his head. Thank you, kind sir. The fuck was Perfect that? Perfect timing for some Oblivion Grand Champion. Annoying fan, good to see you. Thank you for five months. Hail. Everybody be quiet, okay? It's really important that we just... Don't do anything suspicious. Okay, we can only bully him for his hair so much before that gets boring. He does have sassy hips. I'm undenying that my hips don't lie and I'm starting to feel your boy. Da -na -na -na. Uh -uh -uh. If I included that in a video, would it get a copyright, copyright claim? Would Shakira claim my Oblivion content? What? Nothing. I have not been following you. This was just a coincidence. Big city. I'd really love the lights at night. Shoo, shoo. The city of love. Got it? Love, light, night. Big. Big, 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 big. Oh, he's that wanted criminal. Isn't he a master thief? I hear he's dangerous too. I'm a master thief. I've heard that the beggars spy for him. <clears throat> be seeing you I really want to pinpoint exactly when he leaves town I want to nail this down are we just gonna have to walk at this pace stop stop okay I need to stop getting like I need to stop getting close enough to where he engages in conversation we might actually just be walking at this exact pace all the way from here to Breville. You know what would be funny? If I followed him at this exact pace all the way to Breville and we didn't run into one encounter the entire time. If it was just simply walking, nothing occurs, nothing happens, much ado about nothing. Can you spare a coin? No, obviously not. Do you know he's got way more important things to spend money on? Asking for a single coin. You have my ear, citizen. I think he's gonna go home. Get away from me. Okay, it's 5 p.m. So he goes home at 5 p.m. He's going to be gone before midnight. The door is locked. Let's quick save and let's go into his house. Hopefully he's aware that I've been hired to protect him. You should talk to him and bribe him. He needs the money for drugs to forget about all the ridicule he gets for his hair. That's pretty sound advice. He doesn't see us yet. Let's surprise him with money. What can I do for you? Got him. Go ahead. See, was that hard? Okay. It... Wait, did I just get robbed? <laughs> I think I accidentally got robbed there. I didn't mean to. Bye. Doesn't seem like he cares that I'm here. I'm not trespassing. I wonder if I'm legally allowed in his house now because his disposition is high enough. Did I just bribe him into employment? It's completely legal to go in here now. Whoa, today I learned about Oblivion. Is that a thing in Oblivion? Maybe I'm paying him to escort me to Brazil. 
Either way, one hour at a time until he leaves. Uh oh, is he leaving? No, he's just shuffling to the other side of the room. I hope I can help. He's so much nicer to me now. Farewell. He's got to be leaving close to around midnight. That's my theory. It's going well, Witty Guns. How's it going with you? Can we pipe him? Guys, no more fan fiction. I knew it was a mistake. I shouldn't have done it. We should not have done the Lusty Argonian made fan fiction. So now that I'm really good friends with him, I can clearly have a meal at his house, right? Yes. He doesn't care? What have I done to my obl I've never seen that. It's my pleasure. Take care. He really doesn't care if I steal. Put that back, you worthless thief. Oh, come on, not now, not now. No guards. Please, no guards. Ah. Oh. Stop! You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. I, uh, uh. Okay, this causes a problem. This causes a really big problem. Pay the gold. Depends on how much time passes. That's too bad. Oh. I've never understood that in Oblivion. That's too bad. I was hoping you'd resist arrest. I know I make fun of it every time they say it, but it bears repeating. That's too bad. I was hoping I could fucking kill you. I was hoping I could stab you in the chest. Oh no, I can't cast my ability. I have to go now. I'm hidden. We have to break back into his house. It's not midnight yet. He probably hasn't left home. Gotta get this. Come on. I'm good at picking locks. He's home! It's time for you to leave, my friend. A pleasure to speak with you. He's getting hammered right now. He's already drinking. God, what is up with your face? Oh, no, 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 no. That's creepy. You can see his teeth under his chin. This is what addiction does to you, my friends. It's very bad. You know, addiction, it's a disease. Support those around you or they too may have their teeth clip through the bottom of their chin. Good day. Cannot wait while trespassing. Okay, so he's still in the house. I'm gonna wait one hour. Well met. And he just left the house. We caught him. All right, everybody. The mission has started. Come on, keep walking. Is he waiting? How are you? Oh. What is it, citizen? In better. How about you? Not bad. Good to hear. What's the news from the other parts of Tamriel? Nothing I'd like to talk about. Safe travels. Bye. How goes it? This guy's wild. He's on his way to go get more drugs while chugging drugs. The adventure has begun. Our slow walk to Breville that probably has absolutely no action. Thank you, kind sir. We're on the way. A knower. Thank you for gifting one to the channel. And went out to Bulu. Thank you, kind sir. Sipping on a root beer, and watching some juve. Try not to be too mad. I'm, I'm trying to figure out why my chat has decided that I hate root beer. How did that begin? I was on Jabo's stream and I found out that we're from the same town. Really, that's a fun coincidence. 
Chad, try not to get too excited. This is going to be a really thrilling journey. Hi there. Move along. Come on, speed things up here. This is going to suck. This is so stupid. We're just going to walk the whole time. I bet we don't we're not going to run into any drama. I will be prepared to defend him with my life, though. How are you? A pleasure to speak with you. You too. True friendship. What is that tune? I actually don't remember what that tune is from. I want to say it's Simpsons Hit and Run, but I don't think so. It might be Hit and Run. If it is Hit and Run, then this VOD is getting claimed. Good evening. Make up your mind. He does have a sassy ass walk. Look at that. Once he gets out of the judgmental marketplace district, he can be himself. I love that for you, Trennis. I guess yes. I... Oh my gosh, come on, let's go. Let's keep walking. You and me, all the way to the end. I'm not gonna talk. I'm just gonna instead let you all listen. Thank you, kind sir. Smiley face. Smiley face, smiley face. Sunflower Jess, thank you for five months. I'm just going to let you all listen to the alluring ASMR of Oblivion Footstep Audio. Please, by all means. I'm not going to say another word until something Either. happens or we get to Breville. Hi there. How goes Thank it? you, kind sir. Greetings to you.
Good to see you. Good morning. Worth every septum. God, I just fucking love my brute beer so much it's unreal. I drink that stuff up every single day and with every single meal I eat. I'll grab the biggest cup money can buy, not to mention my handy mud canteen that I keep on my person at all times, and fill it right up as high as I can, and I drink that whole goddamn thing right down, savoring every single delectable drop of the Lord's purest drink. It's become such an addiction that I've stopped drinking anything other. I need my magic. I have fear demoralized up to level 25 for 30 seconds. Don't no! Run. Oh shit! Wrong button! Go! Get out of here! Trennis, run! Go! There's arrows! Oh, for the love of mug root beer. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah, oh, God, how do I miss everything? I didn't mean to demoralize you, Trennis! I can't hit anything. I'm freaking out. Guard! Guard! Oh no, where did he go? He went up the hill. He had to have gone your worst. There he is. No! No! Trennis, it was an accident! Ah. I accept your surrender, my friend. Septum. I've lost count but I believe that this past weekend was my 17th trip to the hospital to pass yet another kidney stone from the sheer amount of soda I'm drinking. It does not deter me. I'm the one and only mug maniac, drinking entire cases of the sweetest drink known to all humankind, and I'll chug my mug until my dying days. I display my kidney stones proudly in cases on my wall, the wall of mug. It doesn't stop at drinking mug though. I've actually become quite infamous. He's stuck. I... Worth every septum. I've seen your kind time and time again. Every fleeing man must be caught. Every secret Private must gods, be unearthed. Such the is the conceit of the self-proclaimed seeker of truth. But in the end, you lack the stomach. For the agony you bring upon yourself. I accept your surrender, my friend. Okay. We got him back on the road. Thank you all for trying to break me out of my silence. I am returning back to my vow of silence on the road until something happens. 
Thank you, kind sir. Also, Juve, we have had two Twitch babies together. What should we name the third? This past week alone, I've broken into five different production centers for barks and vandalized a large portion of the manufacturing equipment, resulting in the temporary closures of the facilities. That is, until they permanently close after the small, but significant structural damage I've done to the facilities. When those godless demons working on the production lines are buried in rubble, I hope their last thoughts are of regret at not having found the light of Monk. What's this about? Go ahead, please. Goodbye. Morning. What? <coughs> Stop talking. Something to report? Bye. But my plans go greater than even this, too. I've been stockpiling a personal supply of mug for this great plan. It wasn't cheap, either. I had to spend hundreds of thousands on a refrigerated warehouse in which I've stored millions of gallons of the highest quality Magroot beer. Shit, 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 here we go, here we go, here we go. Don't get involved in the fight, dude. Why is he getting involved in the fight? That's the dumbest thing you could possibly do. Absorb health, heal minor wounds. He's gonna get himself killed. Do your worst. Oh no, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Run, run! Ugh! Run, Trennis! Took too many of my healing potions. You! Argonian! Get over here and help me! Take that! Ugh. Go ahead, please. Bye. Need to find Trennis. Where did he get off to? Trennis? Oh, there he is. I found him. I found him. Okay, we found. 
Go ahead, please. He has like no health. He needs to get his health back. Farewell. I honestly don't know if I can get him back in one piece. Now, I return back to my vow of traveling silence until shit goes wrong. Hi there. Worth every septum. Anyway, in about three days, I'm going to get a convoy of trucks ready, and I'll be dumping as much mug as I can into the water supplies of various municipalities in the Detroit metropolitan area. I've waited years for this, and now I plan on spreading the glory of Mugroot beer to the rest of the world. BTW Sarsaparillo is for the godless heathens like Juve. What is it? Greetings! Go ahead. Questions? Worth every septum. Hello, we are sorry to hear that you did not have a positive experience with well Starfield. Met. Our team is constantly working to ensure that what Starfield is, is a fun and polished experience. To see the most recent updates, you can visit our official site. While the confines of space may be a bit overwhelming at first, there are many different ways to enjoy Starfield such as missions, Hail. exploration, role-playing, outpost Not building, bad. and starship Good building. To hear. The Emperor, and his three sons, dead right under the noses of the Imperial Guard. It's a disgrace. Uh-huh. They say that when you murder someone, the Dark Brotherhood comes to you in your sleep. It's how they recruit new members. Mug is an abomination. Is this true? Mug is blue team. No doubt. Mug is a fake the Iron Man BOS and should be wiped again. from Not this earth. A and W is superior. A and W is the glorious yellow team. I've heard others it's say the, the same. Doctor Jacques of Root Beer. Well. Hi. Someone should teach you some manners. What's this about? Worth every septum. Virgil's is the real goat of root beer. Worth every septum. If you're not playing Fall Guys right now, you are missing out on quite possibly the most engaging cinematic survival hey. horror masterpiece in gaming history. If you play Fall Guys and you have a bad time, I are. I don't know, man. Maybe video games aren't just your thing. All that being said, I'm gonna give Fall Guys a console pleb score of 5 out of 5. This is a perfect game for any console casual How gamer to I pick help? up and play.
Thank you, kind sir. Sub partner. Good morning. Worth every septum. IBC is best root beer. Turns out there are two wood elf sisters who always fight together. I'm listening. Worth every septum. Cheer 100, cheer 100, it would be hilarious if you ripped the loudest fart you could right now. Worth every septum. We are sorry to hear Starfield didn't live up you to your expectations. Some of Starfield's planets are meant to be empty by design, but that's not boring. When the astronauts went to the moon, there was nothing there. They certainly weren't bored. The intention of Starfield's exploration is to evoke a feeling of smallness in players and make you feel overwhelmed. Good morning. You can continue to explore and find worlds that do have resources you need or hidden outposts to look through. Thank you, kind sir. Worth every septum. The key to humor no is repetition. Go ahead, please. Be seeing you. Every septum. The secret to humor is timing. Hello there. Hi. I'm listening. Hi there. Worth every septum. Juve, say nothing if the Fable 2 video is coming out this week. How Worth goes it? every septum. Ring ring slash hello? Slash hi it's me Todd. Did you enjoy Starfield? Slash no slash sorry to hear Starfield didn't live up to your expectations.
Some of Starfield's planets are meant to be empty by design, but that's not boring. When the astronauts went to How the moon, there was nothing there. They certainly weren't bored. The intention of Starfield's exploration is to evoke a feeling of smallness in players and make you feel overwhelmed. You can continue to explore and find woe. Worth every septum. What do you call a one-legged hippo? Doesn't matter, he ain't well coming. Met. Yes. Worth every septum. How do you make holy water? You boil the hell out of it. I've been stealing my wife's dry herbs out of the pantry to weave into a belt. She thinks it is a waste of time. Worth every septum. Damn Trenus, what are you doing out here with all this ass? Double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon, hello ass, the sun is still out. Good afternoon. Worth every septum. How does a penguins build a house? It lose it. Greetings to you. Worth every septum. You flick your cigarette out the window, and you drive for a couple more miles, and you smell something funny, and you look over into the back seat, and sure enough, Grandma's fingering herself again. Hi there.
worth every septum. When can we get a gift Renus walking the catwalk? Let's hear it. We got a tank for Trennis. Come on, cat lady. <clears throat> Fuck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, before I have to go back to my vow of silence, I want you all to know every single dead wolf that we ran into, this Argonian, Wumik, rest in peace. Rest in peace, Wumik. He sacrificed himself to fight every single one of those dead wolves that we encountered. That's where they came from. Greetings to you. Greetings. Hi there. Worth every septum. Three minutes ago today we lost a friend. Not only a friend, but a king. He helped us through our darkest moments, led us through every trial we faced, and was there to enjoy with us the times that weren't so bad. Not a day goes by that yes. I don't think about him. The day he died, he shook the earth, and the whole world became one in their mourning. It is important to remember this day, not to mourn, but to be happy. Rest in power, Wu Meek. How can I help you? Greetings. Well met.
Tidings, citizen. Tidings, citizen. Greetings, Kachit. Good to see you. How can I help you? Yes? Take care. What is it now? It's you. Hi. Yes. Good evening. What's new with you? I have heard that the great Hail. houses of Morrowind are in uproar. Hello there. Inderil is in ruins, and Redoran <coughs> is besieged by the Nords of Skyrim. It seems that these are turbulent times in the land of the Dunmer. Good hunting. Good day. Farewell. How do you do? Yes? Take care. You have words? Hi there. Birth every scepter. Everyone is fucking hammered lol 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 lol. Greetings, Khajiit. Hello. I'm Roxanne Bridget. I help the boys. They get a little squirrely sometimes, find it hard to cope. So I help out. To Skooma with him. Mission complete. I'm Jazindar. Hey, that's me you're talking to. Reister the Rotted. Hear me? Thank you, Clancer. Reister. Wow! Bless you. Oh, I got this amazing itch right on my thigh. Can't touch it. It's rough. Good day. What you want? Go ahead, please. Good day.
Hello. Stay. Go. go. What, do I, what do I care? Where are the drugs? Where are the drugs? The mission is complete. I do not have to do a vow of silence oh. anymore. That was ridiculous. Hi. So, have you bet on any What's going on matches? with you? <clears throat> sure. I hear the legions Goodbye. have been recalled from Fort. <gasps> what? Stop. What are you going to do? Report me for stealing all of your illegal narcotics? I'm just Go. Yes. Stop! Then pay with your blood! Ow. 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 <laughs> Not like this. Uh, no! Citizen. Shit! I thought there would be more skooma and I could do something cool. Damn it. Anyway, um, I guess, uh, <laughs> I guess, I guess mission complete. Uh, that was a really weird experience. But it kind of hit me as we were doing this, where I was like, it would be a really fun change of pace for my, uh, it would be a really fun change of pace for one of my videos to just say, you know what? Sometimes with Oblivion, you just have to let Oblivion be Oblivion. Let's just embrace the sounds, the walk. And obviously it gave chat an opportunity to talk far too much in detail about why they love their favorite root beer brand. I don't know why that was so popular for y'all. I did it for the bag. <laughs> I have no clue, but I don't care. Mission complete. Uh, that was actually really, really fun. Uh, Lambo, thank you for 16 months. Courier owns, thank you for the bits. King Scar, I'm just going to run through and uh, thank everybody who supported that ridiculous entire thing. <laughs> yes, and all of the Starfield Steam copy pastas. King Scar, thank you very much. Chuck Shanker, thank you. Chuck Shanker again. Good night, Essie. Bombastic side eye. I did give you some side eye. Uh, Derrico, that was incredibly out of pocket. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I was like, what in the what? Whoa, that was a little bit much. Uh, blue, blue, blue butt. Thank you again. Pool, thank you for all that nonsense. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't even see the one about uh, Spectrum customer service. Umbra Borealis, thank you. B Blue, thank you. Stickman, appreciate it. Organic Gollum, thank you for more Dr. Pepper uh, lore. Miss Straight Vibin, do you think I'm the reason my dad and mom got divorced? No, no. No, I think they might have just had some issues. Jenny, thank you very much. Metal Pandora, I appreciate you. Thank you. B Blue, thank you again. Winter Blizz, thank you for two months. Uh, Sly Panda, thank you for gifting two subs to the community. Very kind of you. Courier Owns, thank you again. We'll run for fun. Thank you for two months. Space Lemons, thank you for joining in on the root beer rivalry. There are actually a lot of these that I did not see. <laughs> Chloe, I, I tried to thank you, Chloe, in sign language. I don't know if I did it right. Is that an H? I think that's H. It was like C-H-L-O-E-Y. I think I tried C-O. Thank you. I tried my best. Did I turn down my bitrate because Spectrum is terrible? No, my bitrate stays the same. Uh, Spectrum just ended up fixing the issue. There was an issue on the neighborhood node that was servicing our area. 
Um, but thank you all. That was actually quite fun. Hey, not speaking was not part of the quest. That just was something that I decided to do very randomly. Wait, is stream over? No, stream is not over. We have two more quests that we need to do. If there are any mods in chat, could you change the category to Morrowind? The next one we have to do is in Morrowind. <clears throat> that was way more fun than I thought it would be, though. I thought that that quest would actually stink. But it was fun. It was stupid, but it was fun. Next up on the board, we're going back to Morrowind. I came up with this name and I'm proud of it. Okay, I am as proud of this name as I am. Assassin's Speed. This is Fork the Patriarchy. Thank you to Alltel3369 for writing this one in. I had to edit this one a little bit, but I think that this one should be fun. The original lore that they wrote. Shagorath is becoming... Becomingly? That is my own typo, not theirs, I think. Shagorath is becomingly increasingly distressed at the enhancements in toolmaking, and is worried that soon the forks made by man will rival his fork of Harepilation. Your mission, should you choose to accept, is to assassinate the leaders of House Lalu, House Redoran, and House Telvani using the fork of Harepilation, and leave a fork as a calling card for each kill. There's a common theme among most of these quests. Either escorting something, or assassinating something. Our three targets are Gothrin, who is in Telerun, Bolvin Venim, Bolvin Venim, who is in Aldrun, and Vadam Dren, who is in Ebonheart. I don't know how possible this is going to be because two of them are wearing ebony armor. I looked at their stats on the wiki and their stats are fairly high. The rules, what we have to do in Morrowind. Well, first off, we have to finish carrying the ring to Red Mountain because I'm a cheater. If you watch the first Morrowind stream that we did, I kind of just forgot about that part. We tried to just kill Vivek and I didn't even carry the ring all the way to Red Mountain. So that didn't really work. Right? I kind of didn't really even do it. I tried to get away with it by just jumping all the way to the mountain. Nah, that doesn't really work. So we're going to do that first. Finish carrying the uh, ring. I forgot the name of the ring. The ring of engraved healing. All the way to Root Red Mountain. Root beer consumption on stream when asking for a friend. Root beer consumption on stream? Maybe we'll just do an entire stream dedicated to root beer reviews. One of these days. That day is not today, though. After that, we should... I think all we have to do is find the Sheagorath Shrine, which is in Vivek, to get the fork. We're going to start in Vivek because we're using the exact same character Thank from you, before. Thanks, sir. Happy 10 months, Juve. Let's celebrate with some ice-cold Henry Weinhardt's root beer yum yum. Okay, well, Big Tuna, I appreciate the prime, but please, if you're going to reference root beer, only reference existing root beer brands... Henry Weinhards? What is that? That's not real. That, the, you made that up. How can you leave the fork on the target if you have to kill three separate targets? Do you have three forks? Well, we're going to have to find some forks, which shouldn't be too hard. It's real? It's out here in Oregon? Well, Oregon's not real. Stop lying to me. It's, oh, oh, guys, wait, speaking of Oregon, this is completely... Random, but do you remember when I mentioned before I had to leave stream and talk to that bookstore to try and figure out my uh, to try and figure out my mom's birthday present? So I called uh, the well, actually the bookstore called me because when I ordered online, uh, basically what I wanted to get my mom for Christmas was loot boxes of books. I said a loot box of ra romance books, a loot box of mystery books, and then a loot box of thriller books. And I put in the little note of my order. I could put a note down there and I said, I will pay for expedited shipping to get this here by my mom's birthday. And they called me the next day and they left me a really sweet voicemail. Um, I forgot the name of the gal who was on the phone, but she said, hey, you know, we can get it out there in time. We just wanted to make sure that, you know, we uh, 
we just wanted to let you know that it's going to be an extra charge and we'll have to get on a phone call with you to figure that out. So that's why I left stream the other day to do that. I was blown away when they sent me the box. I want to go just grab it real quick and show you what they actually sent. So I'll be like two seconds. So this was just like, this was just like one of the uh, loot boxes of books and they sent them all wrapped up like this. They sent them pre-wrapped just like this, but then they even included a happy birthday card that they put in there and they signed on their own. They were like, uh, what was the name of the bookstore? Warm wishes, happy winter reading from your friends at Third Street Books. So they even sent a birthday card that, you know, the bookstore signed. And then these socks, these <laughs> these like romance looking socks, Kiss Con, uh, I'm so socksy, it says on there. I was blown away. And then like little bookmarkers. They'd sent like so much stuff there. They, there was even a, su a succulent in the box. They sent way too much. It was like the sweetest gesture I've ever seen, you know, random people send. So yeah, Third Street Books in McMinnville, Oregon. If you need a present, if you have somebody in your family that's a reader, Order a loot box of books from that store. But yeah, I wanted to show you all that. So yeah, Oregon is real. It, it, it is real. And in my only experience with the folks out there, they're pretty nice. Okay, all right. I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. I'll get back and we'll do the Morrowind quest and then there's a Skyrim quest and then we're gonna wrap up this whole arc and be done with it.
I am exhausted. Or not exhausted, really cold. I'm freezing cold. Um, oh, yeah, for this one, I have like a goal of three hours. We'll try to finish this, though. Even, even if we like can't do it in three hours, we'll try. Whew. Whew. It is like I was like freezing cold that whole time. Give me just a second. I have to get this like set up so it actually plays the Morrowind audio and all that fun stuff. It's been really cold up here the last couple of weeks. That should work. Uh, oh, I need my timer. Where is live split? I should have had a timer up for the uh, the Oblivion one we did. I don't know why I didn't. It's like something we've talked about, uh, Editor Isaac and I, where should pretty much do that every recording because then it's way easier to line up the stream highlights if we use them with non-stream highlight stuff. Timer looks good. We're going to aim for three hours to drop the ring off and kill all three of our targets. I'm definitely going to need a refresher to find where the targets are. Is there a penalty if you don't finish a quest by the time limit? I don't know. Probably not. It's just a goal. It's a goal to get there. We're going to finish this quest, but it's just a goal for us to, you know, get to a certain point. I'm not going to actually do a root beer stream unless there is a lot of really passionate excitement for a root beer stream. What? what why? Why do y'all like root beer so much? That feels I, I feel like that's a TikTok thing. Like, I remember seeing on TikTok a bunch of root beer mug versus is it barks it's barks right because it's got a dog on it it's like mug versus barks Rubber. Rubber. it's a top tier soda i mean i like root beer i haven't had it in a really really long time root beer is best tiktok sucks though yeah i don't have tiktok yeah. Yeah, I don't have a. Will I get a cyber truck? Fuck no. Like the ugliest looking car I think I've ever seen. I feel like the cyber truck looks like a car that actually gives you Reddit karma when you buy it. That just seems that's 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 the vibe I get from that truck. Like if you put an extra twenty thousand dollars down on the cyber truck, you get a bonus two hundred thousand karma and Reddit coins. Even though I have admitted to being a redditor before. All right, the last save I made. God, it is so much darker on the actual stream than it is for me in game. Uh, the 
what we did la last time, we had the ring in our inventory with this exact character. We got all the way to level seven. We did really well. We grinded not as efficiently as we could have, but we did a decent job. I am going to take this whole loadout right here from scratch. Where am I? I'm in Vivek. Yeah, I can get to Red Mountain. I can easily get to Red Mountain on my own. This won't be hard. It's like a short walk. We get to Red Mountain. Maybe we run into an enemy or two while we're up there. This won't be that bad. We drop the ring in the lava. And then we go off and we kill. We just have to kill three leaders. Oh, shit, timer. Thank you, kind sir. What's Lemmy? Uh, Gearhead, thank you for eight whole months. How are you? I'm gonna need I'm gonna need something to drown out the sound of these boots clip clomping their way all the way up to Red Mountain. I'm doing well. I'm feeling good. We have two awful challenges down. Two to go. The final two aren't nearly as stupid as the last two, but damn if the last two weren't very fun. I should take this opportunity though while we're going to Red Mountain to maybe train some more. Thankfully, the, hork, uh, the fork of Horripilation is going to land in the short blade criteria, which is what we've mostly trained in. So against these higher level enemies, we should be able to hit the majority of our attacks. If you missed it on this character, we started this character with a three hour grind in Sedanine. We couldn't leave Sedanine or the surrounding swamps. It was a mind numbing grind. But we did find a really effective strategy at grinding a bunch of good XP. We lost about an hour, though. It was about two hours of really effective grinding, and the first hour was not the best. But we should have. And I spent most of my money. I have a ton of Sujama in my inventory. We can probably use that for our high value targets. So overall, it should be pretty easy. Can you use offensive spells for debuffs? No, I can't really use too many spells. My magic abilities are trash. I thought restoration would be decent to invest in, but it was a waste of time. All we really grinded was light armor, short blade, and acrobatics. We really didn't grind anything else. <clears throat> and I put them as minor skills so that they could level up faster. I think that was a mistake as well. They'd all probably be close to the 60s. Um, I need to be careful here. There's much easier routes that I could take to get to Red Mountain. I'm about to cross into a Daedric Fort. Don't kill me. Whew. I need to be careful. I'm gonna run out of stamina and get jumped by cliff racers while I'm in the water. The Fork of Horripilation drains Magicka. Uh, no, I have not been doing much Magicka at all. So we should be okay? I would hope so. I saw a mod for Morrowind literally last night. Come on now. Maybe I'm screwed. Resting here is illegal. Is that a citizen town? Ah, uh, but I saw a mod last night for Morrowind. Honestly, game changing. I can't get it yet on OpenMW, which is the launcher I use for Morrowind. But it's an animation smoothing mod where 
If you notice how this character goes from standing to sneaking, they kind of just immediately go right like that. I don't know. It's, they kind of let just like bloop, right into sneak mode. This mod, it um, it changes it to where the character actually like crouches down, and it's honestly it looks incredible. Okay, I need to get moving here though. Nice cheap XP. There's going to be so many of these enemies on the way there. Ooh, what is that? A red? I feel like that one's going to be hostile. And I want to avoid those. They do a lot of magic damage, I'm pretty sure. Imagine having always used best attack on. Why wouldn't I use that? I mean, I don't like it in the sense that, like, it does remove an element of Morrowind where you don't really have to skill your way into using, or you don't have to, like, movement your way into using the best attack for a weapon. So, short blades. What it ends up doing is short blades end up playing the exact same way as spears. So there's just no this is like spears and short blades are essentially the same, except spears are a little bit heavier, slower and deal more damage. Take up more stamina. Man, these boots are loud. Constantly just clomping around the whole way. I know how to get to Red Mountain, though. This should not be too hard. I don't think I'll be able to finish the stream. I got to go to work in two hours. Hey, work, work is more important than watching this stupid stream. Find a TV at work. If you have a TV at work in the corner, throw it on. Have your coworkers look up and go, is that guy playing Morrowind? No way. And you'd be like, yeah, he doesn't do it often enough. What was that? What was that? That's good. We can actually land hits without stamina. I find out my new streamers from that one time they played Morrowind. Is that how you found us from the one time we played Morrowind? True, what if the boss gives everyone the day off to just watch Morrowind? You're not thinking of the benefits of putting on the stream at work. I can never tell sometimes with the cliff racers, like, am I in range to hit them? I don't know how I'm even getting hit. 84 agility feels really high. We're getting there. I bet it'll be 20 minutes and then we have this ring in the lava. Then we got to make our way from the wall uh, maybe not to Balmora. There's probably a closer town that we can take a fast travel back to Vivek. I should have grabbed the fork while we were in Vivek. Why did I not do that? Chat, am I an idiot? Don't you need a high short sword skill for high accuracy? It's at 46, which isn't bad. But if we started it at 46 and then did all of our grinding early on, it'd be in the 60s. So we definitely didn't do ourselves a favor.
Really? We got the same song again? Okay, well, it's a banger. Two Point Hospital. Bangers only on the soundtrack. It's a good derpy exploration tune. If you had to choose one, what would be, what would be your favorite Bethesda game? Skyrim. Both because... Honest answer. And... It's, a, it's an answer that can send some people up a wall. But honestly, yeah. Ooh, hold on, time out. Nah, nah, nah. Do I really want to fight? Okay, hey. Everybody relax. I, I, I got no interest in this. How am I going to kill three faction leaders? How far are they going to follow me? Don't follow me that far. Ah, crap. Ah, they're... Okay, maybe they run out of Magicka. Okay, Worm is dead. Let's get our fatigue back. Give ourselves a checkpoint just so we don't fuck this up. No, I need to give myself a new save. Oh, they have a lot of health. This is the end of you, Swift. Ancestral Guardian, this should help us out. Those clothes look cool, though. Shoot. I don't want to use all of my healing now. What can I use? Fatigue. Thank you, kind sir. Yeah, I definitely have to get Hello, my fatigue back. Juvie -woovie. Happy four months, my friend. Jade. Thank you very much. Julio, thank you for four months. Or Jade. the Ancestor Guardian can do just a bit more damage. Let's give ourselves Sanctuary. If we can isolate it to just one target, we should be alright. Come on. Sanctuary is really good. But now I'm back to being in trouble. All right. We'll go. Probably have to go stamina again just so we can get out of the fight. See, we're getting some training. I don't like how much this fight slowed me down, though. And I had used way too much of my healing. There we go. If we string a combo of attacks, we should be okay. Damn, she's blocking everything. Come on. I, I want to go back to walking in oblivion. <gasps> oh, I'm out of all stamina potions. That's not good. What do I have here? I, I don't have anything really. Will you play the new Warhammer game? I'm not familiar with what the new Warhammer game is. Oh, this is going to be brutal without stamina. Come on. I need 
need like two more hits. There is no escape. Dice roll combat is cool. Shut up. Got her. All right, a little bit of a grind, but we made it. She doesn't really have anything. That's a bummer. And there's still enemies nearby. That's right, there's a third one of them. The third person of that group might have just gotten caught on a rock. Let's speed things up. We're getting somewhat close to the wall, though. Doing Oblivion? Try I literally was thinking about it when we were on the road. I was like, wait, this is just turning into a Try Not To Laugh video. But I actually think uh, Oblivion... Or honestly, any of the games we play, a Try Not To Laugh could be pretty fun. Another camp, they're probably not nice. Keep our fatigue up if we can. Okay, straight north. I don't know if I could do that though. Half the punchline of my videos is just me laughing at something. I can't, I can't not laugh. I feel like I have to laugh. They're just so, the, the, the games we play are just so damn funny all the time. I don't know what to do without it. Yes, this is House Flipper. Ah, we have made it to the giant blue wall of mystery. You can't just walk through the wall. That cave... I wonder if that cave actually leads you inside, but I know which way we're going. If you laugh, you spin a wheel. Maybe. Maybe we'll do that. So, uh, oh, oh, hey, relax. Let's not die here. Uh, Editor Isaac sent me a really funny idea yesterday where he said, what if I put together your Skyrim mod list? And I was like, that's a good idea. So like, I would just go into a broken, overly modded, disgusting Skyrim and have no clue what's there. So I said, why don't we have Editor Isaac Oh, what can I steal from you? Glass? <gasps> oh. Ebony dagger. I gotta take it. Yes, madame. What is it? I, I have to take the ebony dagger. There's no reason not to steal it. Oh, these people are really high level. Okay. <gasps> Wait. Whatever version of Morrowind I'm playing on has training dummies. I just want to see something real quick. Here's my short blade. It's at 49 out of 100. Two hits. Now it's at 53. I gotta take advantage. Avert your ears, chat. This will be auditory assault for a little bit here. There's glass armor inside? To, all right, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna do this again. We're just gonna quiet things down for a little bit. I forgot how sore my fingers got while playing this last time. 
You can get a free Daedric short sword. Okay. All right. Tell me more. Where are you in game? We are just outside of the ghost gate. We're at the ghost gate entrance. There we go. Sharp blade 49. Got another level up. Stupid training dummy. What are you training for? I'm just trying to get my short blade up as high as I can. Because we are going to have to kill a few really tough enemies. Thank you, kind sir. Blue, 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 but thank you very much for gifting a tier one sub to Red Eye Jedi. Ooh, okay, I need. Short blades at 51. Can you stab me, please? Why would I? Why would I do that? I don't want anyone in here getting stabbed. Thank you, kind sir. I know wrist reveal. This is proof that I do play these games. I'm tired of being accused that I don't play these games. Still talking about root beer. Uh, okay, so the the people that knew, there's an ebony dagger right next to me. Somebody also mentioned a Daedric short sword. I assume it might be in the temple right next to me. I'm kind of what? Lucent Toa, thank you so much for the prime. JJ Julio, I might have missed that, but thank you for the resub. Get an auto clicker? Wait, no, that's cheating. Why steal weapons? I thought the point of the challenge was to kill the leaders with a fork. Ah, oh, fuck, you're right. <laughs> you're, you're a million percent right. I still want to steal them, though. Hello, Juve. I have come to say hello, and I have to go. Have a blessed day. How is your family doing? The Hamp family's doing all right. Appreciate it. Drake, you have a good day. No, I think we got to just do all the damage with the fork. What's my skill at short blade? Uh, it's only a 51. Still, I'll take like four levels of short blade. Tide wave, you have a good one. Am I even going to get to... Yeah, we're going to get to 52. There it is, 52. Okay, we'll take that. Gosh, I drank so much water during the Oblivion walking mission, I have to go to the bathroom again. Alright, Ebony Dagger. It could be really useful. Somebody also mentioned there's glass armor in here. I'm just going to dunk my head in here real quick. Check. Do a quick scan. If I find glass armor, I'm taking it. Oh, don't tell me it's for purchase. She has a bunch of... Sp yeah, she does have a lot of potions. Blight disease, just in case we catch it. 237? Wild price? Sure. Fortify health. No, we need restore health. Cheap. 405. Well, looks like I'm not curing my blight disease. You can take that back. Oh, I'm getting a bad price because I'm tired. Restore fatigue standard. Yeah, let's buy the standard ones. They're definitely going to be better. 
And then the cheap fatigue ones. 336. Just a little bit more than I have. She doesn't buy lockpicks. That's annoying. Okay, fine. Take... What, take two of the cheap fatigue ones back? I'm out of money now. Indoril. So much Indoril armor. I remember at the end of uh, the first Morrowind challenge we were doing. I should have taken it. My sword's also about to break. I don't have a repair hammer. This is bad news. I think I know what I'm going to do, though. Check one more room in here. I'm not seeing any glass. Ooh, is that legal for me to take? Let's see. No, it is not. It is absolutely not legal. I'll check the other side. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the ghost gate so that we can at least run in there. If we, if we take the dagger and people get really pissed off at us for taking it and try to kill us, we should be able to just close the ghost gate and be away from everyone. Why are you here? I am here because... Well, People in my comment section deemed I have to be here. I don't know what else you want from me. Uh, is this what a person? Is this, about? is this a person you were talking about having glass armor? I thought it was going to be like sitting about, not, you know, I'd have to kill someone for it. Basement? Okay, we'll check the basement. Basement instead of box. Do I have to get through? A, I assume I have to go through one of these locked doors. <gasps> Stairs down. Hell yeah. Get out of my way. Everyone in here has glass armor. No, not quite. <gasps> oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we got a glass jinx blade. There's way too much here. A glass helmet. We can definitely take that. And then the bracers are going to be a big buff for us. We're going to have to be careful here, though. This is going to be a really risky oh, escape. Oh, my God. Everyone's wearing glass. More glass. What do you want? Ah, Mixed Unit Tactics, my favorite book. I find it in every oh, Elder Scrolls game. You do you seek training? All the items have bad durability. Oh. Alright, so we have... Dagger... Yeah, glass stuff does have pretty light condition. 275 isn't very much. Like, the silver dagger has 600. It has barely more than the chitin dagger. I do want Why the glass armor. But we need to prepare this heist effectively. Seek training? So I'm going to leave the basement. I don't think we want the shield. My block skill isn't very high. I'm going to go back out to the front gate. I'm going to get this open. Preemptively get this open. So all we have to do is take the glass stuff. Make sure we go the right way. Take the ebony dagger. Get in the gate. Close the gate. Anybody who follows us in... Hopefully they get stuck having to fight the creatures that are in Ghostgate. And hopefully just passively they help us out. I am absolutely quick saving here. Shield gives you a higher rating nonetheless. Okay, then we will take the shield. So we'll go shield, dagger, gauntlet's helmet.
Okay. We just have to be, we just have to be a little bit better at this. That is quite Ah, uh, the, the shield makes it hard. Out of the way, out of the way, get out of my way. Move, move, move. Which way do I go? Go! Run! Okay, we're out of that first level. No one up here cared. One of the guards is probably gonna chase me down. Yep, there he is. Maybe we can outrun the guard. No, we cannot. You have earned a death warrant for your crimes. A death warrant? A death warrant is ridiculous. Because of what? Because... Because I stole some glass armor? Fuck you. Yeah, nice try, officer. I'm taking that ebony dagger. Oh my god. Okay, throw on the glass. As ridiculous as it looks, why does glass armor- Ow! Go, go, go. Speedrun strategies. Ah, oh, crap, the gate closed. Come on, come on, come on, move! Ah, oh, they made it through! Creatures of Ghost Gate, save me! Don't attack me! I- Oh, I said save me! Damn it, my last save is down here. Okay, you all mentioned that I should drag them into my inventory. But that, if I get a death warrant, I don't think it's worth it. If I get a death warrant, how am I going to be able to get to the other three targets we have to kill? No, no, no. This plane is over. It was a great idea. It was a nice try. Of course, I said I would take like another 20 minutes. This is going to end up going for an hour. Is the Ebony Dagger really going to give me a death warrant? Maybe I can get away with it. Bullshit. You have violated the law, Nakuma, since you don't have the 2,500 gold. It's not a death warrant. You will pay Resist arrest? I can go to jail for this. I'm okay with going to jail once. I missed it. It's Fuck. Okay, I need to make another quick save before I steal the knife. This is getting ridiculous. The gate is open. Somehow, I gotta be hidden. I wonder if it has anything to do with the value of the item, too. Yeah, fuck it. I'm just taking it. Resist. Come on, Nakuma. Stop it. Come on. How are they getting me each time? Uh, Netholithic, I'll... It, it depends if we actually are, like... Close to, you know... Making that project. We'll talk about it, though. Loop around them. Resist. I'm taking this dagger. Ah, uh, that guy with the long sword keeps smoking me and I can't hit the switch. Stop. Stop. Back away. Each and every one of you is cringe. Leave me alone. I missed. Oh, God. I missed the switch, of course. I'm going. I'm going. I just have to hope that every person chasing me somehow gets killed or distracted. Maybe I can throw out an Ancestor Guardian? Yes! Okay. Alright, the ghost will help me out just a little bit. 
I know where I'm going. There's a lot of enemies up here in Red Mountain, and it is incredibly loud here. Thank you, kind sir. Have a nice stream. I'm gonna have to turn down the volume, because the storm gets really, really loud. You should have started accepting Bitcoin donations? No, fuck that. See, you're talking about Bitcoin, and I get distracted. Susan Meal, thank you for the Prime. I got away with it. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, we got away with stealing it. Now I have an actual weapon that looks really cool. I specialize in it. What kind of, that's a, that's a different cliff racer. It's way harder to hit and does way more damage. Oh, this is not good. Stop, please. Lighted cliff racer. Hey, there's our level up. Agility, speed, strength. Not really efficient with our leveling. If you don't, I did save my game. There, I'll save it again. Now, I don't remember the exact fastest route to get all the way up to Dagother's place. I want to say it's mostly a straight shot. I need to watch out for these guys. They have lightning. Or no, is he just running? Haha, <laughs> you'll never catch me. It's like we're both running in molasses, but I'm able to do it just a little bit faster. Just a little bit, not a lot. Dung beetle, avoid. No, no. Stupid rocks. Okay, the problem with not killing these guys is that if I don't kill them, I can't nap. But I think I should be able to hop in here, take a quick nap, get my stamina back. Oh, we can just kick his ass from here. Or not. Okay, let's be careful. Nothing crazy. Damn! How many more of these guys am I gonna have to kill? Ah, uh, no. This is a really stupid exploit, but it's working. You have contracted Ash Woe Blight. Minus 30 intelligence, minus 30 willpower. I don't have any potions, but I do have quick saves. Oh, you're running, oh, you're running away now? Good, good, yeah, fear me. Go down. All right, enemy down. Run back over here. Oh, really, dude? I'm getting jump scared by ugh, little dogs. Okay, we get our stats back. Avoid the beetle. I think to get up to dig out there is place. I want to say we have to take a left turn here. I know if we go straight, there's a mountain that we could try and jump through. Maybe I do just try to take the mountain. It could be easier. What mod added stuff to Ghostgate? I'm using Tamriel Rebuild. I think that that's the only real mod that I have installed. There we go, go down. I've already used 70 condition. 
70 ammo in my dagger. I gotta reload it. I guess not really. Oh god, I imagine if that killed me. This is gonna be hard. Let's quick save so we have a checkpoint here. Like, I think it gets just steep enough up here to where it's not really possible to jump up it. I can try, but it gets really awkward. This looks a little bit more climbable over here. No, then it just, it takes you down. They really don't want you climbing this way. Maybe I can find a way up the mountain this way. Sit down. It's like straight up here to the left. There's certainly a lava pit up here. I don't think it's Dagos place though. Oh, come on, come on, come on, let me up here. Oh, I know you're gonna let me climb. Come on, Nakuma. Don't let the haters win. I'll take the acrobatic points, but that doesn't really matter right now. Ah, oh, damn it. Why can't this be like Skyrim mountain climbing? It's so much easier. Ah, oh, that's just depressing. And then I start falling even more. This has potential. Okay, potential. Let's quick save. Right, right. Do you remember before when we were jumping really, really far? We jumped and landed basically right here, all the way from Vivek. We jumped two times and landed across the map right here. But this is not the lava pit that we're supposed to drop it into. That's cheating. It marks this as Dagoth Ur, but this is not. This is not his compound. I'm gonna quick save while we're up here. I don't think it's that one. Ooh, no. I wonder if his is down here. No? I wonder if Tamriel Rebuilt changes what his hideout looks like. He even in Jote? No, I don't think that this is it. Ow. Let me just check the door. They got their outer facility. Oh gosh, maybe, maybe the mod does change it. Cause before, you would normally take a road straight and then it would, which quest is it though? Uh, we're doing fork the patriarchy. But I, I made a rule where I was like, you know what? You have to actually manually walk the ring all the way up to the Red Mountain. It could be Tamriel rebuilt, changing the layout of Red Mountain. 
that's the case, this is going to be incredibly underwhelming. Okay, the audio is way too loud in game. Ring, I place you in the depths of the Red Mountain Lava Pit. Okay, that was fun. Quest complete. Now, nobody can give me crap for skimping out on that portion of it. I need to get to Vivek. If I want to quickly get to, to Vivek to get the fork, then we need to go there the best way I know how. With flight. I just have to make sure I can see the ground before I land. Why did that suck? Oh, why did this suck? No, <laughs> stop. No, this doesn't work. Ow. Wait, no, I didn't, I didn't have enough speed. I need more speed. There we go, the boost in speed should help us out. I'm going the wrong way. I gotta pray that this puts me in the water or I'm dead. still in my inventory. Hold <laughs> on, I gotta put it back in the lava. Okay, ring. Boom, lava, you're done. Wait a minute. I think I was going slower because I'm not going with the wind. Thank you, kind sir. Five entire moths. Uh... Prince of Gord, thank you for... That's six months. You're at six, not five. Don't, don't sell yourself short. I need all this wind to go away. It's loud and obnoxious. Buckmouth Legion 4. You know what? Let's try to go to Balmora. Close enough, we're at Caldera. <laughs> oh no, God, I did not mean to jump a third time. <laughs> Fuck. No. Water? Is there water anywhere nearby? How do I keep messing this up so poorly? If we land in Caldera, we're good. Caldera, just to our right. Not gonna jump. If I instinctually jump, then I die. I don't have the ring, thankfully. Uh, I think Caldera is actually to my right. I'm just going to walk to Balmora. We get to Balmora. Silt Strider from Balmora to Vivek. 
and then we're good. Or at least that gets us the fork. Then I'm gonna have to check out our targets. Ah, oh, you son of a... Let me go. I should have done more of these really quick, kind of easy ones. No, a Daedric weapon won't matter because we have to use the Fork of Heripolation for our kills. I need a haircut so bad. I'm getting a haircut tomorrow, okay? I promise you, chat. I think I'm getting a haircut tomorrow. We're making way better time than I thought. And now in hindsight, since we got through the growing pains of how awful our Lusty Argonian made fan fiction was, I'm very glad that we have all these dumb, stupid, really short stories. Get a stream sponsored by Man... I had a video sponsored by Manscaped a long time ago. It was... Um, it was when we did Fallout 4 without leaving Spectacle Island. And I love... The stuff that Manscaped sent me, I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. Like, instantly I would vouch... Unironically, even if I wasn't paid, I would vouch for, like, the box of stuff that I got sent. And uh, apparently it, it didn't do well enough. So they weren't very happy. And I was like, what? What? Come on. Give me a break. The video did really, really well. But apparently the ad itself didn't do well enough. And I was like, ah, come on. Maybe it didn't work because I didn't make enough jokes about balls. I have 28 gold. Is that enough? <laughs> I need 10 more gold to get to Vivac. Come on. All right, I can scrounge around some gold real quick. Should be easy. Uh, I think with Tamriel rebuilt, it counts as stealing. It might be an open Morrowind thing, but taking from the chest here does count as stealing. Why not skip the shrine and get the fork now? Wait, hold on. I thought you got the fork at the shrine. Charmed, where do you get the fork at? Morrowind Rebirth, that's what I mean. It's on the table next to Big... Oh, that's right, it's at Big Head's place. Where is Big Head? Crap, we don't even have to talk to Sheagorath. What can I barter here? Uh, ooh, you know what? I know what to do. Easy money. Join the Fighters Guild. Uh, sign me up, boss. I'm in. Sweet. All right, thank you for letting me join your club. I'm going to take all this free oh, shit. Outlander. Did you want something? Take all of that. And we still have two hammers left. Perfect. Now, uh, let's go join the Mages Guild. I can sell the magic potions from them. Yes, join. You are now a member. Take free things. Thank you. Can I take all this or is it stealing? Not stealing. Perfectly legal. Need the best prices I can get. Barter with you, madam. Take these scrolls. Okay, 27 gold. Not much at all, but better than nothing. Do I have a day job? Um, editing and writing, preparing for other streams. I've been full time doing YouTube and Twitch since January of this year. Before I worked in IT, I was a software engineer. That was my title. I wasn't great at it, that much I will admit, but it wasn't too bad. I think engineer was very generous of a title for me to have. 
Get rid of all that. Uh, let's get rid of the Magicka potions. Ditch those. Ditch those. 188 gold. You should buy some extra hammers because the fork has low condition. Good call. Let's do it. Where did he go? Oh, pff. I'm in the Mages Guild. I thought I was in the Fighters Guild. Yes, what is it? These cost 50. I can buy three journeyman hammers for 168. Damn, that's expensive. I'm going to have to sell some stuff. Iron dagger, chitin dagger. Let's get rid of some of our daggers. I might keep the steel short sword. The damage it has is okay. Maybe I'll keep the silver as well. <laughs> 11 gold. That's terrible. Take them from the fighter's guild. Can I steal? Don't turn around. Maybe I'm allowed to just take from these chests. No, I cannot. No, I'm not allowed. I've been expelled from the Fighters Guild. It was worth the try, though. I'm going to have to take this, though. I don't think I can get away with it. That's so dumb. We are the Fighters Guild. I took Mixed Unit Tactics, a fighting book. And that's what gets me expelled? I was looking for more knowledge. This hammer right here. Come on, take the, grab the thing, got it. All right, we got a few extra repairs. Uh, I asked earlier, does anybody know? You're right, we have to get three forks. Does anybody know where Big Head is? I don't remember exactly where Big Head is. Crap, it's closed. Farthest North Big Island. Maybe he has a few forks I can buy? No, no forks I can buy. Fork. Okay, free fork. We have one calling card. I just need to get two more forks and we have our calling cards. Ah, what was that? Oh, God, that scared the shit out of me. Jabo, what's going on? How are you? Good to see everybody. We are in the middle of a really stupid <laughs> Morrowind quest where uh, we have to kill, ah uh, shit, we have to kill three very powerful people using a really stupid fork. And I'm trying to like game plan and get ready for it. We have to go get the fork. Hope everybody's having a good day. Ah uh, shit. Shoot. Hold on. I, I I apologize. I'm I'm trying to think right now. Negative two twenty four. I don't think it tells me the actual coordinates on this map. But he's up here. He's he's on this island. We got to find Big Head up there. We'll find him. I need two more forks. If you're interested in what we're doing, exclamation point quests, we are on the one about the fork. We're on the Morrowind one. So you can skip past the first two because we completed those already today. I'll find my calling card forks later. But essentially what we had to do is get the fork of Haripolation and then use that really shitty fork. Oh, uh, what's the fastest way there? I think Satanin can take us to Nisus. Low on money, though. So we'll go from here, say to Neen. And I was looking for a song to play because all the raiders came over and are cool, chill people. Where is it? Yeah, that works. That works. Okay, say to Neen. 90 gold. That's. 
<laughs> 90 gold to get up to Nisus. Okay, we need 30 gold real quick. I can do that. I can do that easily. I'm trying to do this in under three hours. Fork, fork. Wooden fork, that counts. Wooden fork, perfect. If you're wondering where the owner of this house is, I murdered them, killed them dead. But that's a story for another time. And I'll give him all the ingredients I just stole. I have no clue if we're even going to be able to kill our targets. Should have enough Sujama. If they use magic or have a lot of backup, that's going to be a problem. Did I just sell my forks? No, I have my forks. 300 gold. Now we're moving. Is this game Pokemon? Kind of. It's close enough. Okay, northeast should get us there. Damn, I wish I had the... Thank you. I wish I still had the scrolls, the jumping scrolls. If you're curious, any mods we're using, we're only using Morrowind Rebirth. That's like the main one. There might be one more that I have, I don't remember. But I think it's mainly just Morrowind Rebirth. If you're wondering why any of the map looks a little bit different than you might be used to. BZ Thony, thank you for the tier one. This song absolutely does not go with Morrowind. But we'll make it work. Oh, and my platforming is just fucking on point. All right, if anybody in chat knows where Big Head is, he's an Argonian, he's got the fork that we need. I might need a little bit of help when I get to this mountain up top or the island up here. Now it's oddly chill. I think I've used that song in a new Vegas video before. I'm like 99% sure I have. It just fits. AC-130, I appreciate it. So, uh, Jabba, you were playing, at least unless unless it changed in the middle of your stream, you were doing uh, Simpsons Hit and Run, right? I haven't played that game in years. fuck was that oh if you've never played Morrowind uh fleshlights are actually canon in the Elder Scrolls if you didn't know that it's some fucked up form of necromancy he was playing eating kiwis with the skin on simulator wait what Oh, no, no, back off. Come on. Let me do my thing. I'm just chilling with my friends here. I'm just going to run. Can I outrun him? You will die. How are... It, this is a Twitch stream, and you're really going to make me fight with no stamina. Prepare yourselves, chat. This fight's going to take an hour. Give me this. Your 
Please watch your language, sir. This is a family-friendly stream. There may be dark elves in chat. I don't want to waste any of my healing or potions on this clown. There we go. Target down. Let it be known. We're like five hours into this character in total. One hour on this specific challenge we're trying to do. That's the first time my rest has actually gotten interrupted. That has not happened yet. Oh, I thought it happened again. Oh my gosh, there's so many enemies out here. I don't want to fight anymore. Currently on the toilet. How many people are sitting on the toilet right now? I don't know if that's like, if I had to tier rank, that's what we should do. We should do, we should do a tier list of ways to watch this stream. I don't know if shitting on the toilet would make the top 10. It's not, it's definitely not in the bottom tier. I think it'd be somewhere around in the middle. I don't know if this is good shit content though. I guess it is shit content. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this is a long ass walk. I didn't think this would be that far. Stoned before sleeping. You should start heading more north. Okay, all right, we'll angle it north. Unless you're trying to walk me into like a Daedric compound, something like that. After we finish this one, there's one in Skyrim that I want to do, and then I'll feel comfortable. <clears throat> then I'll feel comfortable with, okay, we have enough stupid ass quests, stupid dumb ideas that you guys suggested that we could put into one fun video that's satisfying. I'm actually really excited to do the Oblivion one from earlier. Yeah, take a dump while watching the stream, then come back and leave a review of how it went. If you've never played Morrowind and you're wondering why I'm jumping so much, A, it makes getting around the map a little bit more exciting. But also the way leveling works in Morrowind, if I level up my acrobatics, I might be able to put another point into strength when I level up. And then we sleep before combat, so we get our fatigue back. Higher fatigue means less misses, means you kill things quicker. Yes, it's Elder Scrolls Quest from all three of the 3D games. Come on now. more window level yeah just don't worry about it come on square me wormy i do think it's a decent idea to collect as much xp as we can though the three people that we have to fight. I don't know why my eye keeps itching. My allergies might be back. The three people that we have to kill are all going to be pretty tough. We might not even be able to kill one. If we kill one, I'll consider it a victory. These people are going to attack me. Fuck you. I'm taking the cool way. Oh, yeah. That's uh, a ton of acrobatics XP. Yes, we're doing Fork the Patriarchy. I came up with that name. Point of Pride. I thought that was a good one.
For the uninitiated, if you are interested in playing Morrowind, prepare to fight these flying demons a million times. What was that animation? I've never seen a Kwama stretch. It looked like he was doing a little stretch there. Nice basic pun. Five, five out of ten. That's a little harsh. I think it's a. I think it's at worst a five and a half. Is this Karzost? Yes, it is. Those guys are kind of tough. Okay, we're at the edge of the map. Now I need help from the Morrowind knowledgeable folks out there. Am I going somewhat in the right direction to get to Big Head? Oh, a game of Guess the OST? I think I would kick ass. I think I think I think we'd have a pretty good battle if we did it. If it's anything from Deep Rock, I'm getting it right away. North of you, there's a snaky island. It's the one north of that island. Oh, it's this one, isn't it? It's this. Is it this isolated one up here? Okay, that didn't really even zoom it in. It just made it bigger. Got it. All right, we're almost there then. Hello, love lice. I thought it'd be a. I should have saved. I should have saved in hindsight the scrolls. The scrolls of Icarian Flight. I should have saved those because we'd be guaranteed to land in water jumping all the way up here. Like, I could have jumped from Nisus pretty much all the way over here. Blue, blue, blue butt. Have a good night. I need to find a more efficient way of saying that username. Blue butt. I'm just going to say blue butt. Mm -mm. No, that's not it. There we go. Do you know this one, Jabo? I actually don't know off the top of my head. I think it might be Two Point, uh, two point Hospital? No. I don't want to spend that much time in the water. No, maybe it's not Two Point. I don't remember now. Planet Coaster, maybe? See, that's why I want to take the shortest route of swimming. Look at that little asshole. I think it's some kind of electric fish. GTA 6 OST. No, we can't use that OST. It's going to be all... Uh, it's going to be all licensed tunes. Except for like the multiplayer backing tracks. Baldur's Gate 3 release announcement for Xbox. Oh, it's today? I have a feeling that BG3 on Xbox is going to come out like tomorrow. It's going to come out like right when they announce it, I think. No, I'm not dealing with rain. Sorry. Okay, this should be one of the shortest routes. Fish right there. Gonna have to fight a fish.
I'm excited for my friends to finally be able to play it. I don't know how multiplayer really works though on BG3. Like, is it possible to run a full campaign with your friend? Or are you pretty much just a side character who doesn't really have much to do in your friend's campaign? Other than like, pick what you do during combat. It's my first time catching- not so cool? Welcome, good to see you. You joined during a thrilling adventure. I wish I wasn't lying. This one's not the most exciting. Why am I getting interrupted now? It never did this before. You know what would be clutch if the Dark Brotherhood interrupted my sleep? Because then I would take their full set of armor. You friends, that's what characters you can use. Is there a tether? Do you like Loader? If yes, did you try the new Crafting Survival game Return to Moria? Um, I do like Lord of the Rings. I'm not like a rabid fan. I really enjoyed it when I was a kid. I've only really ever seen the first three movies. I didn't really get into the TV show. I, truth be told, I started falling asleep during like the second or third episode. And then I just kind of stopped caring. <laughs> uh, never really got into the Hobbit movies. I remember I had to read the Hobbit during high school. One of our literature classes, we had to read it. This is a long ass swim. I don't know if I can survive this. I'm going to try my damnedest, though. All right, here we go. We got this. You can both do dialogue. Oh, that's good. Ah, shit, what is that? It's huge. I'm dead. When did I save last? It's massive. What is that? I'm gonna unmod my game. This version is too hard. No, nope, fuck the rain. Ah, oh, damn it. Now I have to take a safer route over there. I just wanna go straight to it. We can't co op stream because we're the same. True. True. We need it. We'll get a true counter in chat. Then we can actually combine forces. What if we had a combined true counter? Look how slow this is. It's painfully slow. Perhaps if I play it smart, I can avoid aggro the whole time. I doubt it. But we'll try. Just avoid, avoid the aggro. No fish nearby. Water walking would have been really nice. If I had like a water walking potion or something. Have a good night, Jabo. Appreciate you. Thank you for sending your stream over. Do you have scrolls to get back? I don't. We're almost there though. It looks like we've carved out a safe little highway. Oh, there's a drag. Come on, don't fuck me here. Am 
I got this. Stay focused. Look at that swimming for or swimming form. Look at her. She's like an Olympic athlete. In armor, Michael Phelps could not do this in a full set of armor. No. <gasps> Shit, there's a fish right in front of me. Avoid, avoid. There's also one in there. Stay away from me. I hate this. Nice and slow. Okay, I can get through. If I take any damage, I'll just offset it with healing potions. We're close enough. Oh gosh, if the fork doesn't spawn until after I get the quest, I'll cry. <laughs> I will actually be so upset. First time catching your stream, been watching that dang old VOD channel for a while. What's the best way to find your Skyrim mod list? Um, oh, exclamation point mod list should take you to the collection. I made a collection. Although if your Skyrim is updated to the most recent version, I can't promise that it will work all that properly. Down patch or down patch or block any updates. And then it should work. Here we go. Big heads check. This is huge. If the fork is not in here, the run is dead. And I'll be sad. And then I'll cry. Here we go. Ow. Ow. Give me the fork. He has a lot of health. I should not have slept on Big Head. Oh, bastard gets his health back. There's the fork. Got it. Maybe I don't have to kill him. <laughs> I don't know if I can beat him. Hey, we leveled up. Speed, strength, agility. Oh God, no way I can beat him. Dormer Halberd. I just want to check the value of these and take what the most valuable one is. Oh, none of them. Okay, I'm out of here. No, not bad timing. Okay, shut up music. Now we finally got the fork. Right here, how much damage does this bad boy do? Uh, three. Okay, this will not be that easy. And it only has 400 condition. So the enemies that we have to take out. I need to check this again. Also, I need to run to the bathroom real quick because I drank a ton of water on this stream. The targets we got to take out, we have to take out. We have to take out Gothrin, who is in Talarun. Bolvin Venim, who is in Alderun, and Vidam Dren, who is in Ebonheart. The fastest way to get there, if we have 90 minutes to take them all out, make our way back to one of the main towns and hope that in that main town we can just fast travel to one of these cities. I'm not 100% sure how to get to Talarun. I know how to get to Ebonheart, and I know how to get to Aldrun. Those should not be too bad. Okay, give me two seconds. I'll let y'all hang out with chair for a second. I'm gonna run to the bathroom.
and then we'll find these clowns, take them out, move on to the final quest, and then be done with this really stupid project. Share question. When do you plan on ditching the dead weight and starting your own stream? Wow. Wow. You know what? Just because of that, I'm going to make you guys listen to Morrowind Combat at max volume with nothing else. I'll force it on you. Okay, Aldrun, Telerun, Ebonheart. Don't let me forget these towns. Seriously, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be hard for me to remember. Aldrun, Telerun, Ebonheart. Remember these details. Aldrun, Telerun, Ebonheart. Timer is back. Okay. Fastest way. Oh, gosh. Uh, do I just try to swim back the way I came up here? It's probably the best thing I can do. Silt Strider or boat? Well, there's a dumbass fish there. Stupid ass, dumbass fish with your dumbass scales and stupid m swimming motions. Ugly face. I want to say that this is the way. Oh, gosh, of course. There's just a. No. Leave me alone. Don't aggro the fishies. Oh, that's close. I hate it. Now oh, we already heard that tune. I'm running out of tunes, folks. Okay, here we go. Intense fishing tunes. <laughs> Can we get through the traffic jam of scales? One fish over there to our right. We're okay. Does skooma make you swim faster? I don't have skooma. Drag right in front of us. And this game does not have the. Uh oh. Ooh, careful. Uh oh. What was that noise? Angle it this way to the right. This is the most intense part of this whole 
freaking thing so far. We might be home free. I don't want to speak too soon, though. Knock on wood. One more fish. Man, for some reason, the fish in this part of the map are just in like intensely hard. Oh, there's a Drake right there. Barely spotted him at the last second. Yeah, if I'm afraid of this, I don't think I would last playing Subnautica. Maybe we'll do a Subnautica stream someday. Why do you have to pass through water, though? I'm trying to save time. Just take the straight route. Also, it's it's a basically a water highway that I've already taken. Shores right here. We cross the shore. One more short little swim and we're there. Subnautica, but you stay above the surface the whole time. Is that possible? Subnautica without going underwater. I feel like that would just ruin the whole thing. Don't forget to talk to Delphine to get Wraith Guard. Why would I need that? All I need is my fork. A short blade so we should hit a decent amount of our swings Whew. let's test out the, uh, no I do not want to test out the fork we need to save the fork as much as we can Because the durability of the fork's not very high. That fish is going to kick my ass. Let's go around him. Have you ever played Valheim? Yes, I have. I love Valheim. I think it's fantastic. I just think that the game has way, way too steep of a difficulty uh, spike. I think the difficulty spike after the Black Forest is a little bit too grindy. Because it goes meadows, black forest, swamp. Um, bah! fuck off. Yeah, yeah. Suck it, you can't hit me. No, 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 no. Who gives the fish the power to paralyze and zap? Come on, the shore's right here. Move! Swim! All right, we're free. Home free, get my stamina back. We're almost on day 100. All right, we're free. Anybody with really good Morrowind knowledge, can you point me to the closest town? Is Nisus really the closest town? That's pretty far. Plains, yeah, Plains is after uh, the swamps. West along the coast. Cool. Dagon fell. Okay, we'll follow the coast. You're right, swamps, mountain, then plains. Did you make a plan on killing a dude with full ebonite armor? Uh... Sujama? <laughs> I have 13 Sujama left. I might be able to sell the ebony dagger. 2,500 ebony dagger. I could stop by Caldera, sell the ebony dagger to a Creeper for full price, and then buy a bunch of Sujama to get the kill.
But the thing I love, I think my favorite part of Valheim is if you're playing with a group, the first time you and your friends in Valheim get a boat, like it, like an actual boat, and you set off onto the sea, is peak. It, it really does not get more peak than the art style of that game. The soundtrack starts kicking in. You and your friends are sailing the seas. You finally, after quite a few hours of grinding a little bit, have a boat and you're finally like adventuring. That is awesome. All right, so y'all are suggesting following the coast and then we might run into a town. Waste deep in Valheim brain rot. It, it is a game that has a really addicting. There's like a period of just pure Valheim takes over your life. I do think that more survival games should have like the progression of like your character's skills in Valheim are very, you know, Skyrim, RuneScape, use it to improve it. I wish that more did that. I feel like a decent amount of them do, but I just wish that every game did that, to be honest. Yeah, there's an aspect of Valheim that's really, really fun, which is like exploring and charting out the map and you know, kind of noting things for your friends and being like, here's the swamp, here's this. I found this over here, but I can't explore it on my own. And it's beautiful. Gonna get chased by monsters if we get too close to the shrine. I'll be okay. I'll manage. We got checkpoints and whatnot. I haven't hit the explore button on my music in a while. I forgot about some of these tunes. Got an hour and 27 left. It is, it's so whimsical. It's like a combo of, it's like derpy whimsical. It doesn't really fit Morrowind at all. No clue if I'm even going the right way. But at worst, I guess I'm kind of close to Nisus. Ooh, I see friendly trees. Those trees look, ow, nice. I think y'all are right. We should hit cool before we hit Nisus. I don't know if I'm even pronouncing that right. Day 100 and it's raining. Nope, no thank you. I should, I should put some Valheim tunes in my like explorer playlist. The way I have it set up is on my OBS. So I have one window of OBS that we record on. I have one window open that we stream on. And I use these things called like virtual audio devices. <gasps> oh, please let me take the boat. I think we've made it. Can I survive this? Fuck. Ooh, barely. <laughs> that was close. Um, and so when I have my stream deck, it's technically open on my main monitor just behind the game. The way it works on my OBS is I have this audio device so that it exists on a separate recording track than the actual gameplay. And in order for the stream deck to grab a specific song, it has to grab it from a folder 
that the song exists in, which is sort of separated out by genre or rough genre. So I only have like a limited amount of tunes in there. I, I try to update it whenever I can. But forget about all that. We finally made it to a town. Who are you? Telerune. Oh God, I don't know where to go. We need Telerune, Aldrune, Ebonheart. 98 gold? I'm gonna save here so I don't waste my money. Call this boat. But Sarah, I could kill that girl. Those boots are ruined. Try Narmak because it's yes, cheapest. Madame, what is it? Narmak. Sadanine. I don't know about that one. I know what we're gonna do. Here's the plan. I don't need to worry about getting to the first person we have to kill right away. This is why. We're gonna go from Sadanine, Silt Strider, Balmora, Mage's Guild, Caldera. Sell the Ebony Dagger for 2,500 gold. And then we can use all that gold as much as we want to buff ourselves as much as we want. And then we'll be cooking. We might actually be able to get these kills under three hours. God, I hope so. There, Balmora. If anyone can name where this tune is from, I will give you five imaginary juve bucks. It's a new form of virtual currency. I've never played the game. This tower is different. Unless it's on the first floor that I'm thinking of. Winner, winner, it's World of Goo. Ah, oh, they put a witness up here. Smart play to them. There's a master set of alchemy up there, a full set. I was gonna try and take that for a few extra bucks. Enraged Gazebo, you get five imaginary dollars. I don't know what the bet is, but if it's kill all three targets under the three hour mark, I would believe. Shouldn't have to wait. I think Creeper is always at full price for everything. No. Okay. All right. Speak quickly. Speak quickly. Morrowind Rebirth does change some of the balance, but that's a good amount of change. We have 2,000 gold. Eleven Sujama for four hundred. Load up on that. Hit the trader. He probably has some potions. Standard fatigue, standard health for 450. Let's buy a few more of those. Uh, wait, how much gold do I have? Yes, 800? Right. Plenty. I'm still gonna need gold for fast travel. Fatigue standard. Quality restore health. Let's just stick with the standard ones for now. 350 gold. Should be enough. Okay. Aldrun. I think I can get to Aldrun from Balmora. We have not killed any targets yet, but we're about to. Yes, okay. 31 Sujama, plenty of healing potions. 
Just kidding, we can go to Alderoon right now. I think Alderoon is House Lalu. Don't know exactly where our target is, but we should be able to find him. Can I take from the supply chest? Yes, we can. Can we trade? Can't trade with them. Can't trade with them. I'll find a way to make that money back later. We don't need it right now. <laughs> we just had that one. Just had that one. I don't think I have that many in the Explore tab. I don't know exactly where to go, but I'm going to assume that it's the big building in the middle of town. I think they're on the far side of this. Is it House Redoron? I don't know a ton about the lore of the main houses in Morrowind. Red around council entrance. Okay. Speak, traveler. Okay, it is. It's red around. This is the first person we're going to try and kill. Look like trouble to me. Do I? Oh, she won't talk to me. It's because I have my fork out. They know what I'm planning. Council Hall. Oh, the leader's got to be somewhere in here. It's gorgeous. We, we tried to kill Vivek the last time and we were somewhat close. No, there's someone's house. Ow. Boris Andrello? Shoot. Are you the leader? Navam Villan? No. We're gonna be on this target. Uh, Council Hostel. No. Hostel is like a hotel, right? But smaller? Or shared? Uh-oh. This is a problem. This is a big problem. Smith. You! Take me to your leader! Let me hurry this up. No, he won't tell me. Okay. Does anybody out there know where the person I'm looking for is? Is it this guy? No. No, Outlander. Uh, I'm going in circles now. Vanim Manor. Oh, that might work. Wait, is Vanim Manor inside this whole thing or is it just out in the normal town? I'm going to have to look it up. Don't really want to, but I'm going to have to. Pause. We're going research mode. And we're looking for Bolivine Venim. Venim Manor and Aldrun. Okay, you were correct. Now, where is Venim Manor? Venim Manor is the home of the Venim family located off the southeast corner of the Aldrin Manor District. Southeast corner of the Manor District. Southeast corner, Manor District. I'm in the council hall, not the Manor District. Need to get the local map back up. Not that one. Not that one. Oh, shit. Which door did I use to get in here? 
was on the far side of that flag. One of these two? Practice room, no. Damn. <gasps> this side. I think it was over here. How am I getting this so wrong? I walked in. I said something about this room. I said, oh, this is totally... Council entrance. Okay, southeast corner of the manor district. We got this. We're still making pretty good time. South, east. There it is. Right there in the corner. We got it. The man, the myth, the legend. Sir Juve the Confused. It's funny you say that because... The button I hit for music is my confusion playlist. I think it's like three songs. All right, target is somewhere in here, in the house with giant mushrooms. Thank you, that doesn't narrow it down. Guard quarters. Uh-oh. Don't tell me it's locked. Private quarters. Okay, there are a lot of armed guards in here. That's gotta be him. Oh, I am screwed. <laughs> I'm so fucked. Oh, there's no way. There he is. Okay, this is the target. With a lot of people to defend him. At least Vivek was so low. This is ugly. This is ugly, ugly, ugly. I don't care. I'll take as much Sujama as it takes to at least just get one of these kills. Let's save our game. Okay, everything has built up to this one moment. All of the grinding, all of the travel, all of the nonsense. I think the first thing I need to do is Sanctuary. Then we'll go Ancestral Guardian. I already wasted some, I wasted like two seconds of having my good buffs out. Okay, we'll get all the way up to 500 strength. We'll see how this goes with 500 strength. Five seconds and then my eyesight comes back. There's someone watching me. I can tell. <gasps> I can't. Absolutely embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, fucking embarrassing. That's why we call these experiments not challenges. Okay, all 31 Sujama goes down. 678 strength. I might need more Sujama. Of course he resisted Paralyze. and fight me like an actual warrior. I, I, I don't stand a chance. I stand zero chance against this guy. So new plan, new plan. I'm gonna pickpocket him. Can I put the fork in there? Oh, come on. 
Okay, okay, new plan, new plan. I'm going to slightly annoy him and run. Dodge their attacks. Healing spell. Go. Ow. Okay, only one of them hit me. <laughs> okay. Bail, bail, bail. He's way too powerful. Howdy, officer. How are you? Okay, where's the other target? I don't have any sneak ability. I don't... I, even with 600 strength, I couldn't put a dent onto him. I've got that. Ah, clumsy escape. That's in character. All right, one character, one target, slightly inconvenienced. Where's the next one at? Uh, yeah, oh, we're, we, we're, we're fucked. We're fucked, there's no way. There's no way. Nope, 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 nope. But you know what? I'm willing to take a small victory in poking them with my poking them with my fork. How much Sujama do I need? I don't I don't know if it's possible. I only have 328 gold right now. Can I take enough Sujama to one hit him? How can I make that money? I need to make money. I should be able to make enough money by either just murdering someone. I already sold my best weapon. No, I yeah. don't think so. Uh, no, I do think so. You will suffer greatly. Joke's on you. I'm going to kill you. Your life's end is approaching. Your pain is nearing Stop. an end. Stop. Please, please, ma'am. You're making this more difficult than it needs to be. Stupid. Okay, target down. Murder is legal in Morrowind. Just take all the clothes. Dispose of the evidence. She's got nothing valuable. Let's put all the Sujama because it's really heavy. Let's just put it in. Item will not fit. Like hell, it won't fit. Sujama. Okay, put it all in there so we can save some weight. We'll come back and grab it. <clears throat> I'm bound and determined. I am getting one kill. None of that's valuable. It's just all heavy. Alchemy ingredients aren't bad, but not great. Trapped? Trapped? Well, this was a bust. We'll come back there for the Sujama later. Locked house. Locked. Why does everybody lock their houses? Let me murder you. Ah, Gildon, you left your house unlocked. Too much trouble. Must be going now. Sorry, let me regain my health real quick, ma'am. Give me just two seconds here. This is going to be fun. Oh, great. Wait, come back. <sighs> You're growing. How long does that last? All of this grinding, and I'm still getting my ass kicked. I wish I had my Sujama right now. I could offset this burden. Fight, coward. What do we have? Just over an hour of time left. Now you're going to get it. I'm not giving up. Until the clock hits zero, I am not giving up. Oh, 
Please, just die. Like, you don't understand the stakes at hand here, ma'am. My arbitrarianism far outweighs your freedom. Thank you. Ooh, 100 gold. Thank you. More alchemy. Give me that, give me that. Give me those, give me those. Give me all that. Just give it to me. Fine, I'll take some of the silver bar. It's just not worth it, though. Everything locked. Ooh, look at that efficient looting. I'm on fire. Anything else in here? Not really. Okay, next victim. Perhaps in one of the stores. Who are you? Ooh, the temple. There's a lot of people in the temple, but maybe they have some good valuable stuff here. Not really. Let's not get caught. Don't think I'll find much else in here. <gasps> oh, I got so excited. There's nothing really good there. Doesn't weigh a lot, so I'll still just grab it. I doubt it. No one's prices are reasonable. I'm getting nailed wherever we go. Okay, there has to be a faster way for me to just get a shitload of money really, really fast. I, I know it. I, I just have to think. I gotta think. We can definitely do this. This is the wrong strategy, though. There's individual items in this game that go for a ton of money. Um, well, hold on, let's first, we'll keep the Sujama there. We'll come pick up the Sujama later. Only fans. <laughs> In Creeper's house, there is Orcish armor you can sell back to him. Okay, that's a good start. Creeper's house, Orcish armor. Let's start there. We already took all of that. I got plenty of money to fast travel around. Thank you, kind sir. Soul trapping ancestral guardian. There's going to be too much that goes into that. Mainly because I don't have a soul trap spell and I won't be able to cast it very efficiently. So I need quick and easy. Is there something? I should have I should have just taken everything from Ghostgate. I should have taken it all. I'd have a death penalty, though. Oh. Wending Hole, thank you for the tier one. Okay, Orcish Armor in here. I bet the way that they've rebalanced the game, though, with Rebirth. Yes. Say your words. Fat stack of gold right there. Rebirth could have moved it. Did you get the Ebony Sword in Balmora? Where is the Ebony Sword in Balmora? I did not get it. Orcish armor should be in a crate. It's probably not there anymore. 
if I'm just going on the history of uh, what Morrowind Rebirth has done to sort of balance and move some things around. He does buy weapons at full price. And he buys potions at pretty good prices. 200 gold. Doesn't buy books. Doesn't buy ingredients. Dick. Say your business. In the guard tower by the top. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm getting a little bit confused. So the watchtower in Balmora. We might as well try it. We have a lot of time. We have more time than you guys think. Hurry this up, will you? Yeah, we're we're on the we're on the fork quest, but I got my ass handed to me. Really, really badly. <laughs> it was not good. Get rid of the ash statue if you want. My services? I don't want it. What? Ash? Is there a problem with ash statues? Maybe I don't understand the lore enough. Don't you don't buy that item. Of course you don't. Okay, take that. You don't take that. What do you take? I just need to clear out my inventory. This should all add up to some decent cash, though. Hack low leaf, those are worth a lot. This sucks, this is way too intense. No, not the fatigue potions, I need them. Okay, we are just over a thousand gold. <clears throat> it's part of the sixth house. Okay, that, I, I thought it had something to do with um, Dagoth Ur. If you want to sell the free Daedric weapon, it's five minutes. Okay, yeah, we're gonna try that. Ow. Is there something you need? Max Balmora. What we also could do is we could kill Revere. I don't like killing Revere because Revere's a good guy. But we could kill Revere. His store probably has a lot of good stuff in it. No, not dealing with rain. How is it still raining? Two days... Thank you. Is it that watchtower by Caius' house? See, I feel like Morrowind Rebirth changed it. It might have gotten rid of it. Have a good night, finish. The money is so we can buy a shitload of Sujama. And hopefully one tap the enemy we gotta kill. But... Uh, it's not looking likely. Okay, maybe it's in this tower. I've seen a Mickey D video or two. Chitin War Axe? No. No. Steel Staff? No. Iron Dagger? No. Iron Lock Sword? No. Uh-oh. Uh, a lot of decent stuff there. Is there something you need? Go up. Knowing Morrowind, it could be like hidden behind a piece of furniture. Should be on top of the cupboard. Uh oh. Yeah, they definitely got rid of it, the bastards. I'm stuck. I'm. Ma'am, ma'am, please, N not now. No, it's not up there. I wonder if they put it in the basement behind a locked door to balance it more. Yep. <gasps> oh, it's definitely down there. I'm stuck again. Can I somehow like glitch myself through there? Thank you, kind sir. Uh oh. Supper dub dub. I renew the sub. You do you, Jared. Thank you for eight months. 
All right, we need a new game plan. Use the plate like Skyrim. It's in the other watchtower? No, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's in the watchtower by Caius's house. But I could try the other watchtower just in case. Maybe it changed. Now we're running out of time, though. Please, please be up here. Nothing. Also, it's locked. It's so hard when you're on like a timer. It's so hard to think about like where a really valuable weapon might be. Follow the Odai River south of Balmora until you see a bridge. Cross the bridge. Go in and go straight out. Use Mage's Teleport to travel to the back. Well, inside. Hold on, that's too complicated. Wait, wait, hold on. Go south and sit until I see a bridge. Olms Plaza and Vivek went inside the plaza. Look for the haunted manor and go inside. Are you sure there's going to be something there? Just because I feel like I'll get lost while trying to do that and then be really screwed. We've got to we've got to think it's got to be something easier. I don't need that much money. A couple thousand might do it. I don't want to do this. I'm going to kill Revere. Revere, your time has come. If I can sell all this at nearly full price. Oh, God, none of it's worth all that much. No, we don't have enough time for a potion grind. I'm just killing you. I really don't want to. But I must. I have to go with immediate profit. Demon Katana. <laughs> 2,200. 1,250. 3,250. Ah, Revere, please. There are children here. How much weight can I carry? I can't carry much more. Go, we're going to Caldera. Oh, I cannot believe it worked. We hit the jackpot. No, 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 no. I, I need, I need celebratory tunes. Come on, Caldera. Sell all this. I'll have several thousand. I feel bad. I feel bad, but I am very happy. I love calculated murder. God, it just gets me so, oh, so, mm. Caldera, 40, what do we have, 51 minutes? Plenty of time. May I help? Summoned by another. Again. Once you know how to get around Morrowind, it's a lot smaller. If you don't know where to go, or if you don't know how to get to a certain place, then it's much larger. That's like the average dad sneeze, what that orc just did. <laughs> okay, Creeper, love you. Let's chat. Why do you only have 2250 gold? That's inexcusable. He only has 20. Oh, you've been nerfed. Literally 1984. That's okay. We'll take 1300 gold there. Damn. This totally rebalances how often they get their money back. All right, he's got it back.
We got this. The scamp is Clavicus Vile's dog in disguise. Did not know that. Uh, so I'm going to sell him that one. Then I'm going to buy that one back. I forgot how much faster this song gets. I'm so used to only just looping the beginning part. Okay, we have 8,000 gold. Whew, that quickly. A few minutes and everything changes. Is 8,000 gold enough to get enough Sujama to win this battle? I'm gonna have to shed weight. I'm gonna have to. Shank? Nice to meet you. Let's chat. Uh, he's not the right person. Okay. I need to go to the pawn store. Or this guy, it's a general. General store. I can't believe I'm going with the stupid Sujama strategy again, but I have no other options. All good there. I'm going to need my repair. Where's the fork? Where's the fork? Did my dumbass sell it to Creeper? Creeper, you better have my fork. Oh, ha, 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 It's all good. It's all good. Everybody relax. Everyone relax. We're good. We're good. That would have been funny as hell, though. We just got to be quick now. Don't care that I'm getting a bad price here. Sell it. Sell it. Kite and armor weighs 10. That's one less Ujama. I'm getting rid of it. Six. One less Ujama. Get rid of it. Pauldrons. Got to ditch them. I need all the Ujama I can get. Okay, we are up to 8,200. On the bright side, I can drink Sujama to carry more Sujama. Now we're going to buy as much as we can. Thoughts on GTA 6 trailer? Um, looks cool. We shall wait and see. It is kind of funny. Oh, I mean, it's probably going to be great. Rockstar's never really missed. But it is kind of funny how with every single game that comes out or every single game that gets teased, if it's a cinematic trailer or like in-engine footage or whatever, it's like, yawn, whatever. Let's wait until we see some gameplay. When GTA does a little trailer, it's 90 seconds of recreations of like uh, just kind of viral videos that have happened. And like, don't get me wrong. It looks great. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic, but I'm also just like, yeah, sure. I mean, I knew I think we all knew that eventually they were going to make a new GTA game. Let's, uh, let's chill and we'll see some gameplay eventually, but I am looking forward to it. Okay, we'll buy some of that. Still have 5,000 left. 
Drinking one Sujama is enough to carry all of our Sujama. But I am pretty pumped that they're doing multiple protagonists again. I thought that was really cool in GTA 5. What do you want? I think it's fun, like, switching between them on missions and having different stories to tell. We go... Aldrune? Uh, what do we have? 70... Oh, we're good. Well, I'm gonna have to keep drinking Sujama so I can carry it. I hope... If this is not enough Sujama, I've spent like five grand on Sujama. I hope it's enough. It will be. Mark my words. I will drink as much fucking booze as is required to kill this guy. I will not fail you all. I am determined. I am motivated. One hundred and five Sujama. That should give us two thousand strength. Oh, it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. I'm going to quick save here just so we can be a little bit faster. I don't think it's enough. I think I need at least ten thousand strength. Hold on, southeast corner, I'm going the wrong way. It's that one. I'm ready to have my heart broken, chat. I don't care. Guard quarters? No. We go down together. What? Oh, what? oh God, I forgot I already attacked him. Okay, all right, uh, this just made the whole thing even worse. Fuck, I forgot we did that. I just, I forgot we did that earlier. They're all gonna hate me in there. I'm gonna have no clue where he's at. They're gonna have magical abilities. I'm going for it. There he is. There's our target. Ancestral Guardian has to go out at some point. Okay. One hit's okay. That's going to cause me to be blind for five seconds. I have to survive until then. We just have to move. I'm going to take a lot. I'm taking a lot of damage already. We got to kill a few seconds. There we go. We got our sight back. Fork is out. Oh, man, I can't do any damage to him still. <laughs> I mean, I can do some. He's down. Stop, he's at half health. No, no, no. We actually got him at half health. We got him at half health. 
I have an idea. Okay, we're gonna go in there. Oh shit, I'm over encumbered. Nobody else in here is attacking us, just these two guards. We need them to have awkward pathing. There we go. Okay, now we've isolated the two guards on the other side of the table. Ancestral Guardian. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, they're on the other side of the table there. Ah, uh, can I can I hold them off for five seconds? I died. Ah! There we go, back on the table, stay alive. Need him to go down. We have the two guards on the other side of the table. He went down. He just went down now. Fuck, I have no healing potions. No! No! He's down again! No! Oh my god, we're so close! We're so close! I can do this. We can absolutely do this. I'm not fucking it up again. You hear me? I don't care if we only kill one. I will kill this one. It all relies on the five seconds passing, keeping the two guards on the other side of the table. I get him to fall down. As soon as he goes down, we have a window. There is a window of opportunity. It's possible that more healing potions get us through this, yes. But I mean, we're here. We have the setup perfect. There is no escape. We just need several misses. We need them to miss a few times. Okay, we just threw, I threw protective spirit on. No, please go down. No, you son of a... They missed the first two attacks. Okay, we got our luck on, that's good. I'm gonna save here. If he misses the first attack, we have a window. Go down. No, he's going to hit that.
Go down. Go down. Please do not kill me. Please, please, please. I'm begging you. I am begging you. Please don't kill me. Fuck. God, I had him. Heal. Target down. Target down. With this character's death, the thread of prophecy is severed. Restore a saved game to restore the weave of fate or persist in the doomed world you have created. Fuck you, Morrowind. I am better than you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One target down. One target down. We have to Turns think about there this. Are two wood elf sisters who always fight together. I have a lot of strength. All of my Sujama is going to expire very shortly. I don't know how much of this I can carry. All I know is that we can get a ton of money from what's his face if we get back to Caldera. I may have a death penalty, though, so that's going to cause some other problems. Do I care? Not really. We have one down. We have 35 minutes left, 34 minutes left. Which of this stuff is the heaviest? 20 pounds, 20, so 40 pounds. This way's 40. We'll just get rid of the greaves. 24 pounds plus 40 pounds. I need to leave ASAP without these two guards killing me. I still have a good amount of health. They aren't going to one-shot me, so we're going to save here. Target one. Now I need to get the fuck out of here. There's another guard that wants to kill me. Go. Move, move, move. Dodge. We're in the clear. I think we're in the clear. I think. Do I have a victory tune? Okay, close enough. It's a victory tune. <laughs> Let's fucking go. No. Pay the court 2250 gold and surrender your stolen goods. It's not stealing if they're dead. Let's go to jail. Cool. Cool. 37 days in jail. We have all of our valuables. I'm in the free. I'm in the clear. I'm a free man. Free woman. Nakuma, you're free. Let's go. Uh, we're at Buckmouth. That means we're close to Balmora. I think we head straight. We'll be at Balmora. The fork. You forgot to leave the fork. You're right. I forgot to leave the fork as a calling card. Good call. Thank you, chat. Nice try. Come on, Nakuma. Bitch. Let's go. Let's get going. That's okay, they can take my fork. Uh, is the fork of Haripolation a stolen item? No, it's not. No, it's not. Chat, I know the laws of Morrowind. You don't. Not sitting through this bullshit weather. Ah, oh, crap. I'm not as close... Aldrun is just north? Okay. <clears throat> All right, one target down. The next target is... Uh, ah, shit. Does anybody know how to get to Telerune? I might have to check where the targets are at. I got no idea how many... We did lose a lot of stats. I'm cool with that. My short blade's still at 55, so we didn't lose a ton of short blade. All right. 
Music I would love to keep celebrating, but I have to think. Walk the other way, you're going the wrong way. Mage's Guild, Sage with Mora, boat to Telerune. That's what we're gonna do. Oh shit, how am I what what am I doing here? What am what is what am I doing here? I'm wasting time. I just have to think Thank for a second here. Sir. I'm getting way too locked in. Mage's Guild, Caldera, make a shitload of money. Use that money, load up on Sujama. Holy fuck, if we're able to do this, I'm gonna be so happy. Let's take care of some business here first, though. This will come back to bite me in the ass if I don't do it now. There we go, repair the fork. Uh, Mage's Guild. Told you not to give up. Told you not to give up. <laughs> I know, I love it. We just killed one of the most, like, influential leaders in all of Morrowind with a fork and served 30 days in jail for it. <laughs> it's like in Skyrim when when we kill everyone in the entire city of Whiterun, including all the guards, and we get a week in jail. I don't care how much time is left. Fuck rain. Oh, come on. Cheese ballin', thank you so much for gifting us up. This is getting close, 28 minutes. Okay, Mage's Guild, Sage with Mora, boat to Telerune. Can't do that, can't do it all in one purchase. I'm not even gonna be able to spend this much gold. I won't need to, at least I don't think so. I cannot believe we got that to work. That was amazing. That was absolutely incredible. Worth all of the grind, completely worth it. What do we have? Uh, 9,000 gold? That's plenty. Say, say your... Sorry if I miss any good hints from you all in chat. Apologies. Sujama. Done. Goodbye. Wait a day. Ooh, we gotta do this over 10 times. This is gonna eat up some time. Prices are starting to get a little bit cheaper, though. He likes us. I need to get some healing potions from the door, uh, the guy next door. Five minutes. I'm gonna need enough Sujama for both fights. Hopefully I can get through both of them only using... One of them also has ebony armor. Shoot. I don't care if I don't get exactly three hours, but I really want to get under three hours. I'm gonna be... Is, is, I'm gonna lose a little bit of my excitement if we're over three hours. I'm not even thinking about anything else right now. It's just inputs. It's just click the thing, click the other thing, click the box there, offer it, click this box, hit T, drag it all the way, wait. My, my brain only thinks in key inputs and money calculations. How many do I have now? 77? I want over 120. If I want to get this in time, I have to somehow split my Sujama properly, I think. One more. Shit. 
shit, I only have 98 Sajama. I need more. I'm just gonna drop the really expensive Daedric stuff right there. If I'm really that desperate for money, we can come back here. One more batch. Crap, I have to get rid of two pounds. And I'm gonna need healing potions. Don't need all my repair hammers. Let's go. Fuck a healing spell. I'm not gonna need to heal, will I? Fuck it. Don't need healing spells. We're going right for it. I'll find a way. Outlander, what do you want? <clears throat> Uh, Sage with Mora. Over encumbered. There should be a boat in town. Sage with Mora, tell Mora, tell Arun. God, I gotta find a way to get out of here. in here there we go <laughs> this was the trailer music for t-shirt guy where's the boat this looks like where a boat would be for chance I'm in the wrong area though that's right I just used per chance we're not fucked. Thank you, kind sir. I'm gonna buy health pots here. Uh, will they have any health pots? No, don't persuade, just buy. What in the hell is that? Health pots. Come on, somebody's got to have them in here. <laughs> We're wasting time. I can't imagine eating one of those things. I would listen to that. Let's make it quick. Fuck nothing. freaking out <clears throat> where's the boat guys seriously I don't know where the boat is help who out there knows where the boat is uh, spads thank you for gifting a tier sub tier one sub IDK I don't play this game well you better start Take this route. Okay, this will take me to the boat. Nothing there. I just had to check the water. You never know. Gotta be health pots here. House Telvani? Oh my god. What is this? Chad, this isn't helpful. Behind the mushroom, in front of you, to the left there. Okay, all right, big mushroom in front of me. To the left of it. In front of this mushroom. <gasps> boat! All right, all right, all right, we got a boat. Uh, somebody mentioned the route of it earlier. Is it Telerune is next? Can't get up on I can't jump onto the boat. <laughs> I hate this. 20 minutes is okay. We have plenty of time. Tell Mora, then Telerune. 
If we get this second kill, I'm pausing that fucking timer. God, come on. I don't know what you're about to do. We'll do this boat. I like the vibes of it. No, stop. Stop. None of the tunes are going to fit the vibe. Okay, uh... Talmora? You tell a rune. Tell a rune. Okay, pause. Pause. We're going to figure out exactly where the target is. In the upper chambers of Telarune in a separate hall. So the upper chambers of that big tall tower right in front of us. Can you even reach the Telvani dude without levitation? I have no clue. Upper chambers of Telarune in a separate hall. We need levitation. Do we? Shit. Okay, research time. I don't have the big jump scrolls. I wasted them. I don't see anything about levitate on here. How to reach Gothrin Morrowind. There is a levitation shaft to reach him. So let's think about this. Can I get to Ebonheart from where I'm at? We're in Tel Arun right now. Ebonheart is a boat. It's a place you travel by boat. <clears throat> it's a place you travel by boat. Okay, so let's go. <laughs> Just keep jumping till I get a hundred acrobatics. Uh, we'll do which places boat to Ebonheart. La Ode. I should definitely be able to get to La Ode. And then the person we have to kill there is Vidam Dren. All right, we're going to change it up because Telerune seems like way too much. Also, the character at Telerune is flanked by two Dramora. If the Dramora attack us, not investing in healing items is going to get us killed. So we're going to kill the Duke. Also, he's a Duke. That just sounds cool. So let's kill him first. Um, Grand Council Chambers in Ebonheart. Surrounded by Dunmer and Imperial Counselors. Oh, God, they're all surrounded by men. He's surprisingly weak himself. Okay. All right, apparently, according to the wiki, he's weak. 
So Grand Council Chambers location. Grand Council Chambers location. Morrowind. Castle Ebenhart. Okay, we just go straight to the castle and then freak out, look around until we find him. So we have to take boat routes until we get to Hala Ode. We'll hit return. I'm not sure which one of them lets me travel. Tell Arun, tell Mora, Sage with Mora, Ebenhart. Got it. Arun, Mora, Mora. Oh shit, I'm over encumbered. Buzzkill. Arun, Mora, Mora. I'm already in Arun, so we gotta go Mora, Mora. Yes, Heart. We're here. Let's get some healing potions while we're in town. General store. It's got to be a general store here. No, what a door. The hell does that mean? Nope. Does not look like the Ebonhardine. Get out of my way! Where the hell am I going? Why could I have not just played this on the vanilla mo <laughs> vanilla version? This is not the Ebonhard I know. Who crap? Armor. They have Sujama there, but that's not what I need. Potions! Yes, come on. Gotta have something in here. Fortify health. Feather. Come on, you gotta have it in here somewhere. Restore Magicka. Restore luck. Restore health. And he sells standard. I'll take some fatigue. We probably don't need it as much. Healing potions. We'll do one more round. Uh, is 12 going to be enough? Don't care. Shit, the feather potion wasn't enough. All right, we keep pushing this way. We get to the castle. Thank you to the DuckTales OST. Yes, what is it? Whew. Grand Council Chambers. All right, he's got to be in here somewhere, right? I'm going to need all the help I can get. Is this him? Rillin Halalu? No. I'm in heart. Got to be in here somewhere. Up? Up seems like the right direction. No. Duke's guard. Duke's guard? Freely, friend. I'll let no. You're right, he's wearing ebony armor. Oh, shoot. Oh, this is not good. I lose like four or five seconds every single time. I have to take some of that. Oh, no, it's a dead end. Uh-oh. Okay, this is bad. I should have already found him by now. Yes. Oh, Rebuilt probably moved him. 
<gasps> Maybe he's back here. No, not in here. That's the Imperial Cult. Imperial Commission? Where's your boss? Gotta be in here. No. Don't tell me he's behind a locked door. Pause. Pause. Taking my time, I'm going to figure out exactly where he is in Morrowind Rebuilt, Morrowind Rebirth. Back to researching. I will find him. The damn Dren. In the main hall of the Grand Council Chambers, instead of his room a level below. What? Main hall of the Grand Council Chambers? He should be in the Grand Council Chambers. That's where we were. I hate this. Grand Council Chambers, Vadam Dren. I'm in the Grand Council Chambers right now. Grand Council Chambers. Evan Hart, Evan Hart, Evan Hart. Everything I was reading said to turn left when you get in here. There's a giant. There's a there's a throne right there. Stop it. Someone in particular. The Duke and the Grand Council members are here. The Duke is not here. Is there something you need? Behind the barrels? <clears throat> I'll check upstairs one more time. You, Duke's guard. Where is... Uh, the Duke and the Grand Council members are here. That doesn't really help. I've already been in this room. That's a toilet. <laughs> Why are there toilets now? Oh, I'm so sorry, believers. We're fucked. Nothing here. This just takes us back to the Grand Council chambers. Probably loops us back down to the main room again. I know, Morrowind Rebe Rebuilt killed us. So I looked it up. I was on the Morrowind Rebirth. I found like a forum of people asking where he was in Morrowind Rebirth. And apparently he's like on the first floor where previously he's actually down a level. Maybe he's down here. You want something, friend? Time out. Speak freely, friend. Now another toilet. Got him. Target located. Pause. Okay, target is located. We know how to work our way back. We know how to work our way back. At least to get to Telerune. It's going to take us two minutes maybe to get to that tower. It's going to take us a minute and a half to get out of town here. Looks like there's not too many targets in here. Now, in order to ensure victory, I have to wait 
take some potions, call in my ancestor guardian so I can distract, drink all my potions, and let it fucking rip. So, timer, back, go. Don't know why I waited that long. Got that, let's heal first. One healing potion. Let's go, ancestral guardian. Drink at least one of these. Actually, let's drink all five of these now. We're gonna save 43 of them for the next battle, because I'm gonna need, you know, some help there. Sanctuary. Call in Sanctuary, give it a few seconds. Now we can start the fight. Let's just see how powerful we are with this. Uh, we'll go fight two, save it there. Well Run over here. I've trifled with you long enough. Oh, we're not doing enough damage. He's still gonna kill us. I have to use all the Sujama, we're done. Dang it. You're mine. Fuck, is this fight actually going to be harder? I overwrote my save. to do I've trifled with you. damn it I need him to be the first person up here if he's the first person up there he can block the other guards from attacking me but I overwrote my save my auto save right here if we attack him right here from this angle We have a chance from this angle. We're not going to be able to get him. Okay, there we go. Get that. Get our sword out. Overwrite our last save. We're not going to be able to get it in under three hours, but I'm going to try for like three hours, 15. May speak. What was that? No, fuck off. Why are you attacking the ghost, man? The song sucks. Well, Killing this stupid ghost. Okay, we got him here. We got him right where we want him. All my stamina has gone. How the hell did I get rid of my stamina? Why is my stamina gone? Shit. Ah, oh, crap. We have to do it all over again. I have to be right here. Get my stamina back. Yeah, doing it with no stamina is going to be impossible. Do this one. I 
got this chat. We're getting like three hours 15, but we're getting them all. Okay, got my eyesight back. He aggros to the ghost right away every time. Go ahead. Let's see what's on me. Shoot. I'm so toast. Surrender now and I might let you live. Ah, oh, man. He's even harder than the last one. Oh, man. All right, pause. Pause. I can't believe it. I feel... Oh, I'm kind of heartbroken. I'm not going to lie. I have to somehow get him... Like... Right there, he always, he kind of stops. And he leaves it open for that guard to sneak in. Which completely kills my shot. Yes, Outlander. What do you want? I need to somehow isolate those guards. I don't think that there's a way I really can. Unless I go, like, right here. Let's just try it. Potential. Well. Oh, wow. He can, okay, so he can one hit me. Damn, the other one couldn't. He goes right to the. I'm throwing in the white towel. I'm throwing in the white towel. Wow. I don't know if I can do it. I really want to. I just don't... I don't know how... I would need more time to think and route them properly. Go ahead, stranger. What happens if I attack this guy first? Yeah, they still come charging in. Although, well, hold on, I have some time here. All right, I'm going to try one more thing. Two fifty gold. What if I pay the gold? There is no escape. Pay the gold. Pay the gold. <laughs> pay the gold. You will die. Every time I attack him, I have to pay a two hundred and fifty dollar fine. Pay the gold? How much gold do I have? Pay the gold? Pay the gold! You might think you can stop me, officers. No, I accidentally clicked on jail! Wait, hold on, this is a viable strategy. Pay gold. Pay gold. Pay gold. We just gotta keep doing this. Ah, oh, shit, we let him heal. Actually, he cancels his heal because he's not in combat anymore. Pay the gold. We're back. We're so back. Oh, don't heal, you coward. Fight me! If he goes down at any point, we get a huge damage buff. Pay gold. 
Keep paying the gold. Ah, I'm out of gold. Okay, so now I have to resist. This sucks. Theoretically. I don't know how I can give myself gold. Is there something you need? Get out of the way, ghost. No. Let's wait. Wait for the guard to walk away. Ah, no, if I do that, I lose my strength buff. This is so fucking stupid. It's the Sujama's already worn off. Hey, I dodged quite a few of those attacks. That's it. That's it. I'm sorry. I'm throwing in the white towel. I'm throwing in the white towel. I tried my best. We had a really good. We were this close. It, you know what? The one we got, I did not think we were going to get any of them. I'm happy with just getting one. I, I tried the bed, but we have one more quest that we have to do on this stream. So. Give me a few seconds here. I might have to get like a little bite to eat. Change this. We are now playing Skyrim. This one should not be that hard. It also shouldn't. It shouldn't take a ridiculous amount of time. At least I, I hope not. <laughs> I don't think it will. Congratulations to the non-believers, the haters out there. I'm very sorry to all the believers. I'm going to go make a quick bite to eat like a sandwich or something. It really shouldn't take me too long, but I do. I need to step away for a minute or two. That was, ooh, that was a lot. We'll come back. I'll say hi. We'll introduce the next quest. And then we'll do it really quick. Remind me when I get back to continue the recording because I just paused my recording on my end. So I'll be back in a second. I appreciate everybody so much for hanging out today. This has been a lot of fun. It's been chaotic and stupid, boring at times, but mostly fun for the most part. Mostly. Mostly. I also have to reset the speed run timer that I had. Oh, wait, hold on. It's like two buttons. I'll eat my sandwich here. Eh, I don't really like eating on stream, but I'm, we're short on time. We got to get moving.
Hey, sorry, chat. I realized I didn't give you something to at least jam to while I was gone. I'll be back. I'll be like two, maybe three minutes. Identify the beats. But that was too soft. Okay. Sorry, I brought my sandwich here. Don't forget to hit record. Good call. I'm trying to figure out if there's... Oh, you know what we could do? 
I know what to do. I know what we can do while I eat this. Oh God, this is embarrassing. Why am I wearing sun? Oh, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it all. <laughs> Here you go. Here's my first YouTube video ever. I can't even like listen to it. It's going to make me want to. It's so bad. This is focus. Come on. Text that doesn't I'm even have so a... I'm so locked in. I dialed Look at the machine. I, I, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did anyone see that? So I was trying to have like funny guy quotes in. on the screen. Look at this one. I'm so locked in. Oh, I guess I, I was like, I didn't close off the quote there. Like a champion. But I guess it was one thing. I don't even have a drop so shadow on the text. No! Welcome, everybody. To I thought it was really funny. Where I, I thought wearing sunglasses would be like a fun gimmick thing. Game. I don't know. Tries to tell you how to think about a game. If you're not playing Fall If you have any right friends now, that say they want to you do YouTube. Out. Show them this and tell them not quite to. Quite possibly or the most engaging cinematic show them masterpiece this. in gaming history. Forget about Last of Us 2. So they know what not to do. Forget about Red Dead Redemption 2. I got a plan. These aren't nearly as If you're wondering where the copy pasta guys. comes from. Check out this quote by a senior designer over at Devolver Digital. They were quoted in a Games Radar article recently. Fall Guys exist in this world to compete. And they're full of enthusiasm and quest for glory but they pop into existence. They compete, and then they disappear forever. What's a darker fate than your existence not matter? I miss my old barber, though. My hair looks pretty good Someone there. help me here, because I can't think of it. Fall Guys is just that, though. That's the about it. The games don't matter. The outcomes don't matter, really. It's all about just enjoying your little jelly beans time in the match before they cease to exist forever. Why is it so Fall Guys? Jelly <laughs> only exist to serve as entertainment to us. Fall Guys is, Why is as Fall sad Guys? as the Roman Colosseum. A bunch of no-names thrown into the fray for millions to jeer at as they take their last breath. It sounds dark and twisted, and it is. But oh boy, is Fall Guys a crap ton of fun. <laughs> no, I blew it again! I blew it again! It's also really hard and will probably drive you insane I thought that and was make a you make banger. stupid faces just like this. If you're not playing Fall Guys right now, you are either way out of the loop or you have an Xbox. Sorry, Xbox bros. I love you guys, but you're missing out on this one. I thought it was so good. All guys is dumb. It's I remember goofy. putting this together. Beautiful. Genuinely, you're like, unclear on what so Fall Guys is. Here's a brief summary. Oh, like this is you're so fire. Guy. You go through game show <laughs> oh, yeah. slash Mario Party. Am I going style viral? Do I still have that hoodie? Yeah, I should. Of the players in the match being eliminated each round. I should Battle still have Royale. it. I'm actually glad Last that I have it. Standing wins. Admittedly, I've never actually won a match of Fall Guys yet, but I'd imagine it feels something like this. You pulled this off the fastest! Congratulations! You are the Fear Factor Champion of Champions! And evidently, fear is not a factor for you. Congratulations! There are no guns. There are no meta builds. It's just run, jump, dive, and grab. It doesn't require sweaty MLG-level play to win in Fall Guys. It takes grit. This is a gritty game. Only the grittiest of champions can come it's out not, on top in Fall Guys. So it's not hanging up. The best part about this game but so far before is that I moved, for the first time, it, feels it might like be uh, was able to it might be at my old place Nintendo. hanging up. And that doesn't really happen that often. Because when what I do moved, you think about Nintendo, there was a lot of stuff where I was like, eh, we'll just the words that come we to come back here often enough. Fun, so if there's anything silly, I truly need, goofy, we'll just come back and grab it. Not too serious, couch co-op, that kind of stuff. Party games, you know, Smash, and Mario Party, Mario Kart, etc. Fall Guys has done all of those things, 
but added along with it that stress of a battle royale and that sort of once again apologies i hate eating on stream i feel fucking gross when i do it it's hard to describe that intense like i gotta win this game or i gotta survive until the end it's just it just Damn, added something barber. that nintendo games have Isaac. never had Fall Guys definitely stands out in the crowd today because it really seems like every game is just trying to constantly outbro the last game. He was that awesome. Came out. Every mainstream AAA game that comes out these days has these insanely macho main characters. Everyone's grisly. They have a dark backstory. Fall Guys goes in the completely opposite direction. They're soft. They're plushy, little cute jelly beans in an all-out last man standing bunch test of, of low balance. res. Speed, uncropped grit, JPEGs, as I said before, grit, art. and determination. Now, I don't like doing this, but let's talk about some fears that I'm not I trying to hide with this game, and some things that I think are gonna need to be, you know, looked into as as the lifespan of Fall Guys, you know, goes into. The How future. much money did I get for this? Obviously, every game. This nowadays, video. It's it's sort of looked <clears throat> at as you know live service. How long is it going to go on? Every time this somebody point, gets a new game, maybe like three it's sort bucks? of in the back of their mind, you know, how long am I going to be able to play this for? Because that means a lot to people now. Unless it's, you know, a single player story mode, you know, like uh, Jedi Fallen Order. That was just you play it once and then you're done and it was great and you move on to the next one. So this game has, I think it's 15 mini games. I haven't played them all. I think that's the number. I could be wrong. And I can see after, you know, a week or two, if this is, if first off, if Fall Guys is the only game you're playing, I think you're making a big mistake. But if this is the only um, game you're playing for, you know, two weeks straight, three weeks straight, I can What's see on the, sandwich? the 15 it was, game um, really quickly. Weirdly? Game. So they have an opportunity now. Devolver Digital. They have an opportunity now. It was the Target Deli. Fall guys There's a Target right down the road from me. Evolving party game. It's Shut the fuck up, nerd. Um, it was from the Target Deli. Provolone, deli meat chicken, mayonnaise, and then I found this low carb. It would definitely work for a keto diet. Bread. It's actually super good. Most keto bread I've gotten has been kind of trash. All right, silence, younger me. Younger, better looking, better hairline me. Uh, link to the Discord should be, there you go. Appreciate it, thank you, chat. Okay. You guys want to hear a funny story about this version of me? This is also kind of embarrassing. Um, but this version of me, right around when I was this age, so I, I think I might have told this story on stream before, but uh, I'm trying to think at the time. Crazy to think, I think I was 24 here. Um. But I had just started working, or I was maybe a year and a half into my first job after school. Dead buttons, I appreciate it, thank you. I was a year, a little over a year and a half into my first job after school. And I've talked about it before that when I first graduated school, all the way between graduating college and today, I made about a grand total of, other than internet people, and like YouTube friends, I made zero friends. Z zero. I just, I had my friends. I was worried about keeping my job, following this whole stupid thing. Um, there was a group of people though who I kind of became acquainted with. There was one guy in this group of friends. You guys ever been the fringe guy? <laughs> also, sorry, one sec. So in, the, in this in this group of people that were my age, that were like interns and then worked full time, I was definitely the fringe guy of this group. Everybody in the group had a significant other. 
you know, I would meet up and I would just be this guy on the outside. And so I hung out with them a couple of times. The last time I ever saw all of these people at one time, I, it was right around, right around when this video came out. It was during the summer. It was one of like the last weekends before stuff really locked down when COVID kicked in. Um, also, it might have been one of the first weekends where some of it was easing back. And I met up with all these people. I'm still the fringe guy. I see them maybe once every month, two months. It was very rare when I would see them. And the one guy that I knew in this group that I was maybe closer to than the rest. There was at one point during the day where he left. And so I was just with all these people that I barely knew. And we had been drinking all day. <clears throat> all day long. And it was maybe around 9 or 10 p.m. where we were in the courtyard of one of the apartments that one of the girls in the group we were with where she lived at. And they had a little pool in this courtyard. It was not a very big pool. And uh, when I was with this group, I was really, really hammered. And I thought, man, my apartment is only like a block from here. How funny would it be if... I just jumped into this pool with all of my clothes on and I thought it was hilarious. I, I thought that like this was going to be a hit with the crowd and I basically body slammed myself into this pool fully clothed in front of a group of people that I don't know. I'm the fringe guy. I'm head to toe soaked. I'm pretty sure I get up after this. I go to my apartment, I shower, I change, and then I meet back up with them at the exact same spot because I lived very, very close by. Oh, but it was one of those where I woke up the next day so fucking embarrassed. And I've never seen them again. Did I do it within three hours, though? No. <laughs> no. No, unfortunately, it was. I was speedrunning losing friends. Well, I mean, I also went home, showered, changed, came back to the pool where people were at. I also think a few people thought I was really weird because I like splashed a bunch of people who weren't in the pool. It was a very small pool and it was a very dumb idiot body slamming the water and it poof, water went everywhere. I go back to meet them all. I show up at the pool. I am gone, absolutely blitzed. I vomit into a bush in front of everybody. Classy. It was, it was not good. It was very, very bad. You just realized we're two completely different people. I, I hope it's not a core memory for them, but... I can tell. Or I, I could just tell like the next day, like, oh, man, I would remember that. Yeah, if that was my friends and I would be like, hey, remember when that one idiot we were with? Where where'd that guy go? What happened to him? What's he up to? I wonder if that friend group still is like. Do you remember that asshole who jumped into the pool and splashed all of us and then. Was head to toe drenched and decided to walk two blocks downtown. Back to his... It was weird. No, I don't think I was getting away with the dizzy and fell excuse. I jumped into that fucker. I like... I like elbow dropped into the pool. Anyway. There's the most embarrassing moment in my life that I sometimes still today will be like, oh, I did that. That was, that was awful. Why would I do that? Why would I do... Such a stupid, nonsensical thing. Just dudes being bros. I want to say that the group I was with, though, was... I, I think it was, like, three or four guys, and there were, like, seven girls, and, yeah, I splashed a lot of people who didn't really want to be splashed. I don't, I don't think they appreciated me. I, I, I don't... Because also, the, the person that I really knew 
you know when you have when you're the fringe guy or you're the fringe girl and there's that one person in the group who and god love him he was he was an awesome awesome guy he he was really welcoming welcoming to like bring me into the group and inviting me to stuff those kinds of people are the best people you'll ever meet bar none absolutely the best people you'll ever meet in life are the people who you know are part of a group but understand the position that the fringe guy might be in to you know in, invite them to things and make them feel welcomed oh y you want to know another cringe thing that happened with this group you guys ever played the game quiplash so Quiplash is a game where every it's like a game show, but on a TV and everyone can answer questions on their phone. It's like a painful game to not be very good at. But when like you don't know the group and everyone's got these inside jokes. And it's like, oh, it's it's oh, oh it's a it's a painful game to play with a group you're not that close to. <laughs> it's like because I'd be like putting bangers on the screen, be like, oh, this is this is going to be good. This is going to be really good. And I get like no votes and it's be like. Quiet in the corner, hey, that was mine. Or like my answer pops up and like nobody reacts to it and I'm sitting there like. <laughs> oh, you didn't. That didn't uh, that didn't work. Ah, fuck. Damn. And then, like, I tried to get in on the inside joke. Oh, it's just, it's so bad. <laughs> it's so painful. Anyway. All right, that's enough lore. We've got one more of these quests to do. So let's fucking do it and get it over with. And then I will feel good about the content that we have for this project. And it'll be all a whole thing. Yeah, somebody update the wiki. Do I have a wiki tube? What's it called? A tube wiki? Wikitubia? I did start the recording a little bit ago. Thankfully now I have all of the um all of the lore on record. One more quest. This one should not be that bad. It should, oh my god, please be quick. Please be I'm hoping it's quick. It should be. All right. This is Family Reunion. It takes place in Skyrim. We're back to Skyrim. Who would have thought? What a plot twist on this channel playing Skyrim. Written by Remy Uwu. I think. Unless it's Remy Uwu. Remy Uwu? Rem... Rain Iwu. However you want to pronounce it. All are probably okay. I would assume they don't mind. The original lore that they wrote. I had to cut this down a little bit. Tom, a guard of Markarth, hasn't seen his brother, Jerry, the gate guard in Riften in years. Reuniting them would be their dream. They also said that I could change their names. I am not a name maker. Remy Uwu, I have to say... Tom and Jerry are two brilliant names. Don't be so hard on yourself. I'm really bad at coming up with names, too. Most of the time I need to name a character, I just look right back at chat and I go, pick the first one or two options that pop up in my head. I'm really bad at it. Coming up with a creative character name is very hard. Dr. Jacques wasn't even created. Creative. See? I can't even speak properly. Here's Tom, or at least what may be Tom, a Mark Hearth guard. And here's Jerry, the front gate guard at Riften, the one who usually blackmails you into going into town. The rules are simple. Initiate a chase with a guard in Markarth, also known as Tom. Have Tom follow us another escort quest. I know there's a lot of escort quests in this one. Have Tom follow us all the way to Riften from Markarth to reunite with his brother, Jerry. If I die, or if Tom dies, we have to completely restart, and we have three tries to do so. Shouldn't be too bad. I think we can do this on the first try. 
I hope. I hope. Please. Please. John Skyrim, if you can hear me out there. Let's make this one easy. For me. And that's it. That, that, that's it. It's a simple escort mission. Two escort missions on the day. Both played out way differently than the other one will, though. <clears throat> Let's pray to Kenrath. Kenrath, please. Kenrath, if you're out there. I need to stop praying, though, to the Skyrim gods because they never... They never help me out. Let's be real. They never throw me a bone. I only get boned. Fuck the nine. That's right. They don't help me. They've never helped me. <gasps> the Thalmor worshippers in chat are like, oh, did he just say nine? <gasps> How dare. Wouldn't it be funny if the update to Skyrim still somehow snuck through and broke my game? I tested it yesterday and it worked. <clears throat> Dang, is stream over? Absolutely not. We got one more to go. I don't know if you can read that because it's behind chat, but online services are currently disabled. W. Hell yeah. Winter Sun is an awesome mod. I love it. Right, we're playing with the same character. We're playing with our Chaos Mage, Spock, who is modeled after me. Does that look... Well, younger me. Younger me without the beard that looked like Spock and that was called Spock in high school. Don't worry, I was not being bullied, for the most part. I, can take you Where do you want I owned it. Climb and back and we'll be off. I don't really know. Oh, I guess I have decent. I do have decent. Okay, I'm going to ban Elemental Flare from this because it's overpowered. Elemental Flare is too good. Some say it was built by the dwarves. It doesn't look remote. Are you saying the character doesn't look like me or the Spock doesn't look like me? Because I'll have issues. Okay, I take a lot of pride in my <laughs> actually no i probably don't look like zachary quinto but oh i wish i did are we still on survival mode i'm not strange but that's fair i'm gonna set it to noon so it's a little bit easier to see go get a nap so all of our stats are maxed out I should have enough food. Yeah, we got plenty of food. This is Markarf, traveler. Safest city in the. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I, I'm I'm referring to Zachary Quinto Spock. Come on in. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. This is the Silverblood. Sure thing. It's your. Sure you. thing. It's yours for a day. I'm never going to get my Nazim impression down. I'll keep trying, but I don't know if it's ever going to work all that well. All right, I'm definitely buying food before we start this shit. Take a look. This might be really hard, though, because I still have my game updated. Like I have a bunch of mods in. Just keep that in mind. Excuse me. Sorry about that. 
I, I have a lot of the I think I have OBS. I'm getting out of here. Hold on, hold on. Maybe he wins this time. Oh I die for my people. Y'all never let him win. Everyone, stay They never let him win. Oh, hold on one second. I have to do something. Set actor full name Tom. Oh, that didn't work. Skyrim didn't have enough out. Wait, how do I how do I change their name? I thought it was set actor full name Tom. Is that not how that works? From Hammerfell strutting about. I thought I could just change their name with Set actor full name in quotes. I did look it up. That's why I put it in there. Nope, not. Okay, really? Fuck off, IRS. I already paid my taxes. I think it's just an oblivion thing. Oh, no. Okay, well, whatever. We don't need their names. Okay, this is Tom. He doesn't it doesn't need to say Tom for us to know that this is Tom. Destroyed by a dragon. Hard to believe, isn't it? So I have an idea. I'm gonna start the timer. Oh wait, no, we don't have to have a timer, do we? Whatever. I'm still gonna start the timer. Because we get three lives. Starting now. I think the best way to do this is to eliminate one guard. And given that I have all of my spells from earlier on this character, <clears throat> I can run over here and hide. I can probably fury the guard that is not Tom, get her killed, and then I won't have a bunch of guards following me. Provided I can do this without getting caught. Oh, who the hell sees me? Is it the dog? Go figure. Of course. Stupid hitbox. No, stop. Oh, it's the horses. I guarantee it's the horses. Markar City Guard is too powerful for Fury. Sh shoot. Okay, I have a better idea. Let's go with Firebolt. Eh. I won't use Elemental Flare to defend the guard. Sorry, sorry, doggy. Okay, the dog is still pissed. Oh shit, how many guards are there? There's one in the tower. Am I really gonna lose one of my three lives already? Hey! Wait, Tom! Okay, Tom, let's go. There's too many red dots on screen. Way too many red dots. I have no potions. Oh shit. Don't hit me. S fucking dog. Where's Tom? Enough with your stupid dog stuff. Get away from me. Ah, crap. I don't have enough health to deal with this. There's another one right there. Okay, whichever male guard follows me, you're Tom. That is not fair. Where does the spectral dog come from? Okay, if I lose all three of my lives this quickly... <laughs> then maybe it'll be a good thing and I can have less footage to have to go through. All right, chat, you can gamble. You can gamble. I'll, I'll, I'll get you set up with gambling.
startup prediction. Ooh, that was a tough one to lose in Morrowind for y'all. Tom meets Jerry. That's all. That's all it's going to be. Tom meets Jerry. Yes? Believer? No. Non. Believer. Slash hater. Slash cringe. Ugh, too many letters. All right, I have two tries for Tom to meet Jerry. I saw one person last time complain and say, ah, oh, I hate when you only do three lives. Well, I have to keep the footage manageable. All right, we need to reassess. Will you be Tom? <laughs> could, could you be Tom, sir? Look, I just need one of you just one of you one of you has to be Tom it doesn't matter which one. Oh, wait a minute there's Markarth guards close to this bridge down here that keeps them a little bit more isolated Tom Tom how are you good to see you Tom go cast your fancy magic someplace else come with me Tom all right let's go I gotta be careful though. Tom's gonna do really good damage. Oh god, he's close. Oh man, he's gonna be really close this whole time, isn't he? Fuck. <laughs> this is gonna be really hard. Come on. Come on. All good. I know how to dodge. We just have to conserve our sprint. Hey, don't do that. Can I use courage? Wait, no, courage. That's just going to make him more adept at killing me. Tom. Oh, this is going to suck. Stop. There we go. <clears throat> Maybe playing in third person is easier. Oh, way easier. Okay, we'll just play in third person the whole time. That way we can keep an eye on Tom. I'm gonna have to protect him though. It's gonna come down to it and I'm gonna have to save Tom's life. Excuse me. Sorry, ma'am, watch out. Crime's being committed. Oh, he just hit the guy. Come on, Tom, take it easy. Excuse me, folks. We'll just zigzag through him. Confuse Tom a little bit. This will be fun. I'm already liking this adventure so far. I can keep Tom at bay. Oh, hey, 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 no, we're not doing that. Oh, I'm not good at dodging it in third person. Over, whoa! Under the bridge like a troll. Where's Tom? Tom? Can you switch? Okay, switch back to the sword. Thank you. Now, come on. Get back to doing what you're good at. Follow me. Why would I let him do that? <gasps> oh. Okay, just stop right there. Thank you, kind sir. Damn He's late stream day. Stay right there, Tom. Just give me a second to recover here. Come on, we're a team. Put the bow down. Tom's got no clue. Ow, ow, I, stop. I was, I was checking to see if you hit a civilian. I'm bleeding all over. I'm turning this rock into polka dot. Suda, how are you? Thank you for three months.
I think I just need to get Tom across this bridge. Stop. Unfucking believable. I got stuck on the railing. How did this happen? How did it happen? Why don't you ask Tom? He's an evil bastard. Okay, now it's time to lock in. I'm taking this seriously. Two lives remain? No, one life remains. But I, f I found the solution in just doing this in third person. We take it nice and slow, nice and easy. We enjoy the journey. Maybe Tom tells me a little bit of his backstory, where his family came from. Any, uh, no. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Doesn't count, 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 doesn't count. Fuck you, doesn't count. Go cast your fancy magic someplace else. Does not count. Does not count. That does not count. Uh, no, that doesn't. You know what? That doesn't count. That doesn't count. Uh, the haters win. The haters win. I am giving myself <clears throat> three more lives. Because I can. <laughs> because I am the warden of this game. I have an 8% chance to seal his bow. Ooh, we can do this. Does this count as cheating? I'm taking his bow. <laughs> I'm taking... No, I feel like the bow is something I have to work around. I'll try it one more time. Oh, fuck off. I didn't even press the button there. That doesn't count either. Oh. <laughs> yeah, none of you saw it, so it doesn't happen. It doesn't count. Eight percent chance. Wait a minute. He has a limited number of arrows. He'll run out. I just have to get him to run out of arrows. Easy. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. That can be arranged. Oh yeah, can it? Bring it on. I can get him to miss 12 consecutive arrows. That's all he has in his inventory. So he's gonna follow me. I bet when he gets halfway on this bridge, oh, almost halfway. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's four arrows. One, two, three. Five arrows. One, six arrows. Okay, nice try. You hit the tree, dillweed. I don't know how many that is. Is that seven arrows? Eight. Number nine. Ooh, that was close. You almost got me there. 10, 11, this has to be the last arrow. Okay, maybe that wasn't. Okay, maybe he has um, an extra 12 somewhere. Don't tell me you gave him unlimited arrows. I hate this game. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Come here. Nice try. I am Neo. No, oh, you can't even hit me this close up. Come on, Tom. Yeah, this is why Jerry kicks your ass all the time. Let's go. Enough, enough with your calculated movements. Okay, we're finally back on track. I'm gonna cry if you kill me. 
All the way to Markarth. Oh my god, put the fucking bow away. <clears throat> That was close. That was even closer. I thought this would be easy. Go cast your fancy magic someplace else. I legitimately thought when I was putting this one on the board, I said, you know, I have to have one that's easy for me on there. I, I have to have one on there that's going to be simple. I have a better idea. That was a really stupid idea. <laughs> that was a terrible idea. I should have at least tried to pickpocket him. I'm going to take him across the bridge. He has to follow me. He's going to pull out his bow at some point. Unless I keep running. Oh, okay. Better progress this time. Come on, Tommy boy. Hey, speaking of road trips. Out comes the bow. He just walks backwards, though. Like, do I just have to keep running away? And hope that he follows? This is going to take two hours. Okay, I have a dumb idea. Maybe we can break the encounter. We'll just wait here patiently. The quest rules do retire Tom to be alive. He doesn't know where I'm at. He does it. He knows where I'm at. Oh, he about got me. Can he hit me? No, I have too much cover. But he's just going to slowly, slowly walk up. Try to get the right angle. This is a nightmare. <clears throat> I didn't think that this would be my least favorite quest of them. But seeing as I've already broken the rules, died four times, and I'm well on my way to failing. I can't even, I can't even name this video about quest. I, mean, I haven't completed any of them. <laughs> I've failed them all. All right, now he's following. Wait, why does this why why does this orc want to kill me? Why? Maybe the guard will attack the orc. Or will they team up? Are they going to collab? Uh, Tom's walking back. Okay, back up. Just back up, please. Ow. All right, okay. We got the roadblock out of the way. Now let's go find Tom. Here was my plan. If I'm able to break the... Uh, nope, nope, nope. Okay, he sees me. Every time. It's target practice all day for Tom, except he doesn't know how to land a single shot. Honestly, I think it would be preferable if he magically got the ability to hit a moving target and just hit me in the face. I would prefer that. Tom, stick an arrow right between my eyes. Woo! Come on now. We got a long way to go. 
It's just firing blindly. Into I hate you. I really don't like this guy. <laughs> Go figure. I start talking shit about his aim. He hits a nasty shot. Where'd he even hit me? Can't tell. I need his sword. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. My game crashed. <laughs> the good news is that doesn't count as a loss. The bad news is that doesn't count as a loss. Because, oh boy. I would love to lose this one and just have everything end. Yes, I will allow quick saves. I just forgot to. Completely forgot to. Technically already lost. No, 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 that was just learning. That was just, that was just... Come on, I hate this game. Turn... Eight percent. I got an eight percent chance, just... Let it hit. I've never gambled like this. I need this to, I need this gamble to hit. Stop right there. That can be arranged. Don't pull out your bow. Keep your sword out. Wait a minute. What am I doing? Hold on. I have courage. But fury, I think, will also get him to put his weapon away. So the next time he pulls out his bow, I'm going to try to hit him with fury. If I connect with him on fury and then close the gap. Perhaps he just pulls out his sword because I'm close. Okay, so there's the bow. Yeah, that works. That really works well. He's too powerful for fury. Next arrow kills me, I think. I really don't like this guy. Why is it always got to be the bow? Dude. By order of the Yarl, stop right there. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen a close call like that with an arrow. Saves come until you get his bows or his arrows? No. Nah, come on, that's cowardice. Time to cleanse the Empire of its filth. Also, where did you two idiots come from? You were not on the road before. Pull out your sword. All right, I got one try left. Until I give myself three more tries. Oh, I'm so goofy. I have way better odds of taking the arrows. I got him. The arrows are gone. Come on, let's go, Tom. You and me till the end, brother. <laughs> Why did I not think to just take the arrows? All right, one chance, my last life, we can do this. If I die, maybe I give myself three more lives. I'd rather not. 
That's what everyone had been saying. Well, I, I got to figure it out on my own. If I don't figure it out on my own, then what, what, what's the point? What are you doing? Oh, what's that? Oh, you don't have your bow. Oh, <laughs> you don't know what to do. Yeah, without your crutch. We're going to run into some real issues here, though. Because we're certainly going to come across another guard in the road. And I'm really squishy. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. Really? The cat version of Mike Tyson wants to just enlist in law enforcement? Cost your fancy magic someplace else. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Then pay with your blood. New strategy. Go cast your fancy magic someplace else. New strategy. I'm gonna take his arrows. I will do the yard. Stop right there. So be it. Hey, my game crashed again. New strategy. I'm going to take his arrows and then I'm going to quick save. I came up with that on my own. I did not get that from Chad Volaray. You can't take credit for it. Kiss him on the forehead and tell him his brother misses him. That's a pretty good strategy. Well, yeah, why can't I just talk to you? Tom, look, Tom. Your brother misses you dearly. Now I quick save. All right, let's go. I order the yard. Stop right there. So be Your head. All right, we're back. Oh, of course, I go to actually put on a tune and my stream deck crashes. This is a disaster. Worst stream ever? It's possible. All right, I have, um, I've only used up two of my lives so I still have one life left. It's still, it's still impressive. But I do have to, uh, time out one second. You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. It just crashed immediately again. Millions of dollars made by these stupid pieces of fucking equipment. No. No, it's not Skyrim that's crashing. It's my stream deck. It's fucking garbage. All right, for some reason, whenever I hit the action playlist, it crashes. 
piece of trash. I hate this thing. I hate it. I hate you. I hate you. I hate the stream deck. It's useless equipment. That one makes it crash too. Sorry, chat, one sec. Apparently it wants to work now. All right, let's go, Tom. Come on. I love that. I love it. He actually tries to back up and pull out his bow and arrow. Okay, we got somebody up here. Okay, it's just an orc. Just an orc, no problem. Good shot. Should I just bring the orc with me too? Oh, let's not get hit. It's so hard to get off an attack and then hit. Unless we go fury. Unless we fury the orc and then the guard and uh, Tom, Tom, you're good. You're good, Tom. You got enough. Honestly, it feels good just to watch Tom do what he loves. You know? Oh, shit. I, I forgot he's still going to try and kill me. But it's good when if I'm not the target. Nice work, folks. Proud of everyone involved. All right, we're finally moving. It only took us a half hour, but we're making progress. Look at us go, Tom. Look at you and me, covered in blood. The blood of our Thank enemies. You, Tom, Top tier, more like Tom tier. Stickman, appreciate it. Thank you for 10 months. But who is this? You have to stop with this. Another orc. Why? Come on, Tom. I have to dodge it. That's an orcish sword. It's going to do really great damage. I'm stuck. <gasps> She's going after Tom. I can't let that happen. Maybe I could. Maybe I let Tom take a few licks. It feels good, it, doesn't it? Doesn't it feel good to team up, Tom? No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it doesn't. Holt. He's just immediately like, no, that was fun, but I'm here to kill you. Let's go, buddy. You and me. Perfect speed. If we just stay at this pace, no, it's enough with the backing up bullshit. You're not getting your bow. His AI is trying to tell him to pull out his bow, but he can't. It's like his feet think before his brain does. There he goes again. Or he's trying to like lull me into getting power attacked. We have to be careful though. We could run into a big group of bandits. Am I even going the right way? Yeah. Yeah, we'll probably go... Helgen? Helgen might be the easiest route for us. 
Going past White Run's gonna be too difficult. There's too many guards. <laughs> Tom, you're pissing me off. Enough, enough. With he actually did it. He did exactly what I described he was doing, and he nailed me. Okay, I need to stop underestimating Tom. Back off. At least let me heal. Can we make this an even fight? So he does that move. He slows down and he wants me. He wants to catch my momentum coming this way. Then he pushes up. Sometimes into a power attack or most of the time into a power attack. What the hell does this goat think it's doing? No. Piss off, man. I hit the wolf and now he goes after me. Tom, kill the wolf, please. Hey, another wolf, Tom. Wolf, hey, Tom, another wolf. I'm not even the escort. Oh my God. There's another wolf on me. Oh, Tom, I love you. What, that was a mud crab? No, 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 don't don't tell me all the Imperial Guards here. They all they all go hostile. OK, beautiful. Nice. Oh, nope. I'm toast. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm literally fucking dead. I'm literally so fucking dead. There's an arrow through my jugular. Tom's on the other side of this rock. What is killing me? Are you so? <laughs> A slaughterfish! Who? Who has ever been killed by a slaughterfish in this game? I did not have a free level up! No, I didn't! I have to sleep! Those are the rules! They don't ever change! Except for when we do something stupid like this! I fucking hate this game! Why do I play this game? <laughs> I fucking hate this game. Fuck you, Tom. Fuck you. Look at him. All the way over there. Catch, bitch. I mean, catch. Again. You're lucky I'm not accurate. Let's go. I'm taking a checkpoint. Now, we need to avoid the Imperial Guards. In order to do so, I'm gonna go this way. Wait, I know you. Do you? Do you know me, Tom? Are you, are you familiar with me? Yeah, it doesn't eh, it doesn't feel good to be set on fire. There's a stupid ass. OK, yeah, he immediately turns. <laughs> He's like, oh, hey, I should go annoy this guy. There you go, Tom. Nice kill. Now take out the mud crabs. Oh. Honestly, these mud crabs need to stop doing so much damage. I might have to help Tom. We make a great team, don't we, Tom? Piece of shit, Tom. He won't swim. NPCs don't swim. 
Also, that was the most pathetic hell I've ever heard an NPC yelp. Help. Help. Ah, uh, help. Uh, uh. Wait, I am familiar with you. What you want. Okay, never mind. We can't go that way. I'll take the Imperial Guards over the Saber Cat. Yeah. Come on, Tommy. Why did I think this one would be easy? Three wolves up ahead. <clears throat> mud crabs. Okay, we can't let him fight a mud crab on his own. Thank me later. Yeah, definitely have Imperial Guards up the road. So, safest way around them. Honestly, no idea. Get up the hill, yep. <laughs> I was about to start just yelling at my guy. Wolf down. Tom coming around the bend. I don't know, maybe attack the goat? Okay. All right, let's get a little checkpoint here. There are about 5,000 outcomes in which I don't get Tom to Riften, in which I die and the rest of the mission is a complete failure. Luckily for all of you, you're watching the one successful time. This should be easy. I know what to do here. We have to go Fury. I fucking hate this game. How in the fuck do you get that range? What was that noise? I know I said I would not use elemental flare, but I do not care. <gasps> They're fighting each other. Get him, Tom! <laughs> Tom, you've officially joined the right side of history. Hell yeah. Atta boy. Nice kill. Let's move. Finally. I knew Tom would eventually come around. I knew he would like me. But it just takes him a little bit. Oh no, are you stuck in the river? Honestly, good. After all that nonsense, I hope Tom is at least like struggling for air just a little bit. But like, let's not be completely stuck under the bridge. Okay. Come over here. Wait. I, I think that was an ethical cheat. Come on, Tom. Ooh. Uh, can he cross here? Kill the mud crabs. What's his health at? Oh my god, he's at like half health. This is not the way we need to go. Reverse, reverse. What are you getting in the river for? Don't daintily float away from me. It feels like you're making fun of me. Like I can see him right now just talking shit as he floats down the river. Huh. Look at you. Your elementary mind cannot... That was close. Not close enough. Come on, Tommy. Someone died up here. Who was that? Stormcloak? 
Where are you going? What is that? He just has a mind where he'll just decide to turn around for no reason. He starts backing up. This is where he wants to pull out his bow and arrow. I'm not even going to risk him taking the arrows. What a dodge. Whew. I felt good. You think he's tired? All I know is if you put me, I mean, I'm also not athletic, but if you put me in heavy guard armor and gave me a nine pound sword and had me swing it at full force while sprinting, while chasing somebody up and down the hills in rough terrain, rough roads. Time out. There's a whole entire group of Imperial Guards up the road. But I should have an opportunity here. They're about to shoot at me. They're fighting someone. Uh, dodge. Okay, one down. I'm out of arrows. I'm out of ammo. Where's Tom? Oh, one of them. Tom was perfectly stuck there the whole time. Blue butterfly blue wing. Regular butterfly wing. That actually got me nearly at full health. Not now, Tom. Tom, really bad timing. Okay, let's go the other way. Ooh, okay. Imperial Guard's right around the corner. Nice shot, idiot. That should hit. Nice, they got one. Oh, so bad. Two archers. Stupid ass wolf. Come on, Tom, let's go this way. It's safer up here. <gasps> Brilliant. It's a wide open field. Come on, Tom. We can get around the guards this way. Saber cat just over the hill there. We should be able to avoid aggro. Thank you, kind sir. There you go, Tom. Let's go. We're making moves now. That's what I like to see, Tommy. Oh, hey, you can, okay, you're a little close for comfort. I don't like you that much. I'm glad that you're here, but we're now friends. He's got just around half health. Can you make that jump? Oh, is this scary? Hmm. Come on, Tom. But you don't want to make a little hop down here? Look, Tom, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I tried my best. I know you got hurt. You were forced to fight a mud crab all on your own. I get that. But don't let this drive a wedge between us. Think about your brother, Jerry. Come on. He's resorted to shaking down strangers that walk into his city. What are you doing? Your cousin is out fighting dragons. And you're stuck with guard duty. I'm putting my foot down. I'm not moving until Tom moves. I'll wait here all night. We'll see whose mind breaks first. Mine or your puny, infantile AI brain. Which cracks first? 
I might go make another sandwich. You are sounding like an abusive father? Well, welcome to most of my Skyrim playthroughs. I'm not fucking with you. I will wait here. Hmm. Go on. Not even looking. Stab me. Right between my shoulders. Yeah, if I'm getting light armor experience the whole time, this will be worth it. Oh, don't show Tom your disgust. A mayo and tuna sandwich? <clears throat> Doesn't a tuna mix imply that there's mayo in it already? Like a tuna salad? No, if I strafe, then that means I give up. I let him win. I'm not giving it to you, Tom. I will not move. Would you wear this armor on stream? If I had any sort of replica Skyrim armor, I would wear the fuck out of it on a stream. I'm gonna take a nap. Yo, have a good one. Don't, don't bring that energy in here talking about saber cats. Hmm. Tom, look, the game is giving me cinematic camera. Just hurry up and get this over with. Let's move. First to last, have a good night. It's 4 a.m. Get some sleep. Go to bed. We'll probably be here when you wake up. Oh, God. Tom might have found out my weakness. I have to sleep and I have to eat on survival mode. <laughs> Wait, no. Tom's winning the war of attrition. I don't care. You think I came this far to give up? Is this your longest stream? No, we've done like an eight hour stream. I want to say mm, maybe not. Seven and a half might be our longest. We're going to be waiting here for an hour just to lose the challenge five minutes later. God, that's so true. That's so true. Feeling a little dizzy? Tommy, 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 Tommy. You underestimate my commitment to the bit, young man. What do you think Tom is thinking about? Clearly not his brother, Jerry. He doesn't give a fuck about Jerry. That's who I feel bad about in this whole thing. You know, you know who the victim is in this whole thing? It's Jerry. Not me, not Tom. It's Jerry. He's alone. Dedicated to a life of 
shaking down strangers, poor people who are coming through the front gate of his village. That's a sad person. And Tom is just up here, acting so- who the fuck is that in the road? Oh, it's my eek. We're good. We're good. It's my eek. It's all chill. <clears throat> of course he shows up. This is the perfect situation for my eek to show up in. He has to move at some point, right? Like, I don't understand. Hey, we're still getting XP. I don't understand what his AI is telling him to just not move. Right? What happens if you wait one hour? Well, here's the thing. You have to think about the content, right? <laughs> like, it would be very on brand for this channel if we sat here for a fucking hour. It would be, now it would only be worth it for like a 30 second bit maybe, but it would be funny. It would be, it would be really funny. Does he think he's already attacking? So I'm getting, I'm getting XP right now because of, I think it's Adamant, which is the perk overhaul we're using. Different perk overhauls do different things to the XP balance and how you get XP. And I think Adamant gives you XP for like time and combat, or you get a little bit of combat, like XP. Let's talk about how Tom is a horrible, don't, don't make this a dunk on Tom session. I'm completely fine with dunking on Tom, but maybe he's had it a little bit rough and that's why he's a bit timid with continuing this fight. More Juve lore? What lore do you want to know? Uh, good M MD, thank you very much for the prime. Apologies I missed that. Thank you for two months. Yeah, this, this arc that Tom's going through is crazy. Cringe lore primarily? Nah. I've already cringed enough on this stream. Least favorite food? I've talked about it a bunch of times before. But, um, I'm very picky with fruit. But I've talked about that a bunch. It's past his jurisdiction. <laughs> He's actually region locked. He just, he just really, he's stuck there. Favorite root beer? I refuse to answer questions about root beer. What is your favorite Elder Scrolls creature? Uh, Guar. Guar. It's gotta be the Morrowind Guar. Thank you, kind sir. Can we move somewhere else? It's too warm here. Uh, have you seen my health bar? It's clearly chilly. Scribs are up there. I like Guar. I like Scribs. I don't like Nyx Hounds. I like... Gosh, if I go through my favorite Elder Scrolls creatures, most of them will probably be Morrowind. A, for nostalgia, but B, I just love the original sort of designs of the Morrowind creatures. I love the giants in Skyrim. Those are certainly up there. Um, Scribs, Guar, um, Netch. I love, I don't like a lot of the Dagoth type creatures. I like most of the wildlife in Morrowind. Not as big of a fan of like the ash zombies um, and whatnot. That's just like a super random subjective thing. Love the giants in Skyrim. I love the clan fears in Oblivion. I love ice wraiths 
and Skyrim are super fucking cool. They're so cool. They're like a, they're like a snake. <laughs> um, I do really like the flame Atronach in Skyrim as well. Oh, uh, the, the flame and the ice Atronach in Skyrim, both up there for sure. Love my guy Dwayne. Dwayne just looks chill. Ash spawns. I really like Ash spawns. I love the face. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think in Oblivion. Uh, Oblivion has unicorns. <clears throat> oh shit, Spriggans. Yeah. Spriggans are probably the coolest, especially like how they've changed. Because they're on. Um, they're in the Blood Moon DLC for Morrowind Spriggans, and they were like very, very early. But the Skyrim Spriggans look really good. It's 2 a.m. and I want to sleep, but I don't want to. Cliff Racers? Mm. I'm indifferent on Cliff Racers. The chorus, yeah, the chorus are pretty good. I'm trying to think, Oblivion is kind of hard because the way Oblivion's world is kind of broken up by levels, there's some creatures that I think only exist in a playthrough, you know, for a certain amount of time when you're in that right level bracket and then they go away. Like, I, I think unicorns are only in the game very, very briefly. Which is a bummer. I already said Netch. Yeah, no, Netch are definitely up there. Netch and Frost Atronax are both kind of in a similar tier for me, where they just seem cool to hang out with. Hold on, what's going on with his breath? You see how much he's breathing? <sighs> He's tired. Yeah, I don't like the Storm Atronax as much. Ogres? Ogres are okay. They are breathing in sync. This means we're closer than he likes to admit. Oh, I do like Oblivion's goblins. What are we doing? We're trying to get this guard, Tom, all the way back to his brother Jerry in Riften. While Tom was giving chase, he decided to get stuck on this rock. And for some reason, for no reason, other than pure grit determination, we're in an old-fashioned standoff. I don't want to move. Oh, the mint chocolate chip deer. I love that one. Worst NPC in Elder Scrolls? It's hard to find, like, a worst. You can probably take any of the You can probably take any of the NPCs involved with Blood on the Ice, the quest in Windhelm, just because of how broken it is. Tom is likely region locked. There's no way. Yeah, I I do like all of the the old school sprites. NPCs might be a... I feel like you guys are trying to convince me to move. Also, uh... Eggy? Is it Eggy Jr.? Is that how I would say that? Thank you very much for five months. It's very kind of you.
So all that Iowa got walloped. You know what? I'm proud of my boys. Proud of them. Especially the, the boys on defense. The, boy, the boys on defense went out there and shellacked them. All things considered, they kicked ass. I just got here. What are we doing? Well, we're in a standoff with Tom to see who moves first. Tom is the guard right here. I am down there. We're taking this as an opportunity to just hang out. Can you play Skyrim without leaving Tom? Can we turn that into a thumbnail? Boop. If you zoomed this one in enough and you positioned Tom towards the left-hand side of the screen. We're, we're right at the border of the reach. It's really close. Yeah, I mean, the, bo the border is just in front of where I'm at. Also, I'm just kind of enjoying this moment of silence. Hanging out with y'all, saying hi, catching up. Not eating a sandwich or watching my first YouTube video. These are the nice moments on streams. Good call. I should save. It's, it's peaceful. Also, because I'm so obsessed sometimes with making sure that we get the footage to go into a video, sometimes I forget, you know, to actually chat with chat. I'll talk to chat. And then I'll ignore chat during a really intense sequence where I'm like, I have to be as locked in and, uh, I guess, available. Not to you, to the game. <laughs> to the game. No, there's no time limit. We're just timing this. For no reason other than it's easier to make the footage line up. Like if I want to use a, a stream clip. Maybe I'll put it in the video. If I line up the time right here above my head, I can line it up with the other footage, keep all the same audio tracks and everything from the actual stream recording. We were going to do this with only three lives, but then I died three times within the first five minutes. Would it be funny if I just fucked around and I put this entire sequence in the video uncut? <laughs> Unedited and uncut like 35 minutes into it? Epic troll? Now, if it's described as an epic troll, then I'm less likely to do it. One out of ten. Do you mean one out of ten in YouTube studio terms or one out of ten in terms of rating scale? Should non-believers get paid? Um, I think we might just have to cancel that one because it was a bit unfair. Look, if I have to watch this both live and on the VOD channel, then this needs to be in the video. Only if it has exciting music making people th That's a great idea. That's an awesome idea. <laughs> I'll say, like, I could say I thought, you know, we we're just going to sit here and wait. We can send the time forward a bunch. With, like, really intense, like a riser. I've been using risers a lot more. I've been having fun with those. Yeah, it was probably a good idea to cancel it. Sorry to the non-believers. Every time I hear the word epic, it just reminds me of cringe corporate advertising now. Yeah. Well, you don't think it's cringe when... Uh the Wendy's or the Opera GX Twitter accounts speak in gamer language. It was so novel at first, and then they all started doing it. They all started talking like gamers.
You know what I was thinking I would rather do, actually? I was thinking about it, because Twitter's kind of a cesspool. I was thinking it'd be more fun if I just, like, completely nuked all of that and actually put effort into running a decent subreddit. I think that that would be a lot more fun. Way more fun. And, like, I spend way too much time. Like, I get stuck scrolling, and it's just like, why? Why? It's such a waste of time. What is your favorite Creation Club mod? Um, of all the Creation Club content, probably Forgotten Seasons. How many times has my light armor leveled up? Yeah, I don't blame you if you deleted Twitter. Sorry, X. I, it's so dumb. And it's such a petty thing. But whenever I see someone unironically call it X, a little part of me just dies on the inside. It's so fucking stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so, it's so bad. There's just, there's, it's, oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. But I do, I mean, there's a lot of people that I really, really respect, you know, that post updates on there. Um, there's a lot of great artists, a lot of super, you know, really super talented people. But in an effort to, like, see those people, I just see, like, oh, kinds of just, like, nonsense. Like, man, some of the, some of the stuff people were posting after the GTA trailer was, like, I was like, what the fuck? It's like, what is this place? Like, it, it was some, like, really nasty stuff. Like, damn. That's, uh, you know, interesting hill to die on. Hey, Rusty, watch your language. Come on now. Does that not get, like, blocked right away? Anyway, um, I think I might let Tom win. That's a weird, that's a weird thing though. Like why would you get rid of the little blue bird? It's so iconic. Hello, it's Miko. Hello, hello Cole. Do you think the Fallout TV show will be good? Um, I mean, I think so far it, it, you know, looks like Fallout. Fallout fans are going to eat each other alive over which actual art style they prefer. Um, they're also going to nuke each other over, like, lore implications and canon and that kind of stuff. But, I mean, I think at worst, it'll be fun. If I see one character get plasma gooed, if I see a plasma critical in live action, uh, then, you know, it was all worth it. But, I mean, I think it's being made by people who actually like Fallout, who have, like, you know, engaged with this series before, where it feels like the Halo show and the Witcher show, which I think are the two main ones that people kind of look at and cringe, those are, like, hostile towards the source material in a way where it's, like... Now, I've talked about this before on stream. Uh, I am obsessed with those two shows, not really because I love them, but because I just can't look away. I, I, I cannot look away. Um, but I, th I think the Fallout show, at worst, will be a fun, you know, little adventure in the uh, in the Fallout universe. You know. Looking handsome today. I feel like I look like shit today. I appreciate it. Do I think they're going to make a one-to-one -one replica of Liberty Prime? I think, you know, I think it'll have some moments of kind of cringy CGI. I think it'll have some moments of, like, brilliance. I think it'll have some moments of, oh, why'd they do that? I think it'll have one or two moments 
that um, the fan base uh, genuinely contemplates killing each other over. And for the most part, I think people will enjoy it. I don't think it's not going to be anything like earth shattering. I certainly wouldn't go into this, go into watching. I think you're going to ruin the experience of watching the show if you go in with like hardcore expectations of how certain aspects of the canon will be like treated. Like if you go into the show expecting the entire thing to be a continuation of the New Vegas storyline, that's probably not going to happen. And it's also going to function as an introduction to Fallout for a lot, like more people are going to watch this show that have never played Fallout than have played Fallout. Now, there's probably going to be a shitload of people that have played Fallout that are going to watch the show. It's kind of like when Fallout 3 came out. A lot of people bemoan the hour-long introduction of Fallout 3, but you have to remember that in 2008, especially way back in 2008, nobody, comparably to Fallout 1 and 2, Nobody knew really what Fallout was other than, you know, the box art, seeing it at their game store and going, hmm, what's that? So there had to be some level of introduction, you know, to the world to let people understand, okay, this is what a vault is. This is what vault tech is. Um, Here's what happened to pre-war, right? That kind of stuff. But, you know, of course, if you've played Fallout 3 multiple times and you go back for a replay, you sit there and you're like, oh, my gosh, can we get to the end of this intro? It's been so long. I don't think I'm going to win this standoff. I don't care about anything else other than the hot looking ghoul. It's Walton Goggins. You're not going to pay for Walton Goggins and make him look terrible. I think he'll be a fan favorite. I would assume. I was thinking about this earlier. Um, The Game Awards announced that they were going to have the three main leads, which are Ella Purnell, uh, Aaron Moten, I think is his name, and Walton Goggins. They were going to have them present something at the Game Awards. This is going to sound really mean. I don't mean this in a mean way because everyone in the show is hot and is like, they're very attractive people, right? But when when I was like looking at their portraits and whatnot, I was like, you know, if they were looking for people that kind of look like live action Bethesda NPCs. I mean this, I don't mean this in a bad way, okay? But if, you know, if that's what I think, maybe it was just like the portrait and the way things kind of looked, but I was like, I was like, wait, like, again, I, I don't, I don't mean this in a bad way. They're all smoking. They're all actors. They're all in Hollywood. You know, they are in a big production. But they do actually kind of pass the eye test of like, oh, yeah. You kind of look like a Bethesda NPC. (laughs) Oh, I was going to maybe ES6 gets announced. I doubt it. I was going to make a funny tweet or or a stupid tweet that I thought was funny. I was going to be like, uh, modest expectations for the game awards. Um, Yeah, I think we'll see a Fallout 5 gameplay reveal. (laughs) Like, I think we'll see uh, Fallout Shelter 2. Okay, now I'm getting hungry. We've been here for like 20 minutes now. Wait, Ella Purnell was Jinx in Arcane? Okay, yeah, she rocks. But that's kind of who I was thinking of in terms of looking like a Bethesda NPC. I I get it. She's gorgeous. Don't twist what I'm saying. Very talented. Arcane was a banger.
If the Fallout Show has Final Pam, what's Final Pam? Do you think the ghoul's actually going to be Hancock or have his name? The... I want to say that Walton Goggins' character is just named the ghoul. Could be. Oh, there de there's definitely going to be an ESO expansion. What is going on? We are waiting out this standoff, but I think I'm going to lose. Let's get back to it. Tom, congratulations. You have won the standoff. I can't believe I'm letting him win it, but it's time to get moving again. That was fun enough. Been debating on playing ESO. Is it worth checking out? If you love the world of Elder Scrolls, you want to learn. ESO has Bibles upon Bibles worth of lore. But if you don't like the gameplay, your mileage will vary. I think ESO has a great cosmetic grind. One of my favorite uh, cosmetic grinds, probably my favorite cosmetic grind in any MMO. I love the regions. I love the variety. I love the art, the amount of custom art and world building. And, and there's so much in ESO that I love. Love it to death. I am totally stealing this take from Josh Drive Hayes. I love absolutely everything about ESO except playing it. That's just kind of it for me. What's the level of microtransaction in ESO? Pretty brutal, to be honest. But it's certainly, it's very avoidable. But yeah, the level of microtransaction is... Ugh, eesh. Man, that, that crown crate store is pretty brutal. All right, let's do this. Congratulations, Tom. You have won the standoff. Okay. You're allowed to move. This isn't good, though. I'm, I have much lower magic. Oh. <gasps> oh, he's stuck stuck. I need him to try and attack me. Tom? Ah! Fucking asshole, man! What the fuck, Tom? I thought we were fucking cool, and you just slam me with your shield? <laughs> Ow! Jesus! I thought we were chill after all that. Dang! <laughs> Why did he have to do that? You're right, maybe I can stagger him. Or maybe this is where our friendship dissolves into chaos and flying fists. Come on, Tom, I know you can move. Why is that animation? Looks like a source game. Tom, enough with this nonsense. Okay, I need a shield. All I have is a bow. This should work, though. <laughs> Enough. And I, n go forward. Oh, God, I don't have the range to do it. <laughs> Ow, I think that worked. Dude, there's no way. Come on. You're like... There you go. Did that work? Tom, you're really killing my vibe right now. It... it...
Hey, my eek's still down there. <sighs> Paralyze him? I don't have a paralyzed spell. What about courage? Maybe he's a little scared. No, that only works on friendly NPCs. Maybe I can give him a kiss. Take your helmet off. Forget about your... Wolf. There's a wolf over there. There has to be a way I can dislodge him without getting him killed. If I smack him in the head enough times, he's gonna eventually die. Maybe if I go down from the top rope, push him out. He's actually just not moving. Just inch him forward all the way to Riften. Oh no, no! Everyone else has already done dragging a body across the map in these games. Mickey did it, Simon did it. Watch this shot. Money. No fucking way that missed. Now he's running towards me so it doesn't count. Let's just pretend that was my first try. No, but really, does anybody know? He's not swinging his sword. Maybe if I quick save, quick load. Up, ah, up, ah, it worked, it worked. Quick save, quick load. Why did I not try? That should be my first try every single time. It always works. Oh, we're so back. All right, Tom, let's go to Riften. I'm gonna need healing. Now, we've heard that one a bajillion times. Let's go, Tom. Mike, you stayed out of it the whole time. I really could have used your help back on the hill. Ooh, I, he might actually you, kill me in one sir. hit. Alex is blood. Thank you for the prime. He's trying to trick me. Yeah, I know the strategy by now. Here comes the power attack. Now we have to be really careful, especially as we approach these Thank bandit you, locations sir. and white run. Oof. The safest approach is probably to try and. The mountain pass. Fucking A, Tom. Come on. There's gotta be a way over the mountain. Mountain to Riverwood. Riverwood takes us to the safer side of Whiterun. That way we can avoid all the guards. Hunting brew meter is full of them. God damn you. Wolves? Just stand still. 
Tom didn't take any damage. That's good news. There's been a lot of things I wasn't expecting today that surprised me. sneak through what went through my pea-sized brain Wait. Tom, Tom, <laughs> do you know me Tom who is that okay really really they decide to show up now after the loading screen Look at a stupid horse. Tom, Tom, Tom. I wasn't calling you a horse. Don't worry. This gives Witcher 3 vibes? You'll never fucking guess. Actually, some of you might. It's Call of Duty. It's literally just the lobby tunes. Don't the rules say you have to restart if you die? Let's just ignore the rules. It's more fun that way, right? It's a lot more fun. I am taking it seriously now. From this point forward, I am taking it seriously. <clears throat> no more, no more joking around. No more laughing. No more swear words. Uh, this is going to be 100% clean. I will be only playing at the highest ability I can. No more stare downs. I am locked in. I'm not afraid of you, Tom. See, he tries to suck me back in like this, and then he'll he'll run up. He's jockeying. What is this backwards momentum? Enough. I gotta be careful, though. Die, damn you. The power attack does allow him to catch up if I'm, if I'm not sprinting. NPC in the road, let's avoid him. There's a camp full of, yeah, powerful NPCs down there. Huge battle. Oh, I hope they don't see me. Can I get up the mountain this way? I don't know if I can. Tom wants to get involved in the fight. We have to avoid it. Come on, don't worry about the big battle. I know it's sexy and there's a lot of NPCs and it makes you go, hmm, I didn't realize they could do that in Elder Scrolls games. I know, trust me. I'm still heartbroken of the battle at Bruma. Don't know what that NPC wants. What do you want? Can't you just let two dudes settle their differences? We're not even at White Run yet. It's been an hour and a half. Power up 
power attack incoming. I can sense it. Whenever I quick save in this version of the game, it does tend to crash not very long after. Have no clue why. There it is. That's his best move. He's got me a few times with that. <clears throat> do Shut up. Why don't you do something? Someone, do all of the work. Thank you, Not me. There's a there's certainly a walkable path up the mountain to Bleak Falls. There's a path right here that we can take. It's this path to our right. Oh, come on, that's crazy. You come out of the menu and all of a sudden it's like you can't move for half a second. How does he get that off? Okay, I think the path is just past this base or this camp. We've covered a lot of ground here, though, without either of us. Well, I've taken some damage, but without Tom taking damage, I can heal. Tom can't. Not impressed. Really? I mean, I'm impressed with you, Tom. I would never say that about you. Have I been nice to Tom this whole time? Have I been inviting to Tom? Other guards should not aggro to you. So far, any other guards we've seen have. But regardless, let's play it safe. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. We're gonna have a problem, though. It's really cold up here. I'm gonna have to kill a bandit or two. So I need my magic to come back ASAP. Tom's a little timid about coming up this path. That could be good. Ice Wolf. Jesus Christ, Tom. Why would you attack me first? I don't know about an Ice Wolf, though. An Ice Wolf is... That's sketchy. We can do this together, but I need your help. Not me, not me. Where's the wolf? Okay, the wolf took an awkward path. Really, he's gonna make me do this on my own. Ow. Fuck yeah, Tom, that's what I'm talking about. That's my teammate. Let's go. It's gonna take me an hour to get my magic back, but I don't really care. We're moving. Stop, please don't crash. Why would you crash now? It's the worst possible timing. <laughs> oh, the crashes are getting crazy today. It's because I keep quick saving. The more I quick save, it always crashes. The mountain path feels unnecessary? Maybe. Per chance. Tom? Oh, Tom's down here. All right, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna ditch the mountain path. 
It's not a winning path. Can I get him to cross the river? Maybe I can. Maybe there's something in my mods that allows AI to cross water more confidently. Is this the new longest Juve stream? I believe it is. How would you guys prefer I uploaded this to the second channel? Just one giant, massive, overly long VOD? Or should I upload each one of these quests separately? Ah, yep. Yeah. Uh, Wait. I know, I know you. Dick. Well, I was shopping for a new car. Which one's me? A cool convertible or an SUV? Too bad I didn't know my credit was whack Cause now I'm driving off the lot in a used subcompact F-R-E-E, -E, that spells free Credit Reaper.com, baby Saw their ads on my TV Thought about going but was too lazy Now instead of looking fly and rolling fat My legs are sticking to the vinyl and my posse's getting laughed at F-R-E-E, -E, that spells free Credit Reaper.com, baby Offer applies with enrollment and triple advantage Offer applies with enrollment and triple advantage Banger! Y'all remember that commercial? Uh, what was the other one? Free credit report. They Thank say a man should sure. always work for Hello. the job he wants. That's why I'm dressed up like a pirate in this restaurant. Should have gone to free credit report.com. Tell me y'all remember that. How many folks here are even old enough to remember? Maybe quite a few. ZC Morg, how are you? How you doing? Thank you for five months. Appreciate you so much. Diamonds, thank you for five months. Two fivers. Going to cry now, huh? Uh, oh, hey, I don't think the White Run guards are gonna attack you. Yeah? All of you sound really goofy right now. Now I'm just right back to where we started dodging arrows. Tom's enlisted the help of his friend Thank Newt. Kind, sir. Tom and Newt are trying to double team me right now. Sweet. Nice. I've always wanted to get fucked by two different region guards in Skyrim. At the same time. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't slice me. Oh, Newt! I know you. Well, I was shopping for a new car. Which one's me? A cool convertible or an SUV? Too bad I didn't know my credit was whack. Cause now I'm driving, driving up the lot in a U subcompact. F R E E. That spells free. Credit report.com, baby. Saw their ads on my TV. Thought about going, but was too late. Now, instead of looking fly, rolling fat. Mm. Offer and rolls with enrollment and triple advantage. Offer, 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 what is it? Offer, offer. No, it's not offer in rolls. What is the name of the second? I don't know. I just went with Newt. Newt sounded like a fun name. Tom, what are you doing? This is not the friendship that I had deemed. You're not the good friend that you once seemed. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa, good to see you. How are you? Why the fuck is Tom? Swing your sword, dude. Okay, not at me. Obo, thank you for sending your stream over. How are you? Good to see you, my friend. I'm going to buy the rights to that song and copyright claim all your videos. Well, yeah, it's pretty much how it goes. That'd be kind of a dick move, man. Come on. We could have a nice working relationship. Okay, let's not get the first guard. Okay, this is such a dumb idea. Why did I come this route? Tom, get away from me. I, I saw the power attack coming. I can sense you. I can smell your moves, Tom.
I know what Tom is planning. But if we want to avoid the guards, our best route is likely this way. Ugh, is it? Wait, maybe it is. Maybe I'm able to come this way. I just quick save, so my game is for sure crashing soon. If I cut right through the farm here, perhaps we can go to the backside of Haunting Brew and not attract the other guards. If you came over from Oboe's stream and you're wondering exactly what we're trying to do right now, I am trying to get the Markarth guard here, Tom, all the way to meet his brother, Jerry, at Riften. That's what we're doing. If you're wondering why it's taken this long, well, um, we had a 25 minute stare down where neither of us wanted to move position. I heard a second voice. Well, that's a lot of red dots. Too many red dots. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, it's the whole band of Imperials. We need to move. Come on, Tom. Let's get you out of here. We need to get you to safety. My job right now is to get you to safety. Oblivion reference? Huh? Anyone? Tom, get over the fucking rock, my dude. They're closing in. It's gonna take me an hour to get all that magic back. Okay, he doesn't want to go... Okay, he can't get over a little rock. Now they're shooting arrows. That's bad. Right around this way. Keep coming. If that Imperial somehow just nails me, I gotta give it to him. If you're tired, then give up. Simple farmer. Uh, let's take Helgen. Let's take Helgen. That's got to be the best route for us. Limited guards. Whoa! This whole experience has been frankly awesome. I'm loving it. What graphical mod are we using? Uh, we are using, I Thank think, you, Skyland All-in-One? I think we're using Skyland All-in-One. Won't Riften Guard kill Markarth Guard due to Civil War? Is that a thing? I mean, we're gonna find out. Well, first we have to actually get him there alive. Don't touch the holy cow, please. Leave him alone. Nathan Arthurs, I appreciate you. Thank you for the tier one. Thank you for eight months. If I die here, I will be upset with you. Okay, I was not trying to quick save. I think my game is going to crash again right as we pass Riften. Riverwood. They both start with an R. Wolf encounter right up here, unless I've already seen it. Wolf encounter, there it is. Right around this corner. Got him. Huge. Um, are the people of Riverwood gonna try and kill me? Or will they be cool? Let's try and find, let's, uh, <laughs> we'll see. People of Riverwood. I bring an honored guest. Remember, this is performance art. I am not actually wanted. This is all a part of an act. It's immersive art. It's, um, it's kind of like Banksy, but, um, less ab abstract. Also, I'm taking direct attribution. I don't really think Banksy ever takes credit. It just kind of happens. I want to start doing that. Gaslighting people that I know. If we just see, like, random graffiti... To be like, hey, that's a, that's actually a Banksy. Not a lot of people know. 
Is that gaslighting or is that just lying? I feel like we've taken the word lying and just turned it into gaslighting. Uh, I believe we want to take this road out of Riverwood. Take this road south out of Riverwood. Follow it to Helgen. Helgen all the way east. I'm bored. Why? Frodnar again. This is performance art. Okay, try not to hit the dog. Actually, can I get him to can I get him to kill the dog? What happens if he kills the dog? Or if he assaults this child on accident? Watch out, Frodnar! Oh, <laughs> he did he just hit him! Run, dog! <gasps> You're mad at me? Wait, why are you mad at me? He's the one who attacked your son! Don't play this game, Alvor. Unreal. Really? This is what I got to deal with? True Nords never back down. Alvor, if you want to come along with, you're more than welcome to. You don't scare me. Unless he has a bow and arrow. But really, this guard, he just straight up hit your child with a sword. If you ever feel useless, just remember this road exists in Skyrim. No one ever takes it. Pray tell, chat, when was the last time you took this road in Skyrim? Be honest. Don't lie. If you have taken it recently, respect. I just doubt it. Time to finish this. It is one of those roads that when you're playing Skyrim, you decide, you know what? This is going to be a different playthrough. I'm going to be I'm going to be quirky and unique on this playthrough. Is that an ice wolf? No, it's a fox. Thank you, kind sir. El Nombre, I appreciate you. Thank you for three months. Helgen has a lot of bandits. This isn't good. Uh, counterpoint, the happy music is playing. Wait, wait for it when the song does it. So good. I don't know what kind of drums these are, but I fucking love them. Are these bongos? I love bongos. Your mom lets me play hers all the time. Half stolen joke from The Simpsons. Are these bongos? RuneScape music? Is that supposed to be an insult? Why am I not taking the blue mountain flowers? I am weary. No, don't tell me that this game is going to start, like, making the whole screen blurry. Yeah, okay. It, is it going to be blurry the whole time? If it is, I'm straight up cheating. Oh, it returns back to what it was. Maybe it gets rid of the blurring, though. Oh, what the hell is that? Whew. Um. 
Anybody know what I can do to cheat this? What's a console command I could do? To cheat my sleep? I don't think I can actually sleep though. Not with him following me the whole time. If I was able to sleep, then I would pass time, and by passing time, he would stop following me. Why does survival need to be on? It's a part of the charm. I guess you're right. Survival doesn't really change the damage scaling at all. All right, survival. Uh, Tom's in big trouble. Kill me. I'd rather be dead than continue without Tom. Need something? First time in a stream, Antiquophilia. Good to see you. How are you? Shh, Nikes, man. Don't do that. I'm really getting tired of explaining to Tom why his behavior hurts me. All right, I don't really know how to get him through Helgen, but I have an idea. Helgen's a big block. Where's Tom? We just have to make sure that Tom is aggroed. Oh, pff, there's a whole side road. Tom, we don't even have to go through the town. Come on. All right. <gasps> <clears throat> wow, this is much easier not on survival mode. I really only care about the fact that I can see. We're on the right road. We follow this one the whole time, we should be good. Oh, Zanul, I just saw your message. I didn't know that that route existed. One of these times, I'm gonna put my arms down, and instead of attacking me, Tom's just gonna give me a hug. We're gonna hug it out. We're each gonna cry. We're gonna realize that the Jerry were the friends we met along the way. What is that? Did you just put on? He put on a cloak. That's so cute. Fuck off. Hold on. Storm cloak camp up ahead. So is Markarth Empire or is it? Is it storm cloaks? Markarth is Empire. We're heading deep into Stormcloak territory, Tom. Please be careful. I can't lose you. I'd rather lose myself before you, Tom. Oh, sweet. I can level up now. Someone just shot an arrow at us. Okay, that feels like cheating. <laughs> that does feel like cheating. No. They are shooting at Tom. Run, Tom. Tom, go. Don't attack me, Tom. Just keep moving. Ugh, okay, that's all right. You know what? Get your licks in on me. Take it out on me. No, Tom. No, don't do it. This way. Come on. We have to get around the rocks. Don't kill me. Okay. Tom, please, Tom, Tom, I, I literally beg of you. Stop fucking killing me. That would have been so cool. <clears throat> I hate you. I hate you. But I love you, damn it.
Is that a TOS violation when it's a burnt corpse? Because it's technically naked. not cheating don't even think of considering this cheating you're cheating dang it I'm actually bummed out about that one that would have been cool It's not naked, it's a crispy crust. It's a human, not pizza. And that's not how these things work. No, he's not naked, he's just well done. No, no. Where is your humanity, chat? Shut up, that's not a good tune. We need a better tune when the when the storm cloaks roll out. I know. Well, I was shopping for a new car. Which one's me? A cool convertible or an SUV? Too bad I didn't know my credit was whack. Cause now I'm driving off the lot in a used subcompact F R E E. That spells free. Creditreport.com, baby. Saw their ads on my TV. Thought about going, but was too lazy. Now I'm looking fly and rolling fat. My legs are sticking to the vinyl and my posse's getting laughed at. F R E E. That spells free. Where the fuck are you going, Tom? You're not getting your free credit report if you don't follow me. Dude. Huh. He's really starting to get on my nerves, man. Congratulations, everybody who has been here, at least in some part throughout this stream. Thank you very much. I appreciate you all so much. This is the longest stream I think that we have ever done. Why don't you focus on the people that want to take away your rights? Instead, he launches me into the nearest Redwood at 100 miles an hour. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting real. Tommy. I'll try and make this quick. It's been anything but quick. It's been laborious, painful, quite fun, if I'm being honest with you. But seriously, it's it's time to it's time to wrap things up. I like how turning off survival mode made the challenge harder. I just die more. Put you down. Each death would restart. Look, chat, I make a lot of rolls. I also cheat a lot. It's about the adventure, not the destination or the skill or how we got there or the destination. It's about getting there. It doesn't matter how. It just matters that we do. Right, it was about the Tom that we made along the Jerry. The Tom we made was the Jerry along the way. It's gonna be so underwhelming too. <clears throat> We're just gonna get there. Although, hold on. These guards being hostile does lend credence to the theory that Jerry will just attack Tom when we get there. Stay as far away as fucking possible, Tom. Don't make a sound. Silent. Not quiet. Silent. I don't know where Tom went. Oh god, he's going the wrong way. He's going all the way down the road. You're annoying me. Dude. Okay. 
Gotta play it really smart here. We're gonna get this to work though. Let's go, Tom. I don't know what your hang up is. It's like as soon as he sees cobblestone, he just gets all confused. Nice shot. Direct hit. Stormcloak down. Move, Tom. I gotta keep them on the straight and narrow. Right up this road. Don't worry about their arrows. Just ignore them. Ooh, God, that was close. Don't hit me. Well, you can hit me once. Any more than that, though, I'll get a little annoyed. Don't. Don't engage. God damn it, Tom. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, hit me. I don't care if my shins are shredded. Turn my limbs into shredded cheese. As long as you're alive, that's all I care about. Okay, fucking relax, though. He's coming. He's coming. We got him out of there. Give ourselves a checkpoint here. This area gets a little scary, though. I don't think that there's too many big bads, but... You really can never be too sure. Who's that? Ah, oh, it's an afflicted refugee. Tom, I'll eat the vomit. That takes care of that. All right, that's good. I just wanted to do that. You know, I was just playing it safe there. I wasn't sure if that was going to be like a random bandit or something. So I figured let's just attack him. Shoot first, ask questions later. Now the vomit does not play. The barf is really powerful. I feel like I get killed by barf at least once every every playthrough. I got issues with the afflicted refugees. They don't like me. I don't really like them much either. They're very cruel. No. You're fucking owned. Somebody help. Was expecting that for you. Someone do something. I pretty much know what to accept, expect every time. We're good. I can see into the future, Tom. Like I know. You're going to attack me. Right now. See? I, that, that wasn't even cool. I didn't even call that. I just forced him into doing it. I'll kill you. I really enjoyed Perryite's dungeon when we did it. I thought it was fun. It was interesting having to account for enemies that actually shout, but they shout in a very different way than like traditional shouting enemies because you can block their vomit using the different pillars and whatnot that were through there. God, we make such a good team. That was sick. Oh my God. Tom, this is such a change in behavior for you. You're having a conversation with me? We can talk? Just take, take me to jail. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, Tom, this has been a fun journey. But I don't think you need to meet your brother anymore. Let's go. Does it count as magic or physical? It's poison, so I would assume that it's magic. 
Although poison doesn't play as big of a role in the combat sandbox as frost, lightning, fire. That can be arranged. He's got to be so disappointed. Time to finish this. It's like, finally, I caught up. Where, where'd your thing go? Hey, don't take off your cloak. You look so nice in it. He looked cozy in his cloak. Sorry, Tom, I got to be able to see a little bit better. Spiders. Watch out. Oh, that thing's got a ton of health. Tom, Tom, I can't survive that. Oh, I just lost a shitload of progress because I didn't save. Mm. Fuck. That actually sucks ass. That's like the first time I've died where I'm like, mm. <laughs> I'm not happy. Budge. Shoot. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn, that's just... E, you talking about screwing the pooch. <laughs> How did that phrase originate? Screwing the pooch. Somebody help. I... If I had to guess, probably came out of like small town America. Really, I mean like really small town 300 400 people max So if something wild happens everybody knows right like you don't need social media to know what Newt down the street does in his free time, you know everyone's hobbies, you know everyone's spouse, you know who's talking to who You know everything about everyone Die, damn you. Everyone is basically connected nuts to butts. They're that close and I would assume out of this small town of 300 to 400 people that uh, somebody was disgustingly desperate and decided to have sex with a dog. Because in that small town, it would have absolutely tanked their reputation and everybody would have known Thus, the phrase of doing something so incredibly stupid to ruin whatever it is you have. Is this, is this a joke? Is this a joke? I am... Tom's empire. Oh my god, does it always have to just go in horizontally through the side of my cranium? Not so tough. I'm so going to change it in post and say that our goal was three hours. First stream after two years of VOD lurking. Really? HMS, good to see you. Are you speaking from experience? Oh, anyway, yeah, back to screwing the pooch. Wouldn't you think, though, that the origin story... Oh, God, the whole encounter is still here. It's going to be here every time. It's like a dance. I know the right moves. Literally can't get hit. Then we whip. How? All that damage in one.
I'm thinking. I'm getting out of this. Spider. Why would you attack me? Don't attack Tom. Don't attack Tom. Fuck. Get up, Tom. Get up, Tom. Get up, Tom. Fuck off. Let's go, Tom. You and me, baby. Come on. We got a chance. We have a chance. We're alive. We're alive. It's not over. What's his health? Whew, he's low. That's okay. He can go down to a knee, but he won't be executed. Anything that attacks him is not going to kill him all the way through. We're about there. God, we're so close. Nurbit, if you're out there, I dare you to try this challenge. Uh. Wasn't expecting a bear. Tom, 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 don't do it. Oh, Tom, you're an idiot. Keep him stunned. Keep him stunned. Oh, Tom. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. We were so close. Dude! I know you. I've never felt so connected to an NPC before. Honestly, it feels like we could be friends. I'm very iffy on AI and whatnot, but Tom, for you? Oh man. I'm not gonna lie, folks. <laughs> I think that AI stuff is really more, 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 more. Okay, yeah, more. Yeah, let's just do more of this bullshit. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really iffy when it comes to, you know, AI that actually recreates the voices of the people in the games, but it would be so fucking fun to just talk to Tom right now. I just want to talk to Tom. I just want to have, I just want to say, hey, Tom. Hey, um, what are your thoughts on just like this whole adventure? Why are you still trying to kill me? Suck my fucking balls. Just take the whole thing. Just. Sick of this guy. Sorry, that was aggressive. I'm sorry, chat. It was very aggressive. That's a fox. Nothing to be worried about. We're still getting shot at with arrows. They're only interested in killing me because they're Empire. I'm off the road. Okay, this might have gotten us around the bear. There's a wolf fighting. Uh, that looks like the college student who just sings songs on the road. He's busking. I saw a short yesterday of um, somebody was playing Skyrim VR and they were playing that mod where like it actually uses an AI to have them respond to you. And he was in the bar in Riften and he was trying to hit on Sapphire. It was really funny. It was very funny because he was also speaking in like that fuckboy voice of like, dude, Sapphire, what's going on, girl? <laughs> like he was just getting rejected the whole time. But I had to make sure to write on there and leave a comment and just be like, dude, 
Why are you flirting on Sa uh, with Sapphire? Mercurio is in the corner and costs like 500 bucks. He'll throw it back basically for free. Leave me alone. I don't have time for this foolishness. What are we doing here? Come on, Tom. Ladies and gentlemen, after a long journey, a long stare down. Tom, 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 you're going to get yourself killed. I got you. Tom, are you okay? Are you okay, Tom? It's okay. I'm here, buddy. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. You okay? Okay. God damn it, Tom. I thought we had a moment. I thought I thought for a second we had a moment there, but no, apparently not. Still want to kill me. Fine. Let's see how it is. As I was saying, ladies and gentlemen, it is now our final journey. Now that's too much. Xarxes? Like the Mysterium Xarxes? Fuck, there's another spider up the road. We fought long and hard. Even Tom has. Don't bully Tom. Don't make fun of Tom. Tom has been just as much a participant in this as I have. Hey, over here. Nice throw. Just champion level accuracy. Nice hit, Tom. Somehow that worked. Oh, we got him again. No, 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 no. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Oh, man, I let myself die and get turned into a tornado. No. We're back in. We're back in. Perfect time to save. Let's go. Ooh, hey, what's up, man? Fuck. God, that hurts. We can work together if you're willing to. Nice try. Just wait until my friend Tom gets you in the back. Careful, Tom. Nice, nice, good combo. I don't care that you hit me. Red Mountain Flower. Let's go, Tom! You and me! To the end! Brothers in arms! Maybe one day, Tom, we'll reflect back on this adventure and we'll laugh about it. Or I'll laugh about it and then you'll try to take a sword and stick it down my throat. But that's okay. Even if you can feign friendship with me for one moment, it'll be worth it. Okay, 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 I'm done talking. I'm done, I'm done, all right? It was a brief idea of friendship. Yeah. Fuck, fuck! Stay off of Tom. You mangy mutts. It's okay, you're not going down. Not unless I deem it necessary. I'm gonna be so fucking upset if Jerry tries to kill him. You know, if Jerry tries to kill you, I'm killing your brother, right? Nice try. Another spider. 
Watch out. Tom, not now. I'm dead. Weakness to poison is about the worst effect I could have gotten. Fuck. Fuck. <clears throat> I hate this. I mean, I love this. I love this. Why don't you hotkey your spells? Muscle memory. I always just forget to. Also, pausing gives me a second to think. Pausing is invaluable. Thinking. It's very important. I will. Yeah, I will when your brother Jerry tries to kill you and I have to slay him in battle. No more. I'm taking it seriously. Okay? I don't... I just don't get where you go. You got caught on a tree. He's stuck again. Come on. Man, come on. That's the Jerry I... Tom. Forgive me. Thank you, kind sir. Where's he going? Dude, like, let's go, man. You're just driving me nutty. Call me a candy bar, cuz I am nuts right now. Who was that? Nibble Nobby. Nibble Nobby's nut. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for tier one. Tom? You're good, Tom. I got your back. Take cover. No, there's more people shooting. Ow! Where did you get a bow and arrow? Oh, <laughs> where did you find Thank a bow? You can, sir. So what exactly are we hoping to accomplish here? We're, we're trying to take Tom, the Mark Hearth guard, all the way to Riften to meet his brother, Jerry. I'm kind of glad I died that time, though. I'm actually really glad I died that time because I cannot have him using arrows. Oh, no, Zach, <laughs> Zach, you're good. I appreciate it. Thank you for nine months. No, <laughs> you're good. <laughs> Uh, this is a problem. This is a problem. I've also been in my office with the door closed for so long. It is. It's getting hot in here. Where are you getting arrows from, you giant? <sighs> it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny, but weird. I, 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 no, no, we'll just save that one. If I think about it for too long, then it's not funny. <laughs> I'm going to keep that one up here. I was going to call him uh, a really stupid insult. Um, but fuck that. No, I'm not losing. Can't miss that. Cannot miss those. Come on, shoot me.
We gotta waste time. We gotta kill time. Tom's over there. He's very timid. Don't you dare shoot Tom. Oh, fuck. Shoot at me. Shoot at me. Look at me. There you go. Target down. Don't even think about it, buddy. Yeah. Nice try, Tommy boy. You're not. No. He's looking for something. He's looking for it. Where are the arrows? I know you're searching. There's another archer. Oh, God. There's three more of them. I don't know why he doesn't want to move. He's got the same level of timidity that he did earlier. Oh, shoot. Okay, fine. You stay there. I'll go kick some ass. Ow. Oh, we can't afford misses. Don't you dare. Don't shoot him. Shoot at me. Not Tom. Don't you dare get up. Stay right there, buddy. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, so as soon as the big bads go away... gonna try and take their arrows this is not good there's too many arrows flying around please God. you suck I hate the storm cloaks I hate them yeah I hate you I'm team Empire I'm I'm just like that's it I uh, fuck you you all suck oh great I just killed Tom <laughs> I killed him out of the loading screen I'm sorry buddy that was my bad Is it? It's weird. As soon as he dies, the Stormcloaks just cease to be hostile. Come on, let's go. Just follow me. Don't worry about them. Stay on me. Come on, think about everything we've been through. Really? You're going to ditch me to go kill them? I'm a way more valuable kill. We need to grab all the red, blue, purple mountain flowers we can find. Fuck off. It's all good. Keep, you got to keep it moving. Come on, they're trailing us. They're literally behind us. Let's go. I'd rather die. I'm not going to prison. Fight me. Kill me. You want to kill me. God, he won't move. Literally until they're dead. This thing, this is what made the whole thing so much harder. Stop shooting at him. Stop! Mr. President, get down! Another one dead. Let's get a checkpoint here, because there's only one left. No. Not like that. 
Come on, time to go. You and me. Mm. You are... Ugh, you drive me nuts, man. Put the arrows away. Tom, put the arrows away. That was amazing. Tom, that was like really, really cool. That was the tightest, coolest fucking shit we've ever done. Put the arrows away, please. All right, fine. We're back to square one. Take cover back here. Turtle up. We can get rid of his arrows. I can deal with arrows right now. go we got him I have to save while he's in melee mode nice nice there you go nice this is how we used to do it stop going backwards I know you want to go back to Markarth but it's not happening I'm getting you to your brother Jerry we're gonna kick his ass together stop with the fucking arrows you piece of shit Hit the sign. Nice, he hit it. I mean, we're just not even close. There's still so much more to go. He teleported there. I don't like when we're like this. I don't like when he's got to go with the arrows. It's just painful. Highwaymen. Fucking miserable, man. Sorry, bud. I'm real sorry, but I want to get this over with. I'm really, really sorry, Tom. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I made the right choice for yours and my mental health. Something about his AI is changing. It's, it's breaking a little bit. Like, he does not want to follow me at all now. Can you see that? He's kind of slowing up. He's kind of freezing up constantly. He's backing up way more often and really far away. Like, he just doesn't want to move at all. I'm going to completely turn off my game. I'm going to restart it. it. It's probably the low health, yeah.
he remembers all the time he died. He's having flashbacks of every death. He's like uh, Westworld. It's got to be something with the nav mesh. But he's also doing way more power attacks. It's kind of funny. I'm getting really good at dodging his power attacks, though, from this camera angle. See, like, what is that? What is this? Fucking attack me! Also, his, his running animation, it's getting floaty, like he's hitting invisible. And then he just stops right there. What if we go this way? What if we go this way? Will that make you happy? You're a disgrace to your own kind. Who? Are you talking? Tom, you're going to want to run away from him more than me. Come on. But he'll get like right up to this blood stain. I don't know who this guy is either. He doesn't even want to attack. Mercy. That's the last of them. I can't even hit him. What's the matter with you? By Ismir, you won't leave here alive. Kill! What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, be careful. My game is erupting. It's falling apart. I have to run to the bathroom. I'm not giving up. I'm not fucking quitting. I'm not leaving. I'm not fucking leaving. But I'm not kidding, y'all. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm <am> sweating. <laughs> this is not good. This is bad. I'll be back. Holy shit. It's fucking 90 degrees in here. Okay, hold on. We're going to chill for like a second. We're going to chill for like a second. I'm going to go get a water. I'm going to leave this door open here for a little bit. Okay. It's really hot in this room. Because I don't normally stream for nine hours. Shouting. It's really hot in here. No, I'll be okay. It's not actually 90 degrees. But just need to cool it down a little bit. I have an eight and a half hour recording. This is the biggest recording I have ever had in one go. I don't care. You know what? I don't give a shit. Because we're going to beat this challenge. 
We're going to get Jerry and Tom to meet. And they're going to see each other and be like, wait a minute, you're not my brother. You're my lover. Now, I don't know if Isaac will cut through all nine hours. I wouldn't do that to him. Wait, what? Remember two and a half hours ago when you said this would be the easy one? Remember literally now when I told you to fuck off? Remember that? That was a good memory. That was a good memory. I look back on it fondly. <laughs> I look... All right. I'll be back in two seconds. We just had to take a small, tiny, little tiny break. Hey guys, remember how I have always complained about my projects getting out of scope? Same. Oh, I'll Kevin and Kevin and Kevin, eh? Thank you very much for gifting five to the channel. I can't hear the song right now. You, you can guarantee God, I am dancing in my mind right now. I don't know if I'm on beat. Am I even on beat? A little, uh. I can't hear. I'll be back in like two seconds. Oh yeah, my stream deck broke. Fuck yeah. Wait, it didn't? Oh, I was hitting the wrong button. I'll be back. Who do you guys think is sexier, chair or microphone? Tom and Cherry. That's a good one. It's one of the better ones. No, microphone is gross. I need to find a way to clean it. I don't even know if you can see that. And we're back. Welcome back to the adventure of Tom and Spock. Just doesn't want to move anymore. He's given up. We need to watch out for Dick for Brains across the river. He wants to attack Tom for some reason. I'm just going to move really far away. You know, maybe Tom bites. He's just not moving. I mean, I literally can only move him. Like, I have to get... Yeah, he's having the same malfunction. 
as he did when we had the stare down. I think his combat AI has been in so many encounters, it's, it's just collapsing on itself. I think it's falling apart. He cannot move. Okay. Okay. Thought we were doing another stare down. There you go, man. It's weird, he has trouble. He'll bash. What if what if I go like this? Now I'm pushing you. I can dodge a power attack if he tries it. He's only gonna bash. He's desperate. Wait. I know you. Can dodge that power attack. Tried. I tried, but... Stupid asshole. Oh, man. He runs up and he just backs off. I don't get it. Tom is just afraid his brother won't love him anymore. Maybe that's it. Maybe there's just some deep rooted trauma that, you know, I'm digging up a Pandora's box and I'm opening it. Nah. If that was the case, Pandora would be Tom's mom's name. Yeah, that wasn't very good. That, was, that sucked. Give himself like a 3 out of 10. He just wants to slowly walk backwards. This sucks. We had a good thing going. I think I know how to fix him. We did this earlier. Move to player. Okay. Now you're just being an asshole. I can't heal him. I don't have heal on target. Wait a minute. That fixed him. Maybe. Maybe? Perhaps? Maybe? Is Tom back? Not that one. Not that one. Same one. You play in the same one each time. Yeah, the same one every time. Okay. We've had... Fuck you. Don't get yourself killed, Tom. <clears throat> Tom. Stay away from Tom. You green, scaly, disgusting, ugly. Oh, 
they are. Stop right there. This is how we fix him. This is how we fix him. Right here. That can be arranged. Are we back? Are we back to normal? Tom, did we fix you? Tom is back. Tom is back. He's very back. It only took some rehab in the forest. Now he's broken again. Come on, Tom. Don't worry about that. Just focus on me. You and me have come here the whole entire time together. We've gotten here together. We only continue together. It's our only way forward. Let's go. Don't, don't start now. Stop it. Awesome work. I'm so proud of you. Come on. He's in a similar cadence as before. He'll do the jockey move. Might have gotten something here. We might have something. If I put my... If I'm far enough away, I put my weapons away, he kind of goes back into tracking mode trying to arrest me. Let's move this way. Spiders in the forest, but they're distracted. Wolves. Spiders. I'm actually about to put my head through my fucking monitor, man. Come on, you stupid fuck! Just follow me! This is not difficult, Tom! Yeah, walk backwards, you fucking douchebag. Let's go! Come on, Tom! Yeah. Bright ideas like what? Die more? Not what I wanted. All right, all right. We're back on track. Spider at the far side of the road. Best way around is through. Come on. Yes. That's 
working. Come on. We got the bridge here. Over the bridge. Around Riften. We have to go around Riften. Stupid son of a fucking asshole. <clears throat> Come on. It's alright. He can have a good look in. Kenny is, is chat mad at me because I'm I'm focused up. What does Khajiit want? Oh, you want to run away? No, no. How the hell does Tom walk into that? You're good. Tom's alive. Tom's alive. You touch Tom. You touch Tom. You useless furball. There's an opening. Nice hit. Relax. Whew, that was close. We can isolate Tom with the trees. We throw something in Tom's way, it should be easy to kill the Khajiit. Hey, fuck it. You know what, Khajiit, why don't you come on with? Huh? Maybe Jerry and Tom can have another brother. <laughs> Got him. Stupid cat. Ridiculous feline.
Get in the water. Get in the water. I sound like a suburban mom trying to get her, like, kid who's too scared to get in the fucking pool, Samson. <laughs> He'd probably have some stupid fucking name like Samson as well. <laughs> Damn it, we were so close there. We need a new route. We need a new source. You're getting in the water. Whether you like it or not, get in the fucking water, Jerry. Tom. Sorry, you guys just look so similar. I get you confused. Back it up. There's gotta be a way I can just cheese him into the water. Look, I'm right here. I'm right here. Attack me. Just do a power attack. Not like that. I mean the running one. I need a forward power attack. I guarantee if he lands in the river, he'll Thank actually swim. Samson name owners catching strays. I'm sorry. I'm, skin, I'm sorry sign. to anybody named Samson. I was just playing around. It's only a stupid name if it's in the middle of a stupid joke I'm making. But come on, that does sound kind of funny. Get the <laughs> be like a nine-year-old kid. You ever see that shit though? Like a public pool? You ever see like a mom being like super aggressive for no reason to her kid? That it's that look. It's that. It's that point. I'm not wasting time. I'm trying to find a solution. The time was wasted two hours ago. Ugh. I mean, it would have been impossible for us to go down this way. If we went through Shore Stone, we'd run through just even more guards. I don't know. Y'all, I really have no clue. Although I have one idea. Oh, really? This dumb shit's gonna lose to a skeever? I have an idea. <gasps> this could work. No. Once I get past like the this. bridge, I can use the water to kite him along the shore. He seems to be very interested in following me so long as I'm, you know, if I'm in the water, he's willing to follow me. If I kite him along the shore, it's not going to be perfect, but it should be easier than walking him up the road in front of the farm. Oh, you just, you were, you were about to swim. Samson, put on your floaties. He was so close. He wanted to do it so bad. Oh shit, we're right. Oh, fuck you. Fuck these guards. I'm so sick of your shit. Tom, get in the water. Please just get in the river. 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 I'm so done with these guards. I hate them. I hate them all. That arrow is hitting me. <laughs> Damn. I caught it in midair too. Dude, you're just fucking obnoxious, man. I'm trying to come out of the loading screen. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I've been in my room for nine hours. I've been yelling at my screen. I've been gaming. 
I've been I've been gaming hard. I've been sweating. I don't want to gross anyone out, but do you have any idea what the fuck it smells like in here? Like if there was a gamer scented candle, time out, we're getting pretty close. If there was a gamer scented candle, it smells like my room right now. Like a combination of butt stank, keyboard rubber, angst, cringe. <laughs> but I need everyone to ignore what I was just saying. Shut the fuck up. And prepare for greatness. Just follow me, Tom, the whole time. Don't even look. Don't look, Tom. Stop. Stop it. Just keep moving with me. Like we're dance partners. We're along the wall. We've got rocks for cover. They stopped giving chase. One more. Just come on, you can do it. Get down off the ledge. You got this. You got this, Tommy. Fuck yeah, he jumped. That's what I'm talking about. You exist somewhere deep in that thick metal helmet beyond the six inches of skull you have. And somewhere in the same zip code as the tiny, tiny little brain you have. Get back here. Somewhere exists a man. A man with thoughts and feelings, emotions. I know it, Tom. I know you think you want to kill me, but you don't. You want to be my friend. Plus, you're going to need one, because... Mission complete, baby. Where the fuck is Jerry? Jerry! Kill him! Tom, mm, Tom killed you. What the hell, man? Ow, ow, stop. Hey, stop it. You're such a, you are such a dick. We're killing your brother. Lay off. Shoot, he doesn't even go down to a knee. He takes one shot and he goes down. We have to get up there and tank as fast as we can. Why? Why? What is this bullshit? Stop killing... Fuck you, Jerry. God damn it. Gotta get my health back. Although this shot's probably gonna hit me. Nice one, Tom! Keep, uh, that sword swipe might kill me. Fucking asshole, we had it. You are the worst brother ever. You know that? You don't deserve Tom. You don't deserve Tom. Tom is my brother, not yours. What do you want, Durak? Oh, really, Durak? Fuck off. Man, Durak, you're annoying. You there, the Dawn Guard. Cunt. Now he targets me, he missed, he's going melee, good. Tom? 
Oh shit, Tom! No, no, back off! Can't, you can't execute Tom! Alright, Tom's down. That's okay. Get him, Tom. Get him, Tom. This is your kill, not mine. I don't get it. I don't, I do not understand that one. Like, the setup was immaculate. It was perfect. Tom, finally, after this whole bullshit journey, can finally get revenge on his brother for being a douche. I think that's the motivation. And he just caught it in bad range. We're kicking, we're, we're killing him. Jerry is killing, or Tom's gonna kill his brother. It's happening. I'm, we're gonna make this happen. He missed, that's good. Come on, Tom. An asshole, Tom, you had it. Nice miss. God, Durak, I'm going to I'm going to console command you out of existence. Shut up, that's not even a good one. Tom, you just have to stop getting yourself killed, brother. He just walks into it every time. guy I hate Jerry so much he's worse than Samson oh I just want to punch your face in Okay, that put Tom down for a little bit. That's good. The splash damage on Tom is actually not a disaster. Because if he goes down to a knee, he takes some time off. <sighs> not quite.
That's okay. Oh, I'm dead. Tom, please just hit him. What are you swinging at? <laughs> this is so bad. God, that's just so that it's the worst when you watch it in slow motion and you know, you know what you have to do to dodge it, but you just are stuck there for a half second. Okay, Tom hit me there. No, but oh, Tom's dead. Kill Cam. You can't win. I'll have your head. Tom, don't do anything stupid here. Oh, he does something immensely stupid. Look at him. He's not even. He's not even. Look at him. He's, he's swung and he's over in the wrong zip code again. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yes, Tom. Wait, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm done. 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 I'm done.